Can you hear me now? Okay, hopefully. Oh, except it's, I think we've got an echo because I've got that. How's that? Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully I've got that and no echo anyway. That's the, that's the dream. <sighs> Okay, I'm one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break. I need a little room to breathe. As I'm one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to play some tears of the kingdom. <laughs> oh dear, nothing like 20 false starts to get it. You know what? It's been, I think it's been a few weeks since I've had a stream, a couple of like three weeks almost now. And I've been wanting to, but I haven't been able to. So I had a lot of prep and this one was ready to go. And wouldn't you know, we're back on, we're back on. All right, if, if the mic's a bit weird and stuff, it's just because I've been ripping things and throwing things around here, trying to unplug things and get it going without actually disconnecting the stream because that just sucks for everybody, so. Oh my gosh, missed you guys too, missed you guys too. Wow, but here we are, and I can see now I've got a time thing at the bottom, 24 minutes in, what a, what a crap all the start that was. But we'll try and make up for it, we'll try and get on with it. I reckon that's the key. Because it's, it's actually, do you know what? I have to say, uh, what we've got here, it's just a bit of a situation where... I think sometimes life mirrors, um, what is it? Life mirrors art, it's not even a saying. I'm back on. My form's right there, We're right where we left off. Uh, I've got none, but um, it has been quite a tumultuous period. So, um, <laughs> actually, thank you, Carrie. So let's start actually with some, some nicety, shall we? Hello. <laughs> I have actually done, I've actually said hello, I think 50 times, but nobody could hear me. But hello, how are you? Uh, I hope you are all well. <laughs> oh, did you know sometime the order you start your PC and router can actually cause things to mess up? Do you know what, Carrie? It, it, what was weird is I'd actually had it all set up well and truly as a sure knows probably about an hour ago. And I had the feed, the stream was excellent, the preview was there, everything was working fine on my end. And I went into uh, my office, because I was, as I tend to do when I stream on these weird hours, I was running some reports for work in the background. And I came back and had the kettle on. And uh, as I was grabbing my cuppa and coming to sit down just to, to kick it in early, um, the, the feed and all that was fine on my end, but um, I went to just do a quick check on my phone and then suddenly it said comments are turned off. And I'm like, what? It was very weird. No buffering here, try lowering the quality. Oh, we've got some buffering issues. All right, let's, uh, look, I'm not surprised. There's something weird about how this started off from the get-go. Uh, I haven't dropped a frame according to OBS, but then again, OBS was telling me everything's excellent. Uh, YouTube studio is going, you great guns, everything couldn't be better. Yeah, some, and I could actually see it on my end, yet on my phone, I couldn't see it. It's the weirdest thing, and you guys were going, nut, can't see anything, and I could see everything. It was so weird. But I kid you not, a story, as I say, story of the week, I've had stuff happen with technology, which I always do, just got that weird and wacky ability to do things weird but I have had a week with technology where stuff seems to be happening that just defies all logic um, and sense of reason which is fantastic it's what you want because it you know it keeps things interesting doesn't it we like things that are interesting yeah it was strange it's like it wasn't switching over for whatever reason yeah I know and I was like I was doing things like I'm I'm trying to jig scenes settings 
um, and basically tweak things in back ends rather than break the connection. Um, and it just, in the end, it appears to just be um, a bit of toggling. <laughs> Essentially, that's just, I don't know if it was toggling or if it was something not on my end, but something wasn't happening and then it was. So for whatever reason that is, we've got it going, which is good. Um, so anyway, we're gonna, it was strange, yeah, just, just weird, very weird. So, false start, absolute crap all on my end. Sorry about that, guys, but you know what? We're here. We're here, we're ready to go. We're gonna do a bit of streaming action. We've got a lot to catch up on, guys. We've got a lot to catch up on that's not about this game and me streaming and playing badly. We've just got a lot to catch up on, period. But I did see one thing that came out in news. For anyone who doesn't know, this is absolutely, you know, let's get off to things that are not really that critical. But that wasn't even it. Off the camera, I saw something. Here we go. There was a tip in here, like a tip or trick. And if you went in here, it was saying something about a free Sunderline. There you go. If you launch the game using the link below, you can get two Sunderlines as a gift. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> so, it was just crazy. Um, yeah, even though it's simple to know you have inputs and outputs correct and seen, but something happens and you've got to tweak things. I, I kid you not, I've actually, just so you guys know, I have three different scenes set up, and within each scene, I've got anywhere between five to six layers of different things so um definitely definitely got that side of it sorted have the profile set up for stream with obs i've, I've kind of learned to yeah two sun lines killing it um i thought it was important to show you though because you know you want to get across that that action it's totally worth it for a gift but do you know what was more important that i didn't show you which i was going in there to show you guys but i didn't you might notice up there i've got a bit of a different logo thing and if you haven't if you haven't got Switch Online, this might not be the best thing in the world for you. But OBS scenes are hard to put up. Are you streaming like, nah. Yeah, see, I like using OBS because I like to be able to tweak the controls. But then again, I say that and I've got a horrible, horrible, horrible um, thing in terms of getting stuff together. Oh my God, it's tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Guess what? Tiny, tiny, tiny. Guess what? Oh, Ganondorf icon is up, is it? Oh, we got so guys, we've got so much to cover. Um, oh, we've got a couple more. So, first and foremost, let's go with hello again. Secondly, I don't know if I've lost the thing, but Tiny, if you look up the top, you'll see a pinned comment. Yeah, mixtape is done. I've actually, I'm gonna be honest, Tiny, I've had, the, I've had your mixtape. I, I did it like a couple of days after the last stream. I've been adding to it. So it's kind of gone from a mixtape to a story of my last couple of weeks with me just adding more music on it. And you're probably going to pick up a theme that the mixtape went from a couple of songs that were to a week of heavy metal angst. <laughs> um, it, but you know what? It's, it's got some cool raging songs in there. There's a good mix. So there, it, there should be a link. And uh, yeah, if you, if you click on that link and go there, I, it's an unlisted playlist. Um, but it's, yeah, it's tiny, Tiny's mixtape, Tiny Music. Um, I can make it public now that you know about it, so maybe I should do that. But um, yeah, just for you, just created just for you. And there was a comment all the way up the top that I did put in here, which was, it's from T Love from Team Smiths, aka as you guys call me GS or Game Smiths or what a Jeremy really, Mrs. Smiths and Little Smiths. May you forever be loved for just how special you are and nothing in between. So Tiny, you've never had a mixtape, but you've been on my mind for three weeks actually because I've just had this mixtape playing and it's been the, it has been the soundtrack of my life in the last couple of weeks with me not streaming or doing stuff that you guys can see, but doing a heck of a lot of stuff in the background that is Zelda related that will come to the fore or you will see more very, very soon. Um, we've got a lot to talk about. I have got so much I need to cover. And so 
expect something new very soon in terms of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it because quite frankly, I'm almost getting a little bit tired of seeing or hearing crap. I'm just gonna just go straight from the hip here. I'm hearing crap about what people think is going on with this game and man alive, I've got, I've got stuff that I wanna get out there and it's just, it's gonna take too long if I'm doing it slowly, trying to do the videos with me working how I do. So I've got a different way of approaching it soon. We're adding to it, but trying to find a way to get get the discussion happening more regularly and quickly. But Tiny Music, playlist is up there. Definitely worth checking out, Tiny. I hope, I hope you like it, by the way. there's Put it this way, there's enough songs in there that you can pick and choose what you like and make your own playlist from it. But that's a good mix of all songs that, yeah, heaps of it. Seeing the stream title really made me smile, which I needed today because after Boy Troubles, no. Mixtape looks totally my, oh man, it's got to be everything. It's going to take your places, Tiny. It's going to give you feels. It's going to take you, it's going to get, it's, it's a bit like Zelda, right? It's going to take you down in the depths of your soul. It's going to take you up to the heights of the sky. You're going to explore all around Hyrule of, of you know, yourself and the world, the past, the present, the future. And you're going to find yourself connected around in a big circle where you realise that you have exceeded what we know as time and space in every dimension and you've now become something truly special what you were to begin with and nothing's changed because you've always been amazing so i wanted to tell you a streamer i watch on twitch <laughs> a streamer i watch on twitch actually watched one of your vids while streaming oh wow that's cool oh wow oh wow 400 people get out that's awesome hey that hey carry though they would have that's so sweet, by the way. Thank you for that, because I, I can't. I'm a bit blown away. That's it's crazy. I actually had a dude thanking me uh, when I was prepping tonight, and he was thanking me for validating his theory thing. And I'm like, your theory thing's awesome, dude. Like, we're all fans. We're all like the gatekeeping stuff. Is is I'm kind. That's where I was saying about I'm kind of dumb. Kind of dumb with people trying to gatekeep law and theories. It's just get over it. And I know that sound, I don't mean to sound negative with that. I'm, it's more trying to be positive actually. I'm, I'm picking up a lot of, a lot of stuff in the, a lot of stuff in the, the works, but it's not representing everybody. It's just the people who have got loud voices. So we need to get the voices of the people out there, people who are really enjoying it. People who love it and people who are giving different opinions and perspectives and having a dialogue and growing and trying to trying to move on with their life and move positive and realizing that things aren't always fantastic or maybe it's not meeting everyone's expectations but you know what let's look at what is happening and let's let's enjoy the things that are happening really cool and there's some mysteries and all sorts of wacky things going on but man alive i've found some cool stuff that i can't wait to share with you guys um, no thank you deserve the video is awesome what about the lego map Theory. <laughs> I forgot the name. Oh, horrible map theory. Yeah, that one's doing. That one's doing great guns. Yeah, it's doing really good actually. I'm pretty stoked. Um, do you know what I was really excited about? I saw somebody watched um, my wife play Zelda this week, and I'm like, yes, somebody watched it. Like, isn't it funny? I was so excited that somebody, wa one person, watched that video because I love the my wife plays Zelda. So once again, look, I got so much to talk about, so I'm all over the shop. So. Here we are guys, bit of OCD, ADD, all going on at the same time. But look, if you do jump into Switch Online memberships, you can, if you've got points up your sleeve, you can, you can get some cool logo stuff and you can actually make a logo out of it too, which I thought was pretty, pretty awesome. So I don't know, say I wanted to grab that thing. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. Um, by the way, Tiny, I didn't mean to, to just skim over that. I'm sorry about the boy troubles, by the way. It sucks. It's another point I wanted to make, and it was kind of leading on to the whole, you know, me wanting to get back out and talk with you guys and get stuff out there. Um, is because I'm speaking with a lot of people who are having tough times at the moment. Like, a lot of people. Um, and they're good people, hey. Good people like you, Tiny. Good people. There's other good people. Um, and I'm not, I'm not about to sit here and go through name and names or anything, but, um, 
they're really really nice people i don't i don't know why or how i managed to be so goddamn lucky that i have a community of just pretty much some of the best souls that exist on the planet as far as i can tell and you know what sucks is hearing how much of a hard time they're they're going through and they don't deserve it but you know i'm not silly enough to know that that's that's not how life works you know what i mean we, we've, all, we've all got challenges and things things happen to, to good people but what is truly outstanding in amongst that is how these amazing people um, continue to push through and inspire me by being awesome and there's a couple of you out there whether you're listening now or later you know i'm talking about you um and it's it's awesome keep doing you that's why i put in the videos keep being amazing like because people are like you let them rise to it and by the way if, if the background music's a bit annoying or whatever that's it's tiny's tiny's music playing tiny's playlist so i got that in the background if it's a bit if it's a bit too much let me know but um jk g'day mate how are you tiny will stand strong together keep on keeping on life's a garden that's right my friend that's exactly right don't sweat it it's mostly me getting my head and winding myself up. Oh, that's the thing, mate. We all get in our head, don't we? And good otherwise. And that's what I like coming out here. We get to have a dialogue and chat. And sure is using tool and redo and side on the best stages if you're roaming. Because of side on shield, redo's knock back and damage and tools gust arrows. For sure. Gotta keep on keeping on. That's it. That's it. So we've covered Tiny's playlist. We've got that on on the on the money we've covered the switch stuff uh by the way i only i feel like i'm a bit silly but because i'm in australia i didn't even know there's a full tears of the kingdom complete guide official walkthrough compendium book and uh i kid you not apparently for the guys in the us that's been out there for a month nearly uh, it's i only got notified today that it's landing in australia and of course you couldn't get it um, immediately, but I managed to get a copy of it, so I'm getting that September 19th. So that's exciting. So if you didn't know about that, it's nearly 500 pages of pure, unadulted uh, Tears of the Kingdom goodness. Oh, right, there you go, Carrie. You've got it. There you go. Do you know what is surprising me, Carrie, about that? Is the fact that I didn't know. I've picked up on things like updates and stuff like that, and I didn't get that. So it was so late based on what Amazon said. Oh really? Well there you go. But, do you know what's exciting about that? I guarantee you, hardback version will make a perfect, yeah, for sure. Uh, I can guarantee you of one thing, for sure. That when I get that thing, whoa, if I haven't got theory material to, to keep me busy for a while, which trust me I do, um, I will have plenty more theory material that will come out of that because it's surprising how subtext unboxing stream oh yeah do you know what well maybe do you know what tiny i could also on that one open up the art book too because i still haven't opened the art book because i refuse to open the art book until sort of i got through the game if you're wondering by the way what i'm doing here with this weird setup uh one thing i did manage to do in the short time i've had outside of work was just at least finish building my little thing in in here <laughs> my little this is, by the way, the most weird cobbled together house I think anyone's ever probably built. This is built for functionality, not for aesthetics. But basically, I think you could only have 15 different buildings um, or structures. You'll notice there, by the way, the, the golden horse, that's Minda Keely. The one we named as a combination of Minda Man and Keely. So that's, I've, I've popped Minda Keely in there which is awesome. <laughs> um, carry the book has everything in it, like every little thing in the game, even all paths. Yeah, there you go. It's gonna be insane. The, do you know what, Carrie? I, I set, the theory arc I've got at the moment, I've got it mapped as eight videos, and if I'm being fair, it's more than that. But I'm trying to do, trying to do it in eight videos, and I've already got most of it sort of pretty much I don't even know how, I don't even know what to tell you guys. I have so much that I need to cover to get to the point of where I'm trying to get to without then having to backtrack and explain a whole heap of it. But man alive, 
there's some cool stuff going on. There's some very cool stuff. And the, the only question I've got is how long it's going to take me to get this stuff out. I don't, I don't know what anyone else is putting out in videos. And quite frankly, I haven't been doing a lot of watching to find out. But um, for me anyway, it looks pretty interesting. And from the quick scan of thumbnails that come up on my YouTube stream, I don't think anyone's talking about some of this stuff. So it should be interesting. For sure. Uh, Asura says, fun fact, I beat the game a month ago and I haven't yet killed one Gleok or built a house. There you go. That is a fun fact. Thanks for sharing. Um, Tony said, yeah, may, me neither, may have a peek when I pick up, pick the game back up again. Yeah. Oh, the art book. Excellent. We're on the same page now. God, I'm out of practice, aren't I? Shocking. God, it's good to be back. Good to be back. I need to get I need to get my my uh, routine back up. I've opened the art book. Picks are great. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, see, I know there's going to be why I'm not in a rush to open the art book or even to get this completed guide is because what I was trying to say before is I've got that much theory material already that I'm kind of scared to open up any more. I don't, want to, I don't want to see anything else too much more because if I keep going down other rabbit holes, it's just, it's just scary. It is scary how many things are connecting and coming together and it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. But I need to try and keep whatever time I've got for the back end researching to finish off one or two of the threads that I'm going down because it's going to take a bit of time to make sure that that's 100% in line. But anyway, yeah, this was what I was trying to say here is I built built this house and I put this picture up, which I thought was sick. That's my take on things, my sick picture. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie said I did make wait a while though. Fair enough, mate, fair enough. No, look, I, I want to open it, but um, yeah, I don't even know what to tell you guys like. I, I have had just a run of, I keep finding stuff and it keeps getting more extensive and then I've got work and different things on. I'm like, I'm trying to do so much of this stuff in the background and I made the choice. I mean, some of it I've had work, so I haven't been able to stream or whatever, but I've made the choice to not stream when I could have done or whatever or play the game to solely just try to compile some of this stuff together and get the research and that done just to make sure it's it's solid and it is it is solid and if someone was to say to me oh, what's the big deal what are you talking about um or you don't know squat or whatever it might be all i can tell anybody is don't give a flying fudge i know what i've done i know what i'm finding and i know what i can see and it's cool and whether that whether that speaks to other people I'll leave that up to them, but for me, it's, it's now my it's now my understanding of what's going on and what's ha what's happening and what's coming down the line. And it's not even just talking about what's coming down the line immediately, like maybe DLC. It's talking about what's coming down the line. Period. It's probably I've got a good understanding in my mind now of exactly where I think Nintendo is heading longer term with this franchise, and it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> But we'll get back on to some fun stuff. Chris says, fashion, photo G, you just do it all. Oh, fashion smiths, mate. That's, that's the channel I want to do. I, I kid you not, I just spent a little bit of time today just trying to look at some things and, and yesterday as well, trying to look at some things where I can possibly... Um, I'm at the point where I'm almost looking if I can pay for um, different things to get done to free up time because I just don't have it. <laughs> so I was looking at Fiverr, like, can I get someone to do this or that? Um, oh, that's honestly where I'm at. But I did, um, yeah, I, I did sort of have to stop and take a breather because um, when I say take a breather, just literally just to go, no, have a stream, get on, catch up with people even though it's been like running from one thing to the other because it's just like, I need to keep you guys in the loop. Make sure, check up on you, say good day to Tiny, give her the mixtape and just let you guys know, seriously, there is stuff coming and 
it's cool. Well, for me anyway, but um, I've also got something fun in the works that, fingers crossed, will be not too far away and it should be cool and funny. But um, yeah, it's dialogue and it's, it's gonna be, we've got a lot to talk about for sure. God, I just want to lay some of it out, but if I start, we won't stop. Um, Carrie says, we named the little, oh, those kittens, they were adorable, by the way. He's three weeks and two days old. His name is Navi. Oh, Meow. Listen. Oh, that's hilarious. You should play Horrible Guesser on stream one day. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. Uh, like, the thing is, is um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, having ideas and material, it's just, I don't have a shortage at all. Um, I just need to figure out how to... Oh, no. And there we go. Right back on. Chat disconnected. Are we back on? Put new pics in Discord. I will definitely have to check that out when I can carry. Definitely. Dan, how to balance. Indeed, Dan. It's buffered. I think we're back. Yep, we're back. Excellent, we're back. Cool. Hello, Dan, by the way. <laughs> okay, so I think we're probably nearly an hour into this stream. I've done nothing. So if, you, if you're watching this stream for actual gameplay, gee, you'd be disappointed, wouldn't you? Gee, you would. I think this is where I need to get to the point where basically, um, and to be honest, it's kind of where I'm going with some of the stuff where uh, I can have the chats like this without necessarily having too much of a strain on what those those things are about, but also um, to get, I think with theory content and that, for people who want that, they need it done in a, or looking for it to be done in a particular format. I'd love to be at the point where I could just jump on and like a champ and just talk to a, talk to a reel of stuff going on, that doesn't matter, but I've got the feeling that might piss a few people off. <laughs> So I might, I might just, um, might just try and keep the theory videos, uh, providing the, the quality that people like, but it's very, very challenging at the moment to not, uh, spill my guts on a whole heap of stuff. And then, cause I'm, I'm realizing that, uh, even as much as I think I've covered and that people will know that's, they don't like, I'm, I've put it in videos and it's, they haven't seen it or whatever, so it's hard to try and explain a theory that goes over a lot of things because essentially that's the idea, right? This theory arc is about putting Zelda in perspective with the entire series. And it always has been, to be honest, that was where it started. And it's funny having Chris Hulan in this stream because, again, Chris, you're going to get referenced in the next video that's um, literally being recorded and worked on this week. That's one of the ones I'm working on currently. It's very much, uh, I reference you again, my friend, because it's trying to explain something in particular that's less uh, heady, because I've had a bit of feedback from a few people last one. It's like, I didn't quite get where you're coming at with that last one. It's like, I'm not sure how to explain it better, but I'm gonna try because the next bit that I'm going to add to it will probably start to put a bit more of it together. Building some foundational blocks, so to speak. But yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Um, 240p is what, the, what it always starts me at and I don't know why, that sucks. Oh yeah, the best years, can't wait. Oh. Dude, I, I feel like I'm just like dribbling on like, oh God, I can't stop to you. It's just like, I'm sick of saying it. I just want to just go, I almost want to like book time off work, which I know is not even possible. But I'd love to book like a week off work and just sit there with a the microphone and have, I don't know, just someone with a camera there and get all the books and stuff together and all the bits of video and pictures and then go, right, let's hatch this out. Let's just do it because I'm sick of messing around with it. Let's just talk it through. Here's all the stuff, we'll go from the start and we'll work through it. Because it's all, it's there and it's it's just trying to piece it together. And even with what I've got so far, oh man, I've still got so much work I need to do on researching some of the other aspects of it. And probably it's more than I need to do for what I would put in a video, because let's be honest, 
even like with the scripts, I usually start the script with the detail I want in it. And it's usually about, by the time I finish that script, it's usually like an hour, hour and a half video. And then I try and cut that down and then try and get it to something reasonable like half an hour. Cause then by the time I edit it, it's crazy. Um, and I'll tell you what, there's that much stuff I'm cutting out, even trying to get to where I'm at, just to do that particular part of the theory. Just cutting stuff out left, right and center. But it was really cool actually, like somebody picked up on some of the things recently, which is cool. Dan's getting me back on track. He's like, time to elect a mayor, do something, buddy. I'm like, yeah, I'm just running around talking to people. I don't, I, I'm, I'm out of practice, Dan, really badly. <laughs> Mr. Tino's music, it's where I'm headed next. Oh no, oh tiny. Wait, I don't want to do Tino if you haven't gone there. I prefer the long videos, I quite enjoy them. Yeah, like I like doing long videos too as well. It's just the edits, mate. Like, I know, I am not a quick editor. I think also part of that is because um, with what you're trying to cover, you want to have the visuals there to explain what you're, or to show what you're talking about. Because I don't think our phrasing is quite the best. But, um, yeah, you, you, know where I'm, you know what I'm putting down. You know where I'm going with that. I am getting a little bit better at it, but I'm just, what I'm hopefully going to have, I'm starting to work on this week and I'll hopefully have very soon, will be the solution to kind of offset it slightly. Um, and I think if I can put that in place, it's going to make this a lot easier to do. Yeah, it's, it's, look, it's, if I'm being fair, Carrie, it's not even just the editing. Like I'm trying to keep an eye on the Discord and stuff and then I worry about people and stuff and I check up on people and then I'm researching other stuff and then I've got other stuff going on in personal life too and getting hit up to do things with work and help people there and then getting hit up to do other things as well, take on other responsibilities like for my daughter and stuff now as well. Uh, it's to, in relation to sports and that and coaching a team for a while. So it's like, it's all good stuff, but man, it's busy, busy times, man. Like not, not complaining, just saying, just, um, I feel like I'm trying to give you guys a, it's kind of like an apology. This is a long apology of saying, I'm really sorry for not getting stuff to you sooner and just, always been kind of cagey about stuff. Um, it's just trying to juggle and trying to find out how to do it better. I know I need to improve on it, so I'm working on it, but yeah, it's annoying for me more than anything at the moment that I can't really um, deliver on getting things out quicker or, or how I want to. So yeah, getting closer though. The, the solutions are getting closer for sure. What kind of present do you think Oh God, I wasn't even paying attention to this. Um, don't worry, I'm doing admin anyway, just enjoying the community and chat, cool. Then you know what, I'm just chatting, I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. So Dan said something about electing a mayor. Hopefully if I talk to enough people, we're gonna find out what that's about. <laughs> Do you know what? Uh, this was a guy who wanted 20 career. Okay, cool, thanks Dan. I'm gonna, I might stipulate, cause I, I did come into this uh, with a, you can tell me, Oh, so, okay. We're obviously not moving forward with this task at the moment. Just go ask her directly. All right, cool. Let me just maybe put this out there because it's, if I'm being fair, the stream didn't get off to a good start with the old connection and then I've been rambling on for a while. So if you are tuning into the stream now and you're like, man, I want to see some gameplay in a Tino, I'm going to apologize in advance. This may not be going quite the way you hoped. And I'm really sorry about that. But if you're cool for some weird unrelated chat stuff and who knows where that chat's going to go and a bit of fun and a little bit of theories discussion without getting into some of the other stuff without letting stuff out. But then I'll probably give a few clues and hints along the way. Well, if you like that, that I mean, it could be cool. It could be cool. But if you want a specific focused deliver on a promising, I'm, I'm going to apologize right now if I don't hit that mark and just make sure I put that up front, being honest. So I've not done anything in a Tino myself, Tiny, I think is the point. 
you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what's going on in this place. I, I think there's something about a school, to be honest, as well. Um, Dan, Dan mentioned something about Guy wanting 20 cricket. I probably did. I know I came through here and spoke to people. I can't recall doing that much at all. I know there's this weird mushroom stuff going down. Um, and something to do with CC. Aha! Here it is. That's your, ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Lady just outside the shops. Oh, carry on, mister. I'll go back. I'll go back. But I, I've got a feeling this could be the mayor thing because this feels weirdly like Majora's Mask type setup with the mayor. You've got a couple of people standing. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm putting down. Oh, and he wants frogs. Okay. Cool. We're going to get there. Uh, totally, we're going to get there. JK, honestly, I haven't had a chance to pick up the game for a little over a month. So hearing the music and nothing else has been nice. Excellent. Look, uh, yeah, I didn't. I picked up the game very briefly, mainly because, uh, if I'm being 100% honest, I was trying to get those free bits in the Nintendo store for the icons, and also um, I wanted to have a look at my task list to figure out what I was going to do stream-wise when I did it, because I had no idea where I was at. So I went and... Uh, had a quick look and I opened up a fairy um, because I hadn't done that and it was like uh, I could do Hitino Village that was it that was I think it was about an hour it was really exciting um, everything I've heard this was some Cece's best work okay so Cece's the the mushroom fashionista which is one of the best examples of the what I can only describe to be the most frustrating confusion ah. going around about the timeline stuff at the moment is ah. that if you look at this thing with Cece, it's kind of spelt out really well, I think. But again, I'm going to try to be a little cagey ah. with stuff because I'm trying not to fall into the trap of being iterative and just um, going, this is how it is, black and white, because... I still think that's the wrong way to go. This is the mayor quest. It's a decent long quest, just so you're aware, but I won't say anything else about it. You know what? That's perfect, though, because I'm not even paying attention at the moment, so it's probably perfect. We can talk about it a little bit, um, and it will happen, but it could actually be quite funny. To... What is the deal with that, by the way? Like, is that Obviously, it's meant to be fashion clothing, right? Like mushroom fashion clothing, but it's quite hilarious. Um, yeah, look, I'm a little bit out of practice. I'm a little bit off kilter with playing the game and where I was at. So yeah, it's a bit all over the shop. It's right on brand. Um, I did see, do you know what made my day though? A couple, do you know what made my day today? It was actually you guys. So it was exciting. I, I basically just wanted to do the stream so I could give Tiny her mixtape, metaphorically speaking, over you know, a digital thing. Um, I wanted to catch up with my guys, all of you basically, but you know, I wanted to give JK and and uh, Chris a, a high five. Carrie, I was pretty sure you drop in. Uh, shout outs to Big J, obviously Dan and stuff as well, but um, I heard from BPX this morning because I hadn't seen, heard from BPX in a while, but I was pretty sure because he hadn't seen the end, he, he peaced out and that was 100%, but just to know he was good, was great. And like, I could go through a list of about probably 50 people that I've on and off been catching up with in the community where I can. Um, not for YouTube videos, just for they're good people and it's good to speak with them and know that they're okay. So that's that side of it has been the best part of my day for sure. Um, <laughs> so there you go. You know, maybe I'm not maybe I'm not the best person to do Zelda videos. I'm the kind of person who's a who's a Zelda fan who loves talking with the guys in the community though for whatever that's worth dig that stuff um oh cat i was i was gonna say cat won't be on the stream though because it'll be like early hours of the morning like it is for me but you know she might watch it later and go are oh, you welcome tiny it's like it's it's i wish i could actually physically give you the tape but oh well, actually even a tape probably wouldn't be the way to go but it's a digital world you know so you just compile oh. things but for what it's worth, mate, there was, it's been, it's been on my mind that, I can't believe you never got a mixtape. 
that sucks. So, tiny, it's actually still sitting up on my, we've got a little whiteboard thing on the fridge for like things we put shopping and tasks. And I've got, I've got tasks on there that I've had for myself, just little things that are really important like health checks and stuff as well that I've been ignoring for months. But the, your one's been up there since we had that last stream. I asked, I asked Little Smith to put it up there and she did, she was on it. So it's been sitting up there the whole time, which is hilarious. Um, but yeah, it's that I was looking forward to doing that for sure. This is this is me, mate. This is me as a, this is me as a person. So it was kind of funny answering that comment today, where the person was really excited about acknowledging their theory. It's like their theory was great. Why shouldn't it be acknowledged? They they've got just as much right to be on YouTube and have people listening to them as I do. It's just when people gatekeep things and go well it's only about this this youtuber said this and it's like yeah but just because they're on youtube doesn't mean that they've got a better theory than the people in the comments it's just that, that sort of stuff is um it's not 100 percent on the money ah, yeah. wait here for some sightseeing the east wing general store is open for business okay i haven't even taken any of that in before you're here for tino's famous fresh bread this will lead to the cheese thing, right, as well. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So now it's starting to piece it together. We're getting there, we're getting there, people. We're getting there. I'm loving this sick. Loving this sick. Uh, all right, what do you like? Yeah. Well, what do I like? Where did that come from? Um, if you can't tell, uh, I'm the proprietor of Fashion Smiths. Oh, I can't remember. I had a little ditty for that a while ago. What was it? Got no fashion. Got oh, that was kind of like a like a twenties kind of rhyme. Uh, got no fashion. Got no fin. It's fashion. Anyway, I, I can't even remember it. I'm out of practice. What we might have to do is just do a little bit of a Men in Black mind wipe on this stream. And I'll, I'll try and get my rhythm back up for the next one. Come back in firing. So, you know what I'm going to do? Like, when I have a break, I'm going to come back after a break later on. And I'm going to smash it. I'm just going to come back in with the humour and the thunder. I think. Because that, that little ditty of Fashion Smiths was just awful. Just awful. Cat would be ashamed. She'd, she'd be sitting there right now throwing a can at the screen. <laughs> You're in a Tino, a village known for living off the land. Yep, I'd agree, buddy. Nothing says living off the land. The bush tucker man himself couldn't live off the land better than you guys are here. As I'm looking at weird mushroom things everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. Gosh. I wouldn't stress over it too much. Just do you and play and talk. No, and you know what? Carrie, you're 100% right. You're 100% right. I actually, um, I actually watched something very timely this morning. It was a video. I've actually signed up a membership with another YouTuber because I watched one of their videos this morning. Hilariously, that is, it's got a lot of views on it. And I wasn't quite through watching that. And it was just something about the, the approach to the video that I liked that I was kind of curious about. I noticed the difference between the views and the subscribers and I thought this looks like their video has gone quite good. I'd be interested to see what kind of content they do aside from that. And because it wasn't Zelda specific, because I try and stay away from that. Um, and I needed a distraction because I don't often watch stuff that is just relaxing. This was me because I was up at weird hours of the morning. And I went and checked out, JK knows exactly <laughs> that I was up at weird hours of the morning. Um, and I went and checked out this guy's channel and I hadn't even, the other video, I'd only seen about five or 10 minutes of it, but I kind of was looking through because I like to go through and see when they first start. If it's if creator, like what were they like at the start? Because often it's a bit like a band, like I like Nirvana's early stuff, whatever, you know what I mean? Like give me, give me a band that their first garage album, it's always usually some of the best because it's raw and nobody's tried to produce it yet. And it's, you know, you get a feel for what they're like. Um, and I went and checked out this, this dude's early, one of their earlier videos anyway. And just the way, the way they were talking about, um, 
the way they were talking about they, they're really trying to like make it they're doing twitch streaming and youtube stuff and that but they were genuine heartfelt and honest and to a fault just you could tell there was a lot of love in what they were doing and you know i i don't know it was just what i needed it was just what i needed because i i felt like i do stress out a little bit about trying to make sure I, i'd catch up with everybody in the community where i can or put out a good theory video or whatever it might be not stress out in a bad way but just mindful of um just try and do the right thing basically because that's actually more important oh. to me than than um like views or anything like that if that makes sense like the moral side of it's important for me like because it's it's a two-way street right like this is my social outlet as well so and I couldn't be anything other than myself, otherwise it wouldn't work. Like, I, I can't set out to be a YouTuber if I was a YouTuber by chance because I was weird and awkward and that worked, then that would be great, but I can't apply a marketing strategy to it. It's, but then again, at some point you do need to kind of, like that's what this guy was sort of trying to do is kind of, he's doing channel memberships and stuff and because obviously he's got a job and stuff and he's trying to find that balance and for whatever it was he was doing channel and i was just like you know what i'm gonna sign up to your channel memberships based off the video that you made where you were you were going hard at it years ago before this video took off that was the one that sold me more than anything and I, i'm sure this other video i'm gonna watch it later when i get more time but i just was really impressed by this work ethic and this attitude and just this moral stance of like the algorithm is what it is and trends are this and that, but I just want to make stuff because I love games and talking to people. Like, you could just tell that that's what this dude was about. And I'm like, that, you know what? Ah. We've got something in common, buddy. I like playing games and talking to people too. And finding, and it was also talking about like, finding the positives in games, which is awesome. Like, uh -huh. that's, that's a conversation to have. Positivity. Finding good things appreciating them acknowledging that things aren't always perfect because you can do that and have a bit of a whinge or a joke or whatever but also like challenging challenging the status quo by being nice <laughs> it was just it was just refreshing and honest and beautiful and uh yeah he just he had me at hello with that i needed that i needed just ah. some good old-fashioned here's a normal person who's a nice guy who's trying hard to, to put videos on YouTube and somehow that's worked. Someone someone got through and I love it. I loved it, loved it, it was genuine. Uh, what I didn't say anything would be if you gather 10 of those frogs, hey buddy. Yeah, I think I've got them. Here you go, nailed it. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. Uh, I own the game, so if I wanted just gameplay, I'd go play it myself. I'm here for the community, so keep doing you. Cool. <laughs> All right, excellent. I can smash myself up against the uh, cliff and slide down it in the rain all day long. <laughs> this is actually, it's kind of like a blind playthrough of, um, of Tears of the King, because <laughs> even though I'm playing it, I'm not taking a lot of it in. I mean, I kind of am, but yeah, it's pretty funny. Have I seen a Tino school yet? I oh, know one quest down. What? How many? How long have we been going for? I don't even want to know. Actually, I've, no, I do know. I oh, carry. It's not good. It's not looking good. It's a, it's been an hour and a quarter, I think, hasn't it? I mean, we did lose the stream there at the start. It's been an hour and a quarter. I think. It ha yeah, shocker. Whoo! Got momentum. That's right. That's right. Look, I did say it was possibly like. A new form of uh, of entertainment would be instead of being like the fast run or speed run or whatever, it's like the slow run, the awkward pain stumble. It's a new technique. Kids are gonna love it. <laughs> it's not good. It's great. <laughs> oh, we're here. We've done it. And no, Dan. No, sorry, I've been trying to reply to Dan. I haven't seen a Tino school yet. No, I know that there is one, and I've got to check it out. I don't. I don't even know, Dan. Keep telling you, Dan. Move on. Be free. 
Just run. Dan, Dan's got all the talent in the world. I keep trying to say to him, just you don't need to. You don't need to put up with me, Dan. Honestly, I, I kid you not. I, I cannot thank Dan enough. Just because he's just a, he's just a, a lovely guy, and I just, God, I've been blessed to have people like him and and the guys that, in the forge, you know. Um, in my life over the past few years. They're just good people and they always make me laugh and smile. Um, I really am quite lucky. Yeah, it's only been an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so what's funny about that, Dan, is is, is how we laugh and go, um, it's only been an hour. So what I have started to pick up, I think is that most other people, because I told you I've never really watched other people stream and I still haven't, right? Like probably the person I... I if I can watch somebody stream, quote unquote, it would be Kamea. Like I'll try and get Kamea, just because like, it's just a plume playing, um, to see what he does. But, um, or if it's one of you guys, basically if someone in the Forge has put out a video, I'll try and watch that if I could. And then I'll look at me and it's been now and I've got nothing done. And we're like, that's accomplishment. You got a task done. It, it's, it's, mind-bogglingly crazy that that's 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 the thing that i'm doing and that people watch and they're nice and i'm i kid you not you can see why i get caught up and saying like a like catch up people make sure they're all right eh? because whew, there's something special about that like you got to be got to be pretty happy with that there's some law in the school that's the thing, Dan. You miss you missed my point earlier. We don't want any more. Look. Nah, mate. Yeah, we'll definitely go check it out for sure. We we'll definitely go check it out. I, and I, I really want to actually get the cheese stuff because we got the whole. Um, do you remember this kid, Safaro? Wait a minute. I wasn't even paying attention, Dan. I am so sorry. He's from the video. Oh, he's from your video. Yes, he is. Is that the one we're talking about? By the way, actually, good reminder. Thank you, Dan. You've just made me tweak. It's in the description, but yes. Guys, if you haven't seen Dan's theory video, please go check it out. Please, please, pretty please, promise me, instead of watching me for an hour dribble on and not move, do yourself a favor, go watch Dan's video. Like five minutes of your life, because it's pretty quick. He's, he's he's got it together. He's the one with the big teeth. Yeah, yeah. I, I do you know what? Even after the break, I might I might put it back up again because um that it's such a good theory, such a good theory. And I asked Dan when I had a brief chance. So I was like, How, "How's it going? Have has it got many?" And it had a, it had, for Dan, he was really happy that it had some, but I was like, God damn, more people need to watch that video. So if anyone hasn't seen it, go check it out, share it, like it, thumbs up it, make it rain. Do, do stuff that other people, do what other people do with social media that I don't do. Let other people know. <laughs> just, just, it's such a good theory. And it's so much better than what I could imagine a lot of other people have maybe put out there for for content. Um, just because it, it, if you think about what he's saying there, it's it's pretty mind blowing. It's pretty cool. It's definitely not something that I don't think anyone else has really quite wrapped their head around or put put it out there. So. Check out Dan, check out OG Oafs as well. I thought it was a good video too, for sure. And I would also highly recommend just the, you know, Jordan stuff like that, all the people in the forge who are putting stuff out, give, give them some love. If you're listening to this, by the way. I know I'll keep shouting them out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to a point where I need to just figure out how to just have that as a thing and then just not keep doing it all the time. But, you know, I can't help but feel like I'm very fortunate to be surrounded by some cool people and I think um, you do worse than going and checking out their content because I've certainly got a lot out of it. So, true story. Hey, wait a minute. 
nailed it. Wooden mop. Hadn't got that before. Even, and by the way, OG Oaf in the forge is now, uh, he's now saging it. We, I just made the call the other day to throw it out there because I'm like, time pouring, I'm trying to juggle stuff and slowly do things and make sure things are all right. People, I'm just like, had a bit of time with Discord and just went and shook it up and just went, no, nope, we're doing this because guys in there have been talking about Pokemon for ages now and Oaf's like all Pokemon and been saying about whether we should do a channel. So it's just like, you know what? Doing Pokemon channel, Oaf, if you want to take it, run with it. And uh, he was like, yep, he was super stoked in that. So I've been trying to get my own little work life balance together. And so I tried to push myself to be inspired by inspired by Oaf. So I reinstalled Pokemon Go on my phone, which I hadn't had active since uh, well before I started this channel. And then um, I went for a walk outside and I think I know it sounds terrible I have not done that for a while like just stopped and done something like that just on my own for a while it was nice and uh, yeah about a 40 odd minute walk around with with the old Pokemon Go I had Pokemon everywhere realized my technique absolutely got myself slaughtered in a rape went into a five star raid boss battle on my own and got handed by the boss and then proceeded to destroy about uh 40 or 50 of my own pokemon because i forgot that they you can't revive them either and stuff anyway it was hilarious i i did not do well with it let's just say that much but i had fun got out and walked and uh that was that was a good thing come out of the community there you go so this isn't, by the way, an advertisement for Pokemon, but I'm just saying, trying to take a leaf out of the people that I deal with and talk to, because they do mean a lot to me. If not for any other reason, then I just think they're good people and there's a lot going on. I could, I could use some more of that stuff in my life as well. Two-way street, like I said. Um, catching back up with the chat. JK, the Tino villagers wandering... Wondering what this drunk warrior god would do. <laughs> he's, been, he's been going around in a circle now for quite some time. Yeah, it's pretty good, mate. For days. Yep. <sighs> Loved it. I agree that Dan has some new tea. New tea. And I haven't heard anyone else talk about it. Damn right. Thank you, Chris. <sighs> you are the... Chris, I'm, I'm saying it, man. You're, you're the owner of the Crystal Land Room. You're the golden ratio. You're the one who... You are the one who's designed to bring balance to the force. You just don't know it. You just don't know it, my friend. And I, I know that's a Star Wars reference or whatever, but... I think that's what you're here to do, buddy. You're here to bring balance to the force. And funnily enough, the force does exist in... There is a force in, in Zelda existed it's just slightly different and uh funnily enough there is balance being brought to that force and that is very much at the core of dan's theory so there you go serendipity vix again how, how do you know what chris you are i've decided i've just nailed it you're the kevin bacon of my world where everything somehow always comes back within two steps to the chris hall hand room and you and it's like metaphorical because even though you're technically not the Chris Hall, and even though that's not technically uh, uh, confirmed, it metaphorically lines up on so many levels. It's astounding. Drunk Warrior God is in action. Okay, so Tino School. Dan mentioned it about an hour ago. Ah, oh, it's just a moon with clouds. Okay, sorry, old man eyes there. I was just like, wait a minute, is that a weird dragon? But it wasn't. I was a little, little disappointed. Um, and I'm really hoping I'm not talking loud enough that I'm waking up my family right now. But hopefully not. I should move closer to the mic, actually. Due to recent life circumstances, I've inspired myself to learn to play the cheap Ocarina of Time Ocarina with music book that I have. J.K. Bhutan! Good on you. You know what? Go for it. Do you know? Oh, that was. Do you know what I did, J.K.? You 
I'm gonna blow your mind. I pulled my guitar off one of my guitars anyway, so I've got guitars and swords hanging up in the back of my office where I work for ridiculous amounts of hours and don't do any of the fun things that are there because that's what you should do. I have no idea why it's like. It's like I can't actually see that those things are there for some reason. So I pulled my guitar down and I hooked my martial amp back up and by the way, God, it felt good and pulled, pulled the old uh, strap back on the guitar and tuned it and turned the amp on and strummed nice E major then you know at, and it was just like yeah beautiful chords on the guitar it's been ages since I played guitar because it was like I've got these Zelda um, bits of sheet music because for the longest time now I've just wanted to do my own little bits of um, audio for my own videos like just play play some Zelda stuff and just record it to put in the video like a bit of Zelda metal or whatever I don't know whatever I feel like. Um, this is amongst the many cool ideas that I've had for quite some time, but don't do. So I'd, I had it all together, had it on, and I turned the amp on, and I kid you not, it was beautiful when I strummed it, and then I went to change over to the other channel to get the gain and, and do a bit of like heavy metal sort of thing. But it's been that long since I've done it, and there's obviously a bit of dust in that in the back. It's an old Valve State Marshall. When it clicked over, I kid you not, I had the volume right down, but it just made this crackle that pierced not only my soul, but the entire soul of anyone who was in probably five mile radius of the house. To the point my daughter, who was on the other side of the house, came running and went, Dad, are you okay? Because it was like I blew something up. It was like, it was the most hideous noise. So I gently turned everything off and then hung my guitar back up and promised myself I'll clean that out and vacuum out the back of the valve state and stuff before I try to turn it back on again. So it was a really exciting, inspiring moment. I'm like, yes, I finally got the guitar out again. I'm gonna play some music and do. <laughs> nope, put it back up. Better get back and do do some um, do some other stuff. Do some try and fix a technical issue or do some Zelda theory. What were you thinking? <laughs> you can't do heavy metal like that. Not after. No, I, I'm a kid, you know, I can, but, gee, I forgot that valve states and dust don't don't work together too well. And I also got a very much a first-hand understanding of just how loud a martial amp can be, even when the volume knobs are turned right down. Once that gain kicks in and you get a bit of crackle, feedback, oh man. Sick sound, though. Good martial. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, Jago, mind you, my heart doesn't even beat in rhythm. Oh, I didn't miss. <laughs> Selling an instrument is no easy feat for me. No, I hear you there, buddy. I hear you there. Look, I'm not. I'm not the best musician. I'm not the best at anything. But this is literally the life lesson I'm currently repeating off, on and off with my daughter a lot. Is saying the reason I got this thing that I've said since she was a kid that Smiths don't quit. And this is, by the way, not a saying that I was told. It's not a thing that's run through my... It's just something I've said to her since she's been a kid. So it becomes a thing that she just is bred into her. Because um, I don't quit and her mum doesn't quit. You know, so it just makes sense. that That's now a family motto. Why not start one? Uh, trying to explain to her, like, we'll do it. Trying to do a bit when I'm home. Cracks um, basketball and stuff together because she plays a bit of sport. So get out there and throw some hoops or whatever. I'm just saying, you know, it's not about necessarily being the best, but it's about practicing and my entire life I suck at everything that I do, always have done. The only thing I have done well is listen to people, try and be honest and genuine and work hard to get better at it. And if you can do that, you're always you're always gonna be better off because um, you always appreciate what little you do have or what little you've got to learn because you hunger for it and you work for it and you earn it. Um, and that's the joy, of, that's a joyful thing in life is to be able to do that. Like, like you, you don't know how to play the ocarina, but I bet you what, if you practice it for a little bit, in a week or so, you get a couple of notes out, whatever. Took me weeks of playing um, guitar just to be able to string together the most basic little riff. 
um, and it not suck. But I got there in the end, and it took me years of practicing and, and meeting some cool people, and then got a band and we played at a gig, and that was cool. And then did more, and we wrote songs, and eventually recorded some stuff. We even, yeah, got a song out there, it was on, got played, and yeah, got to do that. It's even still now on a streaming platform, which is cool. And that still spins me out that I was actually able to do that because I suck at guitar. But I practiced enough that I, for a little bit in my life, I didn't suck. <laughs> there you go. Um, Carrie, has anyone watched videos from Do You Know Gaming Clips? There's one about Breath of the Wild. It's really interesting. There's other videos that are good too, but he says some stuff I actually didn't know about for Breath of the Wild. Did You Know Gaming is... Yeah, yeah, I know Did You Know Gaming. Um, it's a very cool compilation channel sort of thing so yeah and Chris said I have to go and watch cutscenes from Skyward Sword after watching oh man oh oh touching on some touching on some nerves there with, with Skyward Sword so I'm talking about the streaming thing I really actually kind of want to almost wrap up the Tears of the Kingdom sort of streaming stuff because I want to stream some of the other Zelda games and I'm as much as it probably wouldn't be the first choice of me wanting to do it, I need. I think I really want to stream Skyward Sword because um, I think it would be very pertinent to the, some of the theory arc I'm working on now, just, just to for people to see it and have it fresh. And I say that because um, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. And of course, when you're, I like with streaming with you guys and that, like you get to pick up some stuff that even as much as I've got sort of in my theory side, so there's other stuff that you notice that's just cool in general. And um, yeah. I was actually thinking about you the other day, Carrie, with something because um, the trend I'm noticing coming up with Zelda lately is people like, five interesting bits of lore you didn't know and seven bits of lore you didn't know. It's like, I don't want to sound, I don't want to sound off chops here. There's lore frigging everywhere in this game, right? Like, am I, it's, I'm not, just, I'm trying not to say it in a negative way, but like there is literally lore everywhere in this game. There's references to the Zelda series throughout. Like, how do you just pick five? <laughs> do you know what I mean? But what where I did think of you was like when we were doing the the thing with the the flute kid, and I was I was thinking of uh, Link to the Past, and then you were you were talking about Skull Kid with Majora's Mask. I'm pretty sure, and it was like, oh my god, you know that was a cool one. So I'm like, you know what, that's a thing that maybe someone covers in one of those because that was a cool, that was a really cool pickup. I like that. Yeah. And then BPX, when he responded, to, he responded to one of the tips and tricks the other day from somebody. Oh, he responded today, sorry, to that tip and trick from that somebody put in one age ago. Actually, JK, it might have been you. Might have been you, actually. And it was about, about um, being able to navigate and find your way with the map. And about using the glow, glow things in the caves. Yes, it was too. There you go, see? Chris, and you know what? That was not long after I was looking at something of yours. And it's, see, two steps always comes back. You're the Kevin Bacon of Zelda. So I'm just pausing it, sorry, because I'm trying to finish that point. And I know that we're at school. Weirdly, I've found my way here out of drunken stumbling, but holy cow. Um, <laughs> did you know gaming really leveled up their content? Yeah, there were, they've got multiple people doing it, I think. And they're, they're kind of, yeah, they're kind of doing it full time. To be fair as well, um, there is a lot of people in the Zelda stuff that do this full time. I, I don't, I, I, I can tell you honestly, I'm, or, or they, they don't have the same, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, we're, we're definitely like my work commitments don't marry up at the same level or work, yeah, anyway. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to wear this right, but yeah, they, they've got that. They've got a lot more capacity to put into the video stuff, time-wise, and oh, man, I'm not going to lie. Where I'm trying to come from that is I'm a little bit jelly because I'd be not not because of like it's just like I'd love to be able to just smash out some of that stuff and get it out there. Not 
necessarily for the views or the money, just to be able to get the theory done. <laughs> just because it's like, I'm sick of going like I've got, I've got 30 or 40 series up my sleeve. And like, honestly, I, I just want to be able to get to do theories on some of the other games as well. God, so much stuff like this just needs to be covered. And it, you see people go, oh, there's, 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 no, there's nothing else to be really discovered in those games. It's like, are you kidding me? Am I the only one that's not saying that? Oh, it's crazy. Finding a use for your 999 Bright Bloom scenes. I found a use, you could sell them. Because I, I did hit that threshold and went and sold them. Got, got a couple bucks, that was cool. Okay, so I, oh, this is Simon. All right, so Dan, Dan was trying to leave me here for ages. He's just, he's probably shaking his head right now, but Simon. Wait, so we've got the school. Just center. Channel your inner carry. Center. Okay, at, actually, and so, so Keely as well, because Keely, Keely's advice was always, uh, what was it? But I, I know the, the general meaning of the advice was basically just to, do you, but it, it was something, um, uh, can I think of it? Go your own way, it's not, no, Fle oh, for some reason I got Fleetwood back in my head, but follow your nose or, nah, she had, she was, she's way cooler than I am. I, I do better at awkward statements, but anyway, Keely's advice was very much like Carrie's as well. It's just like, just chill, just do you, it's all good. And, you know what, if I just chill at the moment, I'm sure I'm gonna pick up on what Dan's saying. There's some law stuff here. So first of all, that map in the background's got my attention, because you know, I do like a good map. Love me a good map. And I'm just looking at that straight off the bat and going, that's a little bit interesting. Um, definitely looking like the whole BOT dubs, TOTK roughly version of Hyrule type stuff. But could be something interesting there. We've got another little thing next to the backboard there. We've got Simon, who was obviously part of the Ancient Tech Lab. We've got students. <gasps> Do you know what else is special about this spot? Yeah, this does remind me of another video. The one by Dan the Man. So that's, that's, that's got theory content right there. This is where Dan shot one of his videos, or Dan got some stuff in one of his videos. In the background, I can see some cool little icons on the walls. Definitely harkening back to some other Zelda things. Just a random bit of uh, what's going on there. What a Princess Zelda Samon. Princess Zelda is still missing, which is the reason you came here alone. That makes more sense. Princess Zelda built this school. Love how they highlight certain things in red. She cared so much about the children, I'm sure this would be one of her first stops if she had returned. Yes, I, I would agree. Well, either here or that romantic, lovely little weird sewage down the bottom of a well with frogs dripping around. Like, that's... <laughs> Me and the missus keep joking about that. It's like, I'm gonna, one day I'm going to build you a little special room down in a well that's humid and has frogs bouncing around in it. It just seems like such a, when they were saying, saying about the secret room, I kind of thought it would be not necessarily kind of swampy. It felt a little bit swampy. I've got to go back and check it out, but it, it felt swampy. I'm just saying it. Um, <laughs> right now we're covering history, which was very important to Princess Zelda. Indeed it would. We're focusing on Hyrule. Oh, the Calamity. First time I've seen it. Well, not first time, because it was on that thing uh, at the front of um, uh, the Great Plateau, but you know, Link, you're welcome to sit in and listen if you'd like. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Today's class will be a history lesson. The story of Hyrule was deeply intertwined with the Calamity, and that is no exaggeration or embellishment. <sighs> what about alliteration? Can we have hyperbole? Somebody want to give me a high five? I told you I'd bring it back, right? Just need to warm back, need to warm up, you know? The Calamity has been visited upon the land of Hyrule several times before. Interesting choice of words. It was sealed away 10,000 years ago by the sacred princess and a hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness. 
Isn't that just a fi- Oh, Dan, it's like your video, but yours is cuter. Over time, history and legend sometimes blur together. Oh, this is, do you know what? Big J's probably sitting there somewhere right now going, I was saying this before the game come out. Big J nailed that approach so well with how he was saying. See, that's what I mean, right? About theory. How Big J talked about what Tears of the Kingdom would be before it came out, that should be be a video that has 50 million views and well regarded and applauded in the Zelda community and it'd just be Big J going this is what I think is happening and it, it wouldn't need a whole lot of editing or anything because it was just damn well thought out and spoken but what? yeah that's not how social media works um, which is a shame because such a good take on it it's exactly that the difference between legend and reality and what could be myth and what could be fact but as we're going to start to uncover on this theory arc that i'm on at the moment there's there's a little bit more that's sitting behind some of that as well that's kind of really cool and by the way between me and you i will go out in the limb right now and say one thing that i in case anyone else is wondering this will put it to bed in no way do I think what's happening in this game retcons anything that's happened in anything else. It's still able to exist on its own merit. And that's what JK was uh, JK, that's what Big J was saying as well, is that you're able to still have what happened there with the, with the different, it's kind of like Schrodinger's cat approach almost, is the way I'm discussing it in the next video. If you look at it a bit like that, in that, how things are happening means that it both does and doesn't exist at the same time depending on which perspective you've got and that's my kind way of saying that if you want to disagree with it then you can because in answering a question I got from my daughter this evening about Zelda and this franchise is what's canon and what's not and i said as far as i'm concerned my my girl what's canon is what you decide it is canon because if you if you need that verified by somebody nintendo are very clearly allowing you the opportunity to make that your make that decision yours uh did that happen to have it spelled out by somebody else and that, yeah, it's kind of i know i'm again being in touch cagey with that but it was a very simple question she was asking her and it kind of to me kind of reflected what some of the theory stuff is is doing to the future zelda fandom is trying to establish theory stuff as canon when nintendo are clearly leaving gaps there for people to interpret it on the edge of my seat schrodinger's cat you say chris I know I didn't I'm trying not to I'm trying not to trip myself up here but yeah very much very much let, let's go let's go with the let's go with the um, let's go with the golden ratio aspect we're talking about as part of that oh, oh man I want I just want to spell it out but and then and that's only this one little step and again this is debatable but it's just, it's a, the next theory video will be more just a viewpoint on a particular aspect of it, that if it's looked at in a particular consideration is an interesting take on some other things and it allows me to, <laughs> it allows me to st set a foundation or a base level for where I'm going with some of my stuff which is, in typical fashion, a theory that's not necessarily going to um, say that somebody's right and somebody's wrong, but propose stuff that is being represented in the series and has been pointed out and harkens back to other games and things that have been done, which suggests that there is more at play than people think. And whether that's right or wrong is up, is always open for interpretation. Because um, unless anybody else has taken stock, I don't think Nintendo are coming out telling everybody what is and isn't canon a la Disney and then deciding to retcon. 
I mean, I, like, I don't mind some Disney stuff in that as well, but they're not coming out and retconning, you know, 20 years of lore and, and literature on Zelda just because now we're going to do this and then if that's not retconned, it doesn't, it's now a conflict. Um, because that's crazy. Instead, what they're doing is finding a way to resolve problems. And I'll give you a prime, I'll, I'll tell you what, Chris, I will give you one thing, one example of what I'm talking about with that, which is, um, oh, it was, uh, actually, actually, if I do that, it's going to give that thing away too much. But uh, I think it's more just about somebody saying recently as well that something retcon something else and blah, 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 because it's a conflict in it. It's an, it becomes a, a very much a, a debate about what is and isn't canon and stuff like that without necessarily having that substantiated in any degree. And I just find the whole thing quite fascinating because a lot of the basis of what was being discussed in that argument was pure horseshit. Literally horseshit. Like it had no basis in reality at all. Um, and a lot of that is just built up on what's got high view counts on YouTube, which is quite funny. And none of that's disparaging any anyone involved. It's just saying that it's, it's quite astounding what can and can't become fact um, based on a lack of um, understanding of what's going on. But to be fair in that aspect, that's part of why I think Nintendo have chosen to go the way that they've gone because um, they're allowing people to be able to use their imagination in certain aspects. So the Schrodinger's cat example, maybe a better way I could say of a Schrodinger's cat example would be to say, if you look at the game from the perspective of my daughter, she's played Breath of the Wild and she's playing Tears of the Kingdom right now. She asked me, is Z-Link canon? And I said, well, that, that's where I have an issue. Where if, oops, and right on target, she walks out and you should not, you're up early, are you all right? Getting a drink. Sorry, love, I didn't wake up, did I? Okay. Good. Sorry, it's early in the morning here. My daughter just walked out well before her, her time to get up, which is unusual. Um, she asked me if Zealand can, and I said, well, that's that's debatable. Has, hasn't always been. It's never been stipulated. But certainly in games earlier in the series, it was never a thing. However, there's been aspects of it that have been introduced into the series. Whether it is or isn't is, is arguable. However, I would say that there was definitely more of an inclination of that being addressed. Hi, Little Smith, says Chris. Oh, and um, Piney said thanks for the mixtape. Uh, you go back to bed though, try and get some sleep before school. Okay, good girl. Thank you. are welcome. Thank you. She said thank you. Um, <laughs> she's she's going to try and get some more sleep. It's about 5 o'clock here, so she can get a bit more sleep before school. Uh, another big day. We will both well actually, but... Um, or we all will, I should say. Um, <laughs> no worries, Tiny. It's all good. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, she asked me if Zealing's canon, and I basically went, look, it's debatable either way, but I would say that I think since um, Skyward Sword, there was, you'd have to agree that there was a bit more of a, they established in Skyward Sword a, a strong connection between Link and Zelda in that game that was, had a, in, in the words, and I'll, I'll use the words of Satori Takazawa, in the Making a Breath of the Wild video where he talked about it being like kind of more of a cute, flirty kind of aspect to their relationship. Um, where if you're looking at Twilight Princess, or whatever, it was more of a sense of duty and and uh, uh, think the argument could be whether there's romance or not. And I would argue that you can interpret it as a friendship just as much as a romance. And... I think there's a lot to be said about that because I have friendships with females who I don't have a romantic attachment to. I care for them greatly, 
but I'm married to my wife. We can also look at things in different ways. Love can be viewed in different ways as well. And those messages can be taken in how players want or people want to have it. But in terms of what is canon, well, I think like we've talked about it here on the stream, I, I'm not here to say what is canon or not. I, I don't think I'm in a position to do that. But at the same time, I like look at Age of Calamity and I love that story. Some people say to me it's not canon. I'll go, well, you can say it's not canon, but for me, it's part of the Zelda universe as far as I look at it. Whether it is just a timeline offshoot that happened and doesn't exist, well, fair enough. That's fine. It's an awesome game. Great story. Had me on the edge of my seat, fist pump in the air, and the moment Patricia came out it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. As emotionally ambiguous as a typical Japanese story. Thank you, Chris. <sighs> Literally just gave me chills with that. That's exactly right. Exactly right. Oh man, and if you want chills, if you want chills, when, when I cover this next bit of stuff in the next series, really, really start piecing together what I've been referencing with a, with a few things. And oh my God, the more and more I was looking at it, the more I was like, holy cow. In particular, the, the Japanese mythological references and Mikaboshi. Oh, dude. The more and more I look at that, the wow, it's crazy. Um, call me a zoom while I'm on patrol. I've got to keep a close eye on for bad guys. Um, so I missed some stuff up there on the chat too while I was on my little little diatribe. It's why I try not to do these too often, the diatribes. Um, JK said, live streaming video on future theory videos, and I'm 100% here for that. Live stream hype. Yeah, I'm not even trying to hype it. I'm just like, I'm, I think I'm doing a terrible job of containing um, my enthusiasm for covering the plethora of fucking material that I've got that just takes me ages to put together but man I, I just can't wait to get it out it's not it's not to get it out to get like honestly I, I don't, I'm terrible at expressing I, it's, it's to get it out to get it off my chest because it's like you know you've got a conversation like here's stuff and here's this and it's material and there's the facts and that's how that connects and that and that and you could interpret it however you want it's up to you but have a look at it it's it's more than a coincidence if you ask me but if you think it's horseshit and it's, it's all coincidental great cool but i'm telling you right now when it comes to things that are math science and they're overlaying in a in a way that is or overlaying or they're connecting or whatever it might be whether it is a process of uh, apophysia or what, or what or however you want to look at it I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm too far down the rabbit hole now that I just see connections in this friggin' series everywhere I go, but even the fact that we have these kind of conversations to me is, is iterative of the cycle. But um, what I can tell you is, is that whew, some of it is getting really spookily uncanny now that, I've, that I'm uncovering. It's just it's so much fun to look into in the background. And I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's yeah it's just something that I really would love to just sit there like I think as much as doing the videos now I do want to get in a position where I can just maybe have kind of a stream thing where you just like sit there with people and just kind of run through it a bit more in depth like I could go back over some of the stuff that I've done and go look actually this is what was done in the video but here's the, the context and stuff around it and some of the backstory and some of the stuff I didn't cover um because it's just, it's crazy cool to me anyway. Whether it is somebody else or not, that's, I'm not here to say. Um, I'm more coming out from the position of saying as everybody else is. Like a Zelda fan going, this is what I'm picking up. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but what do you think? It's cool or not? For me, it's pretty freaking awesome, but... Um, then again, somebody else might think it's not. It doesn't really matter, but... 
Um, what I think is important though is, is understanding that there's different generations who, so many people who were talking theory stuff came into Zelda and they're, they're like, oh, I'm old school, I've been playing Zelda since Ocarina or, or whatever, and it's like, I get that, I've been playing Zelda since since the first games. Um, but I, I might be old and fuddy and silly and awkward, but I'm also smart enough to realise that um, Nintendo need to make stories that that can work for the future, that can work for a young kid who's coming into this franchise like we did, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, ready for an adventure and a story that's epic to them, and will be their Zelda. And it doesn't have to be our Zelda. We need to be able to let go of our Zelda and, and see it through the eyes of the future. And in that way, I think OG Over, when you're saying that Tears of the Kingdom's about the future, I couldn't agree with him more about that because I dare say every Zelda game's been about the future. It's always been a way of trying to make their storytelling relevant to that generation and, and push the boundaries of gaming, which is freaking awesome. Do they get it right 100% of the time? Well, no, nobody could though, but tell me another franchise that does what we do in Zelda and has existed for that long and is getting more successful on a piece of hardware that's 10 years old and by all rights shouldn't be able to do what it's doing and is absolutely flooring competition that's on hardware that's so much better, has so much more capability and it's just killing it. And if you can tell me that what they're doing is wrong, I'd argue that from a sales perspective, I, I dare say that that could be challenged. Um, I, I don't know exactly where the sales are for TOTK at the moment, but I did see something that it was weeks ago that it, it was already the second best, second highest, sell, ze, second highest Zelda game on record, and this was only like a couple of months after release or something, like not even that long. And I, what I do know is, having looked at stuff with Breath of the Wild for so long and sales records and back end and Nintendo stuff, that you know, before that, Twilight Princess was the highest seller, and Breath of the Wild had just floored how much the sales were for Twilight Princess. So if TOTK was already at number two, it means that it passed Twilight Princess, and means it's well on its way to take over the sales of Breath of the Wild, early days. And we haven't even had the DLC announced or anything yet. It's not even warmed up in terms of having the time either that Breath of the Wild, like, so, we're talking about a franchise that by all rights has every reason to have stagnated, died, slipped up and just been forgotten in the annals of history and yet it's actually going off chops. It's getting stronger. And that's gotta that's gotta tell ya that maybe maybe there's something to that. Again, I'm not here to say what's right and wrong, what I am here to say though is that there's certain things I'm noticing. And I think that's a conversation I enjoy having. Sorry, I'm realizing I haven't caught up with stream and stuff. I'm just having a little, little bit of a, little bit of a rant. I'm gonna throw out my batch of crazy theory. Grease and Young Impa get together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and due to time travel difference of badass women being badass is what leads to one male Gerudo every hundred years. Do you know what? I love that. JK, that is, that is a hundred percent what I'm talking about with why I love the community and the theory stuff that's coming out and why what's canon and what's not. Look, don't get me wrong, I, I get the argument of canon and tongue in cheek, you know, I make a joke about it in the next video where I, I kind of do kind of broach that thing and go, I think, you know, it could be this, it could be that, and technically it could be this, but I think we can all agree that the CDI games don't count. You know, like, <laughs> when we talk about canon, I'll go, anything's canon, it can be what you want, but can we all agree that it's not the CDI games? Because I think we all want to agree. I think that's one thing universally we're all pretty, we're all well okay with that. I think even the guys who made the CDI games are cool with that. They're all like, no, no, no we're good. We're good, we, we know. We knew it was, you know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's anyone that's arguing that point. 
And even, I think Nintendo did kind of on record go, that doesn't quite fit in with our stuff. <laughs> you know, without, but doing it very polite. So yeah, I'm down. But that theory, I love. And, you know, what I love about that as well is I love having that discussion and then going, what else do I know that I could add to that that would make that seem plausible? Because there is actually stuff that I could add to that. And that's, that's, that's the discussion. It doesn't, it's not that I agree or think that that is what happened, but I could try and add some stuff that would make, that could, could maybe validate it or could maybe debate it, but it would be fun to talk about. That's, that's awesome. That's a cool one. I love it. Gruce's Gandalf's granddaddy. So there, there is definitely a, a, has been a thing for a long time that Gruce started the Gruce, Gruce land, Gruce. And he, he did fly off saying he was going to go do his whole thing. And I would 100% agree that he had strong connection with Impa. By far. And do you know, this guy was sort of one of the most, one of the most devastating scenes for me. See, I got more emotional over that than I have about Tears of the Kingdom, if I'm being 100% honest, was Bruce dropping to his knees when Impa passed away at the end of Skull of Sword. That, that got me. Like, his reaction was just... floored me. Um, and it was the way they'd slowly eked in that character development, and it was done with a lot of humour and stuff, and he kind of became a cheerleader in the end, and it was like, yeah, yeah, I, and I enjoyed it. But then when he dropped with Zelda, uh, with Impa, that the subtext of that relationship was just... It was good. It was good stuff. It's stuff that I don't see a lot. And uh, I, I don't know. It, it challenged... It challenged a guy that I started the game going, this is a douche, and... I come around a bit, you know? I was cool. Very cool. And it actually, for me, became part of the... For me, a bit of a headcanon slash theory thing with the Gerudo about... How the... How the setup is with Gerudo City in town. That... I actually believe there was a connection built in that relationship between Groose and Impa. Not necessarily that they, that they got together or whatever, but that there was a mutual foundation or respect built there that's in this particular version. I believe the Sheikah would have been behind um, how they would have done the... Um, the hydrology and stuff for what we see in Gerudo Town, like because you look at that thing, the Gerudo typically are nomadic in the desert, because and normally a lot of desert tribes are, but in uh, Breath of the Wild universe they're not, because they've actually managed to dominate the desert and feed water straight up through the back of the throne room and stuff, and it's a sign of um, authority over the harsh desert climate, but if you look at what technology it would take to do that, and what's synonymous throughout Breath of the Wild with the... Oh, he's gonna get nut. With the, um, the ancient furnace and the piping of um, ancient energy throughout the underground from the northeast of Kala to Hatino to under the castle and all the builds of the Sheikah tech and all that, you'd have to suggest that it does look like the Sheikah would have been uh, involved in doing that. And certainly the ancient Sheikah scripts in and around the Yiga clan hideout suggest that they, will, they were involved in some of that construction of what was the Yiga hideout being caused the Yiga uh, sorry the Yiga hideout sorry being an ancient Gerudo shrine temple of sorts the seven heroines so there's evidence there of that relationship that, that there was a there was a, a mutual just like the Hylians and the Zora had worked together building the Zora kingdom it does look to me like the Sheikah had worked with the Gerudo very much so. So I'm, I'm down. Oh man, chat disconnected. That sucks. Anyway, 
on a good point. I was ranting on, so that was probably helpful. Um, Chris says, I think there are interviews where I knew me mentions that Greece's colors were specifically, yeah, exactly 100%. The eye color is as well. And I, I actually still believe to some degree that they uh, set up Greece's character on a redemption arc to foreshadow what's going to happen with the group, with um, Ganon at some stage. It, it didn't play out that way in TOTK to what we've seen so far, but I believe it's still coming. There is going to be a connection between, there is going to be a connection between the Greedo and the Hero. I'm, I'm guaranteeing it's coming at some point. It's just how it's going to play out. As well as the fact that there's other things at play that have been subtly built in and have happened and I don't think a lot of people have picked up on it. But there is a subtle shift that's been happening and it's been threaded into the series to build the future. And it's very, very cool. Very cool. I think I've just gone on loop. This is probably what BPX was talking about. I just need to make sure I get the bubble pop. Bubble frog? I think. Is that what it's called? Bubble frog? Yeah, I've been here. Okay. Try and pay some attention now. Anyway, back to the chat. So, TOTK is really G Dwarf origin story arc because we get more insight into his character than any other game, in my opinion. Yeah, look, and that's a fair call. That is a, definitely a fair call. Um, I've got a slightly different take on that. But I could totally agree with it as well. I could see it and I can understand it. And I think in its own right, even just in this story, it just makes a whole heap of sense. I totally get that. If, um, if my, my spin sort of ends up coming into play, which by all accounts I think it will, um, where I'd say my, my take on it is slightly different is not that it disagrees with that, but it would mean that that is true as well as another version of that same thing, and that's what I mean by a Schrodinger's cat type take. Is that technically... It would mean that both versions exist. Or another version of it exists. And I promise myself, not anyone else on this stream right now, I'm promising myself right now to shut up and not say any more things more. <laughs> because I'm just getting way, way too close to just saying way too much. That unsubstantiated and without giving the proper material just sounds like the ranting is a real madman. But I'm not going to do that to myself. Because I'll do that and then I'll get off the stream and go, why have I done that? That was terrible. Shouldn't do that without substantiating it, and that bugs me. Just so you know why I'm particular about these things. Um, but yeah, I can totally get where you're coming from, Chris. Totally get where you're coming from. And I think to, to echo that point, in the lead up, I was wondering whether it was going to be Demise or Ganondorf. That was kind of one of the questions I had, because technically, I guess what I started to realise in looking at the Breath of the Wild theory stuff and this this comment that I'm about to make goes back to the video I made in 2021 about the connections with Skyward Sword and what was going to be Breath of the Wild 2. And 100% everything that I talked about in that video in 2021 is still relevant to TOTK now. Um, was this line that connected Skyward Sword um, and I guess if you take it as the antagonist of it whatever evil is but having Demise as part of that origin story the, the argument was going to be which version of um, we'd already by that stage I think we'd already seen the, or maybe not seen the first trailer clip or maybe it come out around then anyway the, the question was always going to be is it Ganondorf or Demise um, what version of evil would it be but ultimately, you know, you've got this malice aspect in that building up, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, would it, would you see Demise by name or would you see Ganon by name? Knowing, though, that from what I think is what you're saying, Chris, the relevant aspect of Japanese culture, I guess being able to look at things multidimensionally a little, a little bit different, 
is that it's ultimately a characterization of of you know evil or, or whatever it might be in this particular story, and that's for over some um, And I wondered then which way it would go, and I kind of had a feeling it would go one way. And I did a, I did a um, survey with the survey says with the community. I did a community post and I put it out there. I'm like, what's what's your the way I've tried to figure out which way it would go if I was Nintendo was which one would be more popular because ultimately it's a business right and the game's got to be one that's going to attract people and sell and I'm not saying that that's the only thing in the decision but I'm saying let's face it if you're thinking about which one it would be in name maybe if you're a new player coming to it which which bad guy is going to get the most hype so by asking the question, who's who's the biggest bad, I think was the question. And I put Demise and Ganondorf in there and I threw in Vardy. And I think maybe Maladus, oh that could be it. And Ganondorf smashed it by like an overwhelming majority. And I knew with that pole alone, that was it. It was set in stone, it was always going to be Ganondorf. It wouldn't have even mattered if it wasn't meant to be an iteration of Demise. But it was always going to be done through Ganondorf because that's that's what people want. They want they want the G-Man, and that's where I think Nintendo are clever. They know what people want. They know what we want before we even know we want it. And that's why they've been in business for a hundred odd years, and will be in business long after I'm gone. That's an art. I think I've just gone around the circle again. I don't even think about like Bubble Frog. Might just have to, might just have to get out of here because I, I think I'm literally just going around in circles. It's hilarious. Um, but I'm gonna also just take the opportunity to have a quick break because the throat's getting a bit dry and then get some liquid. And also just gonna fire off another quick, quick report and stuff as well for the guys in the morning. Yeah, work. Um, so if you're happy to bear with me on that, I'm just gonna call a quick break in a sec. Um, we're going to get a snack and a drink and visit the bathroom, which will be very important. What a, what a, what a great streamer I am in talking to people about going to the bathroom. What a champ. And I promise I will do something in the game, but talking about lore stuff has been awesome. But before I do, I'm just going to do a quick hammer on the chat with some of the stuff. So I think there's an interview. Yeah, we said that. TRTK is really getting to a origin story. Great. Yeah, we said that. Him without his forehead jury was also the first, for the first time in the series. Great point. That is a really good one. Not the CDI games. Thank you, Tony. Like, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't be cut if they if somebody said it was. Like, I, I'm not. I'm not. It's, as much as I love the the law stuff and that is still a game, right? It's still fiction. <laughs> Got to have some leeway in life. But yeah, it's kind of fun just to to rag on it, isn't it? Can't deny the relationship that Granny Emperor and Greece have, so it only makes sense that that would fall for Young Emperor as well. No, it totally makes sense, JK. It's actually, do you know what? It's, it's, I'm on board, man. I'm on board. Definitely on board. Chris, you're right about his appearance, and with the Young Witches, there's plenty of evidence pointing in that direction. 100% agree. You guys, you know what? You're onto it. You're onto it. I, I wouldn't disagree with anything you're saying there at all. Have you seen the reward for completing all the shrines? No, I have not, Carrie. I have not seen the reward at all. Um, which, interesting. Look forward to that. But, um, no. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. But, um, look, I know that there's some stuff in the game that I haven't fully uncovered. And again, like when I talk about the theory stuff that I'm doing, I'm not going to lie. There could be stuff that will come up in this game that could add to that or detract from that I don't know yet I'll find out but yeah in fairness where I'll sort of go on with mine it's not necessarily I don't think it would be an issue whatever it is um, I couldn't imagine it would be anyway we'll find out wouldn't be the first time to be wrong though either um, so Chris I know quite shocking hero well hero with the tail Oh, don't know about that one. That's new. Hey, is the chat working? Yes, I just wasn't scrolling down. Sorry about that. I don't think his is. Uh, 
Will you turn the game audio down a touch, please? Catching up there, Chris. Good point. Let me jump back to the audio. And I think I'd slipped away from the mic a bit as well because I was trying to sit up straight and not slouch with my back and then get a sore back and then try to get up and go crickety crack. So sorry about that. And also because my mic's on a bit of a weird angle because I was throwing around cords and that when it wasn't connecting before. It's not me making excuses like a champ. Just excuses, excuses. Shocking. All right, so. Uh, no, he's stuck in the chat. Did you mean Kotaku and Kwame? You do that. I uh, snack and a drink. We're up to there. You need to see this reward, though. Look, I've got the feeling based off what I covered up there with somebody saying something about a tail. I've seen what I... Th I can't tell if it was in-game or not or something. Or a mod. I'm not going to lie in the fact that I've seen thumbnails with people sticking a, a weird sort of... Uh, looking thing that's kind of looking like a Zonai dragony lizardy kind of gorito y kind of thing. I don't know if it's a mod or whatever, but that could be what you're talking about. In which case, uh, I I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be that shocked with that at all. If that's the thing that you get for that reward, or it comes up in the game, because it looks like put it this way, I know that there's more coming based on the outfits because I have seen the, where is it put it, there was something about that and I don't know if it's the same thing or not or if it's just somebody's artistic interpretation of wherever this outfit's going so again 100% hand on heart I don't know if I'm just talking smack or not because as soon as I've seen it I'm just like nah I don't want to know nothing about that do we and get that off my feed but when I look at that thing I haven't seen that come up uh, haven't seen that come up the whole Zonai shin guard thing and I got the feeling that's going to have more to it when it all pieces together so based off what old uh, Minoru's thing was that was a bit left field when that sort of came together I wouldn't be shocked at all if it's going to be a Zonai-esque creation or Zonai-esque feature or figure. Could be that. Don't know. But yeah, very cool though. Could be cool. And it, if it was that, that does look very sort of Gerudo-ish. Um, don't know. If that was the marriage between Grease and Impa though. Whoa. Animalistic. Um, bit of a joke there. Bit of, bit of in-game humour. Um... <laughs> Just trying to keep the jokes going there. Uh, yes, Chris. It'll be a while before he sees the reward. Yeah, I know. Not a mod. Looks like the hero on the tapestry, in my opinion. Okay. So, yeah. Sounds like we're on the same page. Yeah. It looks like I had orangey kind of hair and greenish skin and looked Zonai-esque was what I could tell. I think I think it's one of those things, though, where as soon as I saw it, I went, I haven't seen that yet. And considering I'm not even opening my own art book to try and avoid spoilers like that, I was just like, nah, scroll it on. Um, and to be fair, I've done a pretty good job of keeping Zelda stuff off my, my own feed. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that one snuck through, um, which sucked a bit. But um, yeah, if that's a reward, it wouldn't shock me based off those leggings, let's just say that much. But there's also some, um, to be fair on that, I, again, and I, I can only say that I don't know, there's a lot that needs to come up about some of these outfits, if you know what I'm putting down. Like, a lot. And I don't know how much is getting covered out there by the theorists, I've got no idea. But uh, I'm going to have some fun in pulling apart some of these over time, let's just say that much. Like, even just based on the ones I've seen, and Dan knows what I'm talking about with some of this, by the way. Like, these outfits, each one of these, even before I'd seen them, Dan was sort of saying, and I was like, yep, and that's why Dan was giving, joking, uh, doing the riddles and that, and leading me to these outfits, because so I could get them and that. And there is absolutely no coincidence, I'm almost certain of it, by the way, there is no coincidence 
in the design on these outfits and things going on and I picked up something recently. Oh God, I hadn't even, I haven't even met, thought about that one either for a while. I noticed something that is in plain sight as well. And again, whether anyone else is gonna agree with it or just say it's horseshit is, is up for debate. But it's, it's sitting right in front of everybody. And I, I think it's confirming something that I theorized a, a while ago. I'm just gonna say that much. It could be sitting right in front of you right now while you're playing the game and you wouldn't have noticed it. Or you could notice it, but maybe you haven't put it together fully yet and it's sitting right there. And if that sounds tempting, I'm really sorry, but my gosh, I was trying to point to it, to the, the missus and my daughter today or yesterday as just one example of something. This is like, that's, that's right there. And yeah, it's cool, cool stuff. I sound like a crazy bit. I'm gonna have a break, so I sound less crazy when I come back. I promise I'm gonna pull it together. I really need to get back in the habit of streaming and just being a little bit more light, fluffy and jokey with it and less like, oh God, theory stuff and I wanna tell you. Such a, such a hilarious thing. Um, and before I do though, I just wanna have a quick check on this. Do you think DLC will be announced soon? Yep, 50%, ooh, that's strong. That's strong. Okay, what is, I've just got to check, right, what's the date? So for me, it's the 28th. All right, so I thought it would come late August, early September if it was announced. If it doesn't come in the next week, in my mind, the announcement, then it might actually not come till December. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. But if anything, I think I would get wrong in terms of a prediction, it'll be the DLC. I reckon, I, I reckon I'll get it wrong. <laughs> so I'm kind of interested to see what you guys think. 10% said I like emojis. Yeah, threw that one randomly. I love that answer. But yeah, so we got, yep, nope. Very cool. 10 votes, all right. It's not quite, not quite a sound population 200, which statistically you should get for anything, but I like it. Thinking DLC will be announced with the, ne with the new Switch. Yeah, that, that room is floating up again. Uh, do you know what? Maybe. Maybe. Chris with some Chris with some lightning strikes in there spinning it up. For sure. For sure. The new the only thing I've got with the new switch carry, and I, again, I can only say this, is it's very it's very whether the business will go with that is it will be interesting. I think it would be a polarizing decision if it wasn't at least backwards compatible. Uh, considering how many people are currently rocking a Switch right now, like it, it's, it'd be an interesting decision. Um, however, I will say from a YouTube perspective, the new Switch thing is a real clickbaity piece of crap that just annoys me. <laughs> because it's just like, it's the same discussion over and over again and like it's just until it's up it's up um i don't know what else there is to say about that but yeah new switch unless unless you've got a new switch or this facts released by nintendo what is that video about because honestly what what are you talking about um i was pretty bummed my what my wii u breath of the wild wasn't able to transfer to my switch yeah, I get that. I actually, I ended up, I ended up getting it on my Wii U as well. Even though I got it on the Switch, but I ended up getting it on my Wii U as well, just because I wanted to be able to, to play it on both. Um, so yeah, I could see the backwards compatibility. If they do it that way, yeah, for sure. But if you, if you had it, um, if it was only specific more to the other one, yeah, that'd be a bummer. They already stated the accounts will carry over. Isn't that hinting enough? Well, I don't know. What do you mean they've said accounts will carry over to a new Switch? Or if we're talking accounts will carry over to a, if, I don't, I'm sorry, Kara, I don't know how they would have said that unless they've said that there is a new, they would have said that there's a new console being built at some point. 
For sure. And accounts would carry over for that. Nintendo accounts carried over from the Wii U. Um, so, yeah. There was, there's things in their financial... I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is, is my issue isn't that it wouldn't happen. My issue is that it's a clickbait of YouTube shit. That just drives me nuts. It's personal opinion. It's just, it drives me nuts. The videos coming out about it. It's like working hard on theory crap and then people are like, new Switch is coming out. And it's like, you got absolutely nothing. You're just jacking it on there and getting hundreds of thousands of views for nothing. You suck. <laughs> that, and that sounds really blunt, but just pisses me off. It's in interviews. I thought they were meant to be because they're talking about MK8. Me the bat. Hey, me the bat. Hey, going. Good to see ya. I'm a masochist and played it entirely on the Wii U. Champion. Um, look, the thing with the DLC as well is, and I'll put it in my, um, I noticed it, I put it in my um, short thing where I found it hidden in the website stuff on the Wayback Machine because I was trying to figure out when it might happen. So, and hilariously, I saw, I actually saw an article the other day where someone's like, we've found confirmation DLC is coming, blah, blah, blah. And here it was in the website and it was, if you go on the Wayback Machine, I'm like, literally that's my friggin' short video and you just could do an article on it now. <laughs> like that, so the DLC was definitely part of their terms and conditions on the Tears of the Kingdom channel before it came out. Um, and then they removed it from the, tier, from the terms and conditions. So the DLC is gonna be a thing. And I think, I think if I was being 100% in my answer, it will definitely be part of a newer Switch version to whatever degree that is, 100%, because this game is gonna be like Breath of the Wild where it will be playable for a long time. So they, they would absolutely wanna make sure it carries over and is cross compatible. So no doubts, no disagreements from me there. Where my issue lies, and to, to try and explain myself properly, is is that that I just feel like it gets bought up constantly, so much with no substantiation whatsoever. That's what bothers me. That's what bothers me. Is substantiate it with something because I think I've seen so many people continue to bash that switch to has been in it the here it's coming the switch to the switch to and it's like how do you continue to put that up as a video and have any kind of uh, anyway sorry i don't, I don't understand would you but yeah how do you have any sensibilities about what you're saying and what you're doing when you you have absolutely no substantiation on that and it's just horse shit and you've got cycling clips of other stuff playing in the background Meanwhile, you've got people like Dan who are trying to put together really interesting theories and they're well thought out and they get no views, but I can put out switch to rumor, clickbait it, and it just drives me nuts. Um, anyway, that's my point. They stated in an interview that your account will be carried over so you won't have to make a new account like you had to when the Switch first came out. So all you save game data. What do you mean you had to make a new account when the Switch came out? I didn't need to. I've had it. I've still got. I've still got an original Nintendo account, uh, and then ID one. So that carried over as well. I'm not sure how that. Not sure, but yeah, no, I, I get that. And like I said, not not disparaging that. Um, a Switch, a newer version of the Switch will come out eventually. I mean, it's got to. I think though the main thing that's held up in your version of the Switch was just the chip shortage stuff would have absolutely slashed, slashed the time frames on that for sure. And so all your save data games, yeah. Well, if you're on Switch Online, you save a lot of that's carrying over anyway. Already, would we'll do with Switch Online, it's cloud. It's basically cloud storage stuff, I would think. But yeah. I, I think the point will be is a switch to rumor mill is definitely going to be on the cards about now and it, for my mind it'll permeate till close to Christmas because if, let's face it, the likelihood of a new switch coming out is pretty strong that it would be designed to be for the holiday period 
and that's where I'm saying if we don't get an announcement of the DLC necessarily soon, it might not be until the holiday period because that would mean that a newer version of the console wouldn't come out till after, if that makes sense. You know, whether how they time it or whatever. But meh, nah, I don't know. It's a it's an interesting it's an interesting take. But by by and large, when they announced the Switch O L E D, I was floored because I thought that was definitely going to be the new Switch then. And so it was like it's it's slightly better screen. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, your games didn't carry from 3DS and Wii U to the Switch. No, the I oh, know the games didn't. Not like that. Um, got that. Yeah, the games that you bought online. No. Oh, yeah. No. Got you on there. Yeah, but I think though that was different um, for me anyway. And again, I can only speak for my generation or whatever. I've gone through the generation where I've had to buy my music on vinyl, tape, CD, CD, CD because you broke them. Then eventually on every digital media platform now that exists. Um, so that whole thing where you went from the Wii U and then you have to buy the games again. I think I've had to buy Zelda games over and over every time so far so yeah the fact that there is even a possibility that the games will carry over on a digital platform now is really exciting for me so I'm, I'm down for that but that just fits right in base with the fact that i think i've bought every let's take like acdc back in black album you know tape or whatever how many times have we bought it <laughs> you know what i mean and then you get on streaming platform stuff and you buy it again then you, you change from Android to Apple, so then you buy it on iTunes, and it's just crazy. Now now you pay for streaming, so now I'm paying for the same music per month. I don't know, it's just funny to me. It's, it's weird how the technology's changed. Right, well, everything from your account is supposed to carry over this time. Yeah, I get you now, carry. I get you. So it's more your digital purchases, which is something that applied with PlayStation. Yeah, I get you now. Something that applied with PlayStation earlier days, where your older games did start to carry over between some of the generations. Game, game shop, eShop downloads. GS, eShop downloads. Yeah, I get it, I get it. I get it. But then, yeah, that's not a surprise. Not a surprise at all. It's also well and truly due in terms of how that would feed into being able to do the delivery of some of the HD titles or things that we can't get on the Switch now. For example, Wind Waker. So there would be, it's a perfect gating mechanism, commercially speaking as well. That with the newer version of a, a Switch, so to speak, or whatever, that, that would also, possibly come around the time of being able to get some of those remastered or or accessible perhaps where we where's that there are certain titles we're at the point now where you can almost get all the zelda titles again but for the longest time it's been the case that unless you had multiple consoles over different generations or whatever you couldn't get it i mean even myself trying to get things certain things for 3ds and stuff because i didn't have a ds or whatever growing up so trying to get those games is has been hard work of trying to find them secondhand and that over time, crazy. For all the Nintendo consoles and cartridges, crazy. Can only hope we'll get Windmaker soon. Yeah, agree. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky I've got Windmaker because I've got it on Wii U. Um, but, you know, a lot of people don't. So I, I totally get that, totally get that. And yeah, the games, eShop games and that carrying over makes sense, but it also makes sense particularly because of how well, and I, and I would say, again, an argument for that is the difference between how virtual console and stuff was handled and all that versus um, Nintendo didn't quite nail the third party aspect of um, digital content at all with the Wii U. I mean, the classic would have to be um, just that it didn't work out, it didn't quite, and I mean, the hardware and that, it, like for a while, it's devastating for me while that bloke went through to see how it's now worked out well with the switch but the the long and the short of it um yeah the third party support and the way the eShop works and and has done for the games not to carry over to another piece of hardware would be would be diabolical it would absolutely make people lose their minds because 
I think a huge part of the Switch's success has also been the third party support on the eShop. No doubt. I mean, we all love the Nintendo games because they're on there, but let's face it. I mean, for me, I only play this one game when you guys see me, but for a, a lot of other people who are much more um, well balanced than I am, uh, they're playing a lot of those games on the eShop and they're getting stuck into it and they're rocking it. And yeah. So that makes complete sense to me. For sure, for sure. Hey, Ofe, how you going, dude? I'm gonna try and take that break. I keep saying I'm gonna do it and I'm just loving this conversation, but you you guys are watching a screen with me just sitting here trying to carry on like an old man. But love you guys. <laughs> I adore you, if that helps. Um, Tony said, I believe after holiday, after holiday, oh, it's hard to see with that thing. Oh, maybe I should put that back up. That would help. What a loser. I'm so out of practice. Uh, I believe after the holidays, spring to summer release from March. Yeah, see, that's what I was, that's what I'm wondering, something like that. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. And, and I guess part of that I'm wondering as well, Tiny, is what, see, everyone, if you say it's Switch 2, you've got to think, think a bit Nintendo with it. It's not going to be like your current Switch with just better performing hardware. There'll be a little, they'll have some weird gimmicky thing in it that, we're not expecting that's potentially hit or miss like it's gonna it could be something really cool that's not gonna work out or you know that's classic nintendo right either way what what um that's one thing i'm interested to see is what is the weird little gimmicky thing that they're going to bring in with this or is it not or are they going to subvert our expectations by not doing a weird gimmicky thing and instead making it more in line with what you might just expect it to do i don't know i don't know because they're whacking crazy like that you know, <laughs> like the Switch is pretty cool and stuff like that. But, you know, they, they like to, they love to come out with some unusual, and they always have done, like that trying to link the hardware with the software is very much built into the Nintendo DNA. You know, do a new, new, new uh, mechanic or new, something fresh that the market hasn't seen. And it's, hit miss and I love it but it goes back to that thing that Iwata said games should be fun for everyone and the Nintendo Wii was a great example of that bought Nintendo out of the brink and had your mum and dad playing Wii bowling <laughs> my parents have still got a Wii in their house and they they couldn't believe I loved playing games but they even they got a Wii so not then they didn't play that long but they did Wii Fit so go Nintendo prove us wrong subvert our expectations i love it um and oaf says yep i have been summoned to tell gs to take a break good work son thank you i overdid it myself today life seven and a half hours champion go for it buddy what's scary for me is i'm going to back up a solid amount of work since whatever it was 24 hours ago before i got up and then I'm going straight back into a full day at work. And then I've got plans that I already need to do afterwards to work on theory stuff. And I might crash and burn later on tonight. But man alive, I've got to get stuff done. Because it's overdue. But that's awesome, dude. Well done. Uh, so like they release an actual hardware extension instead of a console. Can play a game with or without it. That's just crazy enough to work, man. This is the, uh, it's the uh, I still say it's an expansion for the Switch, an anti-Wii U. Could be, could be, you never know. Carrie, I'm going to tell you that tonight, I mean, oh, do you know what, you guys are on it. Love bowling. Oh, you guys are all over. I'm just going to make sure that scroll down. And do you know what I'm going to do? Because I don't know if you guys can still see the chat. I assume you can. Like, I don't know, I'm just probably acting crazy. But maybe I'll try and put the chat screen up on the waiting screen. Do you guys want to see the chat screen on the waiting screen or not? Or are you guys all right with that? I can't tell because I obviously have you on overlaid so I can see it when I'm in the game. But if you want that, let me know before I go and have that break. Oh, I've got a dribble of coffee left, so I'll wait for that. I do it, Dan's video, then oafs. Um, yeah, the only problem about bringing their video... Oh, yeah, I suppose I could, actually. Um, all right. I'll try and figure out a way to do it. 
Um, uh, just give me one sec, actually. Bear with me one sec, because I, I haven't quite got that sort of set up to go, necessarily. But, uh, but uh, I haven't made you, no, we were saying, yeah, you're the other one. The guys are saying that to watch that. Um, all right, so what I can do, how am I gonna do this? All right, just bear with me for a sec. I'm just thinking it through. The gears are ticking along. Unless it doesn't give the views it deserves. <laughs> um, at the moment, I don't think I deserve any views with the way I'm handling this. No, no, you're right, dude. It's just, unfortunately, I'm, I'm trying to pull up YouTube while I'm using it to also stream. Is Do you know what I mean? Is a bit weird in terms of background stuff, but I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I just also need to be very careful because there's something I'm working on in the background and if any of that's visible and it's very, if you guys know what I'm like with putting Easter eggs in things, this next couple of steps that I'm working on in the background that's going to play out over the next three to six months. If you guys see any of what I've got set up in the background in YouTube for that, it's going to be going to ruin a lot of effort that probably really won't matter to anyone else but for me I've been trying to set it up so and I've just made a bit of movement on it and I don't want anyone to see it because it'll ruin the surprise um, so if I'm going to do the overlay I just need to make sure that that's not going to pop up in the background somehow um, so and I hadn't thought about how to do that while I was doing this so yeah it's just kind of one of those things I just thought I'd put the white screen on and go to the toilet and make coffee. <laughs> and I made a practice. Okay, just go with that for a sec. And while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna try to actually say what if I set up a whole new scene somewhere, call it that. Hopefully your feed hasn't changed. Hopefully not, because I'm using studio mode while I'm doing this in the background. Something I learnt about this week for the first time and haven't ever used it. And now I'm using it. So what are the odds of that? Crazy. Okay, go with that. Yeah, add existing. Can we do that? Sure, why not? Eh, no. Don't do that. Oh, listen listen to me talk like a champion, by the way. See me the bat? This is old school, old school gamer. Trying to do tech stuff with multiple screens on one screen. Like a champ. Okay, go with that. Ah, oh, that name's very nice. Of course it is. I blame myself for being lame. <laughs> Right, so go with that, yeah, cool, good idea. Yep, cool, 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 try that, go with that. Yep, okay, now. Uh, sorry, oh, this is just rivet, this must be just riveting streaming right now and I can't even see the chat either. Um, but I'm somehow going to try and add that in as well. What am I doing? Why do I do it to myself, honestly? Oh, I'm just going to pull this off while I'm on a stream. Absolute crazy person. Which one's that? No, that's not. That, that's that window. Okay. There. Okay. I'm 
maybe shouldn't have taken this idea on at this stage. This might not have been the smartest move in them in the going. And I've also just had a thought about how I could have done it way easier, which is hilarious. Uh huh. I do that and then go like that and then put that there. That would have been so much smarter. Yep. That is that that could kind of work. Uh, okay. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have taken this on. Yeah, put up these other videos. No, no, not while you haven't got the scene set up in OBS. Don't do that again. Don't do that again. This is, by the way, talking Zelda theory. Don't do what I do. <laughs> Here's a theory. Don't do what I do. Uh, okay. Now, now I need the, I need the clips too, and I've got to pull them out of somewhere. Oh, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Right now, and, and I'm hoping you guys got a sense of humor. I want you to try and imagine Danny Glover going, I'm getting too old for this shit. Because that's me right now going, I'm getting too old for this shit. Not in a bad way, just in terms of trying to pull stuff like this off in amongst other things while you just not, that's not what you were setting out to do. And you're live on and you're like, oh, I just, why am I doing this? Just absolute craziness. You crazy, crazy person. So what you're going to do is try and go in like liked videos for some reason do it that way because you can't pull out the other thing but that could work and we go okay so go let's put that in a queue yep that'll yeah that could work Wait. Close player. <laughs> if anyone's still, do you know what? If anyone's still listening right now, I, I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, it's, it, I'm getting there. This is just like pulling teeth. Like every second at the moment in my head is just going, And this is about the point where I'm kind of like, somebody would go, ah, oh, I love, love you, love watching your theories on YouTube. And I'm like, no, I think I should stop. I should just like go here. Let me just sit down for a day or two. I'm going to tell you all the old theories that I've got. And I'm going to get out because I don't think I should be doing this anymore. Because there's younger people who are way better at it than me. You guys can watch them. <laughs> and I'll just be like the old man sitting on my front lawn. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, okay. So technically. Technically, technically, technically. Technically, technically, technically. That should be okay. And then what we're going to do is... After that, I'm just gonna try to find something that will hopefully work and come over. Oh my God, pulling teeth. Absolutely pulling teeth. But, Oh no, stop. That's no, but that'll do, right? That'll do. That'll do, pig. So that worked anyway, that's where we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. 
Okay. Pause. Now, go back to OBS. If anyone's still there, if I haven't disconnected, time will tell. <laughs> okay, you fit screen, maybe. No. Oh, man. Why did I? I should have just, I should have just taken the break. Right now, sure is going. That's why I use Streamlabs. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. I was going, you should use Streamlabs. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. But in fairness, OBS works fine. Unless you then decide you're going to do something because it sounds like a good idea. And because you, you, you know, you want to, you want to follow through with that good idea. Other than that, OBS works fine. If you, if you go in doing what you're meant to do with it, it, I don't generally have a problem. Where I have a problem is when I do stupid ideas like this, because it's actually a really good idea that I didn't think about before I came into the stream. And I'm kind of kicking myself for not having thought of it beforehand. Because right now it would have been super helpful to have that set up before, but by the by, I think I've got it. I don't know how the audio is gonna go, but we're gonna try it. All right, so, uh, here we go. I'm still in studio mode. Transition. Okay, hopefully that's changed and you can still see the chat. Come back out of studio mode, hopefully. Oh my gosh, this is just madness. Go. Have I got it? Uh, desktop audio is down. Go like that. Oh, I can't quite see it. Oh no, don't. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, come on. That's not fair. Come on. Not after all that. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on, dude. Just play the videos. Just do... Ah. Oh. Okay. I think I might be pushing whatever streaming a capability. Yeah, but in fairness, I'm trying to now push back through and play through the same thing I'm upload. I'm trying to upload and download through the same thing I'm uploading, which is just not possibly the best way to be doing it. Anyway, I'm going to hope that that's good enough. And I'm going to try and take the break that I was meant to take. <sighs> what was that? You can just... <laughs> uh, unless it doesn't give the video. I need the link. Yeah, I started the streams on YouTube, so I don't pain. <laughs> oh, thanks, me the bat. Coffee first. I'm gonna have to go. No, I have to take the bathroom, mate. I'm gonna. I'm actually. I'm actually scared to stand up at this point. But it's all good. It's hilarious. I'm just glad that the missus isn't watching this stream right now. Oh God, imagine if she is. Oh gosh. I don't think she is, but if she is, oh man, I'm gonna be embarrassed. Uh, everything on the computer, it would get fried. All right, I'm gonna try and take a break. It's working. I just wanna make sure it rolls into Dan's and I'm pretty sure I've got it queued. No, 
No, no, with the key guy, no. Did you know that Nintendo canceled this? Go to that one. <laughs> yes. Why was that one even on there? That was, oh, because I was trying to get a do you know for afterwards just in case it wasn't back in time because that's what Carrie said. Okay, that makes sense, but is it still working through this overlay? Go back. Looks to be, have you guys still got the chat? He's over there. All right, let's just hope the world doesn't blow up while I'm gone for five minutes. It, the good news is uh, it's Monk's friends, right? It's Monk's friends. Um, enjoy Dan's video. In fact, if I can, I'm just going to try and kick it off again because I've talked over it. Enjoy it. Got the audio. Sorry, I'll start it again. Oh. Nearly. Nearly, which... That's hilarious. All right, one more time, because the audio is back up. Okay. Enjoy it. Thank you.
Alright, I admit, that was off on our previous video about convergence. And sure, there might be a connection to reality, the dream world, and cross dimensions. However, when it came to Ganondorf, we weren't too far off. It also seems we weren't too far off with our Loki idea, either. But in execution, we were wrong. Really wrong. Convergence happened right before us and farther back in time than we ever could have known. And it all starts with Fee. No, not you. I mean, wait, don't go. Ah! Before we begin, a very good friend and partner in research, Gamesmiths, has a video that describes the other half of what we're missing here. So check out his video so you aren't confused. It's extremely well put together, and I can't tell you guys how thankful I am that we've spent multiple hours doing research and think tanks on this topic over the past few weeks and months. So please do me a favor and go check out his stuff. The Convergence, a shift in space-time where timelines reconnect. I was hoping we'd get a Convergence game, or even an event. And we did. In Tears of the Kingdom, the main focus is on getting the Master Sword, and returning Zelda back home. Zelda starts by being sent to the First Kingdom, which is way before Minish Cap, but being a few hundred, maybe thousand years after Skyward Sword, and the Interloper War. So, Demise is dead. Like, long dead. The curse is in motion. Zelda appears and get. Is that Ganondorf? Is the. Is that. Is that. Finally, it is mine! Well, yes. Yes, it is. This is him. The, the return of the king. The true Ganondorf. Do you guys realize how big this moment was? seen not just the reincarnation of Demise thousands of years before Ocarina of Time, but to also have Twin Rova. See, that's them, right there. Protective embrace of your kingdom. To serve it faithfully. A welcome appeal. I will accept your vow of fealty to the kingdom of Hyrule. This would mean that Ganondorf is far older than we could have known. For all we know, He's the real deal. Link! Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Every form from Ocarina, Twilight, Wind Waker, and the entire Downfall timeline was just a puppet. As mentioned, every form of Ganondorf is a puppet. A well-crafted and expertly made imitation. Each one was so well made that it fooled the entire kingdom and us fans. How? The man was sealed underground for all of space and time until the hero of the wild could stop him. The hero, as in way, 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 way far in the future. So that means all the timeline is... Huh. Sounds like convergence. Like an active way to fix space time before it breaks. And that's what happened. We saw a plan of action to step out of a predetermined timeline. Zelda in the past, yes, the same from Wild Tears. But the fun part is, this is the real Ganondorf, sealed under the kingdom. His power swells, releasing gloom, malice, and in thus doing so, the malice becomes sentient, making phantoms puppets, and even body doubles of the true king of evil. Ganondorf in Tears of the Kingdom is the Demon King. He really is Demise reincarnated. Which then leads us to our next point. So how can Ganondorf escape his fate against space-time? It's destiny. It was always destiny and a predetermined outcome for Link to fight Ganondorf. Think of it this way. 
every single one of these events from Minish to the end of the three timelines is, yes, canon to the overall story, but also events in which Ganondorf can watch from afar on how he can win or lose, and thus in doing so, he can also see where the kingdom falls after the destruction. He can even see from his Malice hive mind how other demons and villains would conquer in his stead. All of these events and wars are all contained within a securely made loop. As Wikipedia puts it, as reliable as that ever will be to say, Phi is the 21st Greek letter of the alphabet, but as we know it, Zelda team and Nintendo likes to use real-world symbols, events, and people as references. So what if we take the timeline here, put the Greek letter Phi on it, and the double dragons? Do a little bit of cosmetic work to it, and boom, we get this. As we see, there is a loop around the timeline we already knew. The key parts of this already existing convergence are Ganondorf and Zelda. And as we saw in the game, Zelda turns into the Light Dragon, watching, protecting, and waiting for all of space-time. So now that we know Ganondorf is way older than we thought, each previous form was a puppet, and the timeline was already split and fixed before the game came out, where does this put us? It puts us at a point of Nirvana. We broke the cycle. As stated in the Tears of the Kingdom third trailer, the future is ahead. I pray. This sword reaches you in the future. We now have the opportunity to have any game come out and not worry about the timeline. Because now it can be classified as in loop, which means it's one of the old timelines and future, which now means anything after Tears of the Kingdom. Think of it as this, Hyrulean Renaissance, or Rebirth, a new chapter of Hyrule to prosper and live, and a new era of old school and newly made villains. I mean, if players have shown to make fully functional guns from cannons, we could see something only the great JonTron once said. I mean, what if after Super Mario World, Nintendo came out with a teaser trailer for Super Mario 64, and upon release day, you were greeted with Mario City Simulator, and then you turned on the game and Shigeru Miyamoto's ghost comes out and like, oh, fucking, who likes the old Mario games, am I right? BRP! Make a Legend of Zelda Modern Warfare! Only time will tell. Eh? You get it? Dude. That's a fucking down the hole. I want to thank you all for coming in. It truly does mean a lot. I want to give the biggest thanks again to my friend Gamesmiths. It really means a lot, my guy. Without his help, this video wouldn't have been finished. So go give him some love. Recently, things have been heavy in my personal life. Funerals, to work, and everything in between. I want to apologize to everyone because I'm not as active on YouTube as I am with Twitch. So moving forward, I want to say that you can catch me at twitch.tv slash ogfgaming almost every single day. We got Zelda, we got Red Dead, we got Pokemon and more, so I'd love it if y'all came by. And in regards to my YouTube channel, there's more videos planned to come out, so just be a little bit more patient. I'm the Ov, I'll catch you next time, and thanks again for watching.
All right, sorry guys, I am getting settled back in, just getting topless and throwing shirts off and just got myself all warm and run around and do things. Okay, but you know what? Time has spent with videos these ones. Been enjoying listening to the audio in the background myself. What's better than two? Great. Hey Chris, can you hear me? If you're still there. I have got the audio up a lot, so maybe we can. But if you can hear me, Some of these numbers might be starting to point to some things. You know how Dan just said, what's better than two, three? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's, I'm blaming Oaf on that one because he made me do an overlay and then told me it wasn't loud enough. <laughs> See how I just blame Oaf for it? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take that and run with it. Okay, wait, I'm gonna pull that down and pause it. Somehow, somehow I'm going to pause it when I realise which window I opened up to do it. Oh, that one. No wonder. This is, do you know what? In fairness to me, I, I should actually have a camera. I really should. I might, I'm, I am missing out on the biggest opportunity to be to go viral. If, if going viral is what it's all about on YouTube, I'm doing it wrong. Because if I had a camera trying to film me doing what I'm doing here, it'd, it'd get me in views because it'd be the most hilarious thing you've ever seen in your life. I was like stripping off a shirt while I'm doing it and singlet, but then I've got like, what I look like is just, honestly, it's a goddamn mess at the moment. I've got what appears to be baby blue Captain America socks on with heavy metal t-shirt, a slipknot bandana on the arm hair that looks I don't even know what's going on with it and I'm in a sweat because I was running around trying to actually run API gets uh system reports while doing toilet break while doing coffee coming back started trying to talk to you guys didn't actually have the mic on oh, leaning over the top of the couch it's just absolute insanity but honestly hilarious wouldn't do it any other way and I don't know if anyone else out there is a Tool fan, but the song, um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a particular song that comes to mind right now, and it's just like, uh, but I would not have it any other way. And honestly, that is as genuine as I can put it. So <laughs> I'm going to hopefully transition back to the other screen that I broadcast on. My broadcast screen. And hopefully I haven't lost you. Excellent. And Chris, where I was going with that. Tell you what Dan was saying about the numbers and if that's starting to come together. And I agree with Dan. What's better than two? So it was good because we all looked at it from a different point of view. And I think very much uh, I like that Oof was looking at it in terms of that, the thing with the map as well. And very much I like that. I love his take on it as well. And I, I don't disagree to it to an extent with that thing, that kind of that convergence approach. Um, but then visually how he represented as well on the map, uh, uh, on that diagram two-dimensionally. But with the single version, then mine was very much coming at it from two 
uh, coming into one from the past and the present, and then Dan taking the three and doing it three dimensionally. I want you to now imagine where I'm going, and if I said what's better than three is four, and it, without me saying anything more, hopefully that will give you enough of a, a clue as to where I'm heading with what I'm doing. And that's, that's kind of the baseline level of what I've been trying, um, the base level of what I'm saying without extrapolating on how to explain that. But yeah, there's, there's a bit behind that and there's a bit of evidence that it would work, it would make sense. It's a way to make it make sense anyway. At the very least, it's a way to make it make sense and it's a way that would actually fit within current established elements and canon as well as other things that everyone holds dear. So it's, um, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. From a mathematics standpoint as well, it's just kind of, kind of good, kind of cool. I love it. Yeah, we did. We pulled off a Triforce trifecta. And do you know what I was laughing at? While I was trying to rush and do all that and get the coffee before I come back, I'm looking up. My wife had been doing some work restoring some of our old furniture, giving it a bit of love and paying it up and stuff and to make me or us a, a coffee nook. And the idea is for exactly like scenarios, like we're getting here with the stream because I'm doing it weird, weird hours and stuff. And it's for me to be able to to access the kettle and make a coffee outside of the kitchen or whatever. It's, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's right there, right? Um, but it's this beautiful work she's done with the furniture. She's, she's honestly, she's just very talented, very talented with stuff like that. Um, naturally, and she, she just can't understand how good she is at it. Um, <clears throat> like most people I know, doubt themselves, but is amazingly gifted. And while I'm trying to make this coffee, I'm looking up and because she kind of did a thing so we could put some books at the top of it. So it really is kind of like its own little coffee nook kind of, but it's, it's just a cat. It's hard to explain. I, maybe I'll get a picture or something. But we put books in there and we've got um, a dance with dragons on either end of the, the books. It's the same, obviously the same book from um, <clears throat> from that particular series, but... The point is, is it's the first book and it's the last book and we duplicated it because we had two different versions of it. Um, one was an original copy and, and stuff. But it was just interesting that while I was making the coffee and I was listening to Oaf talking about um, how that sort of is playing out <clears throat> with the dueling dragons and beginnings and ends. And I look up at the bookshelf and realise that unintentionally uh, we'd set that up in the bookshelf as well, up there without him thinking about it. And again, if you go back to where I was on the Hyrule map one and I'm pointing out the whole thing with the map at the beginning and end of Zelda Encyclopedia and stuff like this, these things that just seem to keep popping up everywhere, they look, maybe they are coincidental, but gee, they're funny. Like, like that, when you're tripping over yourself and you go, man, I'm useless at this sort of stuff, but then you look up at your bookshelf and you're listening to a mate you're talking about on this Discord channel because you're lucky that people watch your videos and the three of you all just are thinking sort of similar things and wacky crazy theories but they're kind of fun and they're kind of cool about this same topic and you came out at the same time and you look up at your bookshelf and there's this metaphorical example of that same iteration on your bookshelf that your wife had done a while ago before it was a thing we were doing videos on and talk like it's just I don't know what you call that. Connections, probably, yeah. Connections are probably a good way of putting it. I, be, I jokingly call it serendipity bix um, because it's kind of a Kath and Kim term, but it's not really. It's it's very Aussie way of saying it, I think, just to go like, make it sound stupid. <laughs> but it's just, I don't know, like I said, it may, I, I think I'm actually so far down the point with some of these things and the connections that, that I'm finding that I think I must have lost today. I think I have to have, because <laughs> it's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy, but it's good fun at the same time. So, okay, what I we definitely got some law there at school, but I know Dan was kind of hinting at some more stuff as well. Uh, Simon's students didn't put that much 
didn't put much stock in the story of the calamity. He thinks if he could show them an elaborate picture of the screen depicting the calamity, they would believe his history lesson. The screen, whoop, well, hit the thing. The screen question is kept at Pies Hall in Kakariko Village. Uh, wait a minute, this sounds like something I would have taken a picture of back in the day, and you guys probably made sure I did. Uh, that's the one. I think we're good. Before the Ouroboros, correct. Um, oh, and Chris, by the way, you want to have a chuckle because I don't know if you've heard this, but I literally pointed this out again to Az today because I was t talking about something. It was something he sent me, and I was like, look, go back to my channel logo, and damn, it was nice enough to pull it apart at one stage. I'm like, if you look at a house set my channel logo up, when I, me and the daughter did the first video together where no one was going to watch anyway, I was trying to put hints about where I was going to go if we kept it going from day one because I was a huge fan of how Marvel did Infinity Wars and just from day one they dropped stuff in there on the odd chance that if it took off and it went all right, they'd be able to pull together this arc. So I've been doing that since day one in mine and one of the ones I pointed to was my logo having the eight points and the circle and the master sword in it from day one was kind of trying to leave an easter egg that I would hopefully be able to call back to if I ever got that far into it. And um, yeah, that was kind of cool. So the Ouroboros was kind of, when that, like there's certain things that have come up as it got closer to Tears of the King coming out, like the title wasn't one of them, 100% and there's not everything's right but when um <laughs> when the Ouroboros logo come up I was like well there's that because I put the circle in there not because I thought there was going to be an Ouroboros but I was trying to tie in a, a reference of where I'm still heading with the theory out into the general simple thing because it was I'm not very artistic but I was trying to represent the idea of trying to make sense of the whole Zelda thing. Oh, get the fish, get the fish. Mates. What, what the whole thing started out was for me trying to make sense of how Breath of the Wild fits in the whole Zelda universe, period. How, how does it fit in? But it also had to, what I realized with my daughter was it has to make sense on its own merit and it has to make sense for someone who's been with the series since the get-go like me. How, do you, how does it cover those two extremes? How do you make sense of that? And that's what it, that's where I started before I even well before I even started doing the theory thing with, with her was for me I just try and understand it and then when we got to the point that I was looking at it from her point of view well for me I was trying to make sense about it across the whole series but then trying to make sense of it from her point of view as well just really added in that extra dimension it was cool so then when it come time doing logo I wasn't very artistic so I'd try and represent it with some very simple shapes and logos and iconography so then the Ouroboros comes along and you're like oh man that that's that's weird and kind of cool at the same time Zelda being the dragon that was that was chef's kiss that was perfect the whole eye color thing I actually still had some I've had someone in the comments in the last couple of weeks as well who's like They've gone down the, the rabbit hole with the eye color thing a lot more and they're kind of picking up the what the significance of the colors and stuff are and coming to a, a bit of a different conclusion, but that's perfectly fine. That's the idea. That's why I didn't want to iterate it too much in the theory. If you're spelling things out too much, it just loses the point. That's why Nintendo stopped doing it. That's literally what Iron Newman says at the end of um, creating a champion in, in the book is that in the playtesting, they realized how much fun the fans were having trying to connect the mysteries. That it just, I, I can imagine how it went down because I can see it just in my own little microcosm world, my own little, I guess, you know, if, you, if you're being sarky about it, my own little echo chamber of, of friends where we, we're kind of supportive of each other and sort of, open to being positive about all sorts of different theories and in that environment the creativity can flourish and imagination can flourish and people can still have that childlike wonder and it doesn't matter if you're a kid who's just playing Zelda for the first time or a, a 40 odd year old bloke who's 
still trying to learn what's happening in the world and how to react with it as best you can. But has also been there since day one on the games and just loves them because you basically still can't believe that games look like they do and play like they do because they're a, you remember a time when you didn't have games at all. So you know you look at you look at that sort of experience and you go, that's a pretty cool thing that I got here that I get to do. And um, having the ability to, to talk theories with you guys and stuff. I don't know, I guess that's that's probably why I get a bit a bit funny about being so long in getting theories out but also being careful about how I say it and what I'm doing and what I'm what I'm saying I'm gonna do and when I'm gonna do it and what that theory could mean because I don't take any of this for granted. It's a real privilege. Um it's a really huge privilege and I'm very lucky. Very lucky to do it. And I think, you know, going back to the thing we were talking about before with the um, with the Switch Pro sort of, or the, you know, the new Switch or whatever as well, and I get get a little feisty about the clickbaitiness of certain things, mainly because, not because I begrudge anyone who does that, if that's their video and it goes well for them, that's great. What, what I think I have, I would like to see more of is like where, Say Dan and Oaf there have done good theories that that gets more recommendation um, because it's unique and it's well thought out. And it's different, um, and I think that's cool. It's, I, it's hard. It's hard to. I can get it from a mathematical standpoint as well on the platform because, again, quite frankly, I'm very grateful to. I would personally thank and shake anyone's hand at YouTube for the fact that they actually put all my content up. <laughs> hours and hours of storage of videos and stuff that realistically is a man dribbling on playing a game terribly. Still running around in circles like a drunk in Tino. Haven't, haven't hardly progressed at all. Just need to go back and show them that picture. I don't even know what I'm doing, but um, I was maybe thinking I was going to find something. But the point being... Uh, I get that they have to run a business that has to be profitable and successful and they're trying to attract advertisers so I get why algorithms and numbers and stats because as somebody who works in that particular industry and systems it's we're in a as as I realized in something more recently and keep getting reminded we're in a capitalist environment <laughs> and it does make the world go round so I get it um, and I think that that's something I just need to sort of improve on myself is is looking at that, but also being very mindful of, we live in a system, we do, but I've, from day one, the band name that has represented, like I, we had our band in that, and one band, the second I heard the name, I just got it and I clicked with System Over Down. And never a better name of a band could represent my approach on a philosophy that, I don't necessarily believe I can change the world, but I, I do believe I can do my best to try and do whatever little bits I can to do what I think is right, if that makes sense. And if I get to be a part of a cool community and people watch my videos, then I would want people to watch other people's videos because I kind of feel like I was lucky that people watch mine. Like that just seems like an obvious thing, you know? So it's, it's, not, it's not anything other than you're trying to give back to the community that gave to you or gives to you still, why would you not? Just seems, seems like a just straight up, straight up thing that you should be doing. And I, I don't see it happen as much as it should, I think sometimes. I'm not saying that people don't in general, I'm just saying I just think there's, there where you can, there's opportunities, you know? And it's a good thing to do. I, for me anyway, I feel very lucky to do it. Um, it really is special. There is no series that goes back like Zelda. Agree, man. So many have grown up with Zelda in their lives. Also, feel so fortunate, especially to be able to share this common. Yeah, and that that Chris couldn't have summed it up better, mate. Could not have summed it up better. I think that's that's the thing that yeah, I really, I do struggle with a little bit though. Because, uh, 
you just want to give it 110 percent I'm, I'm not somebody who does things half-assed if you haven't picked up generally but i feel like i do kind of it's not half-assed but i don't pull i generally do quality work so like the streams are just like absolute it's painful for me because it's like i couldn't be any less on time sometimes or they have technical issues and then i'm not even playing the game properly and i'm sliding up and down a wall and talking gibberish it's just hilarious monstrosity of a train wreck um couldn't be any more um humbled by being embarrassed about how you sound and and the like but at the same time it's just such a um an absolute blessing to have people that you get to hang out with and chat that why wouldn't you be doing it? <laughs> why wouldn't you? Do you know what I mean? It's just hilarious. It's such a dichotomy in my own self that I wouldn't have thought I would do this, but I'm, I like doing it because I, I mainly, I just like catching up with you guys. That's kind of the point or, if, you know, over the whole time some random people have dropped in or whatever and i just every every everyone in a comment or whatever it's just it sticks out to me it really does like i think what a lucky thing that is that you get to talk to people about that like that like i said that guy's comment i literally had it on my phone earlier i could get it and read it to you now but it's just it blows my mind and he felt so validated because i thought his theory was cool and i was just like dude i think everyone's theories are cool uh, it's, I can't express that enough. That that's that's a lucky thing to be able to do. To and validation's the least I can do for somebody who's come up with a good idea. It's the least I can do. It's the least I should be doing. You know, why would you not? And I think I, I think that to finish that thought, the fact that people are doing that in comments a lot and you see it just kind of get skipped over sometimes that's where i struggle a touch like there's some really good theory stuff yeah so you can't change the world well you can but you, you've got to do it one step at a time we'll try to do what you can in your own right to be positive about it and certainly for me this is a fun thing and it's a hobby and all that and whatever aspects of it there are but it is um a real honor and a privilege to be able to to do it and share it so yeah finding that balance between doing it half fast and doing it properly is definitely the challenge to hit now i have somehow lost the actual quest that i was doing i don't know how i did that but classic Couldn't, couldn't put it together. Like I was so looking forward to this stream. I think what I've done is I've just gone, I've had a bit of time off, been focused on the work stuff and that as well, putting together theory stuff and I've been all over the shop and then I've come back and I'm just like, I'm out of practice so bad. And I'm stumbling like an absolute champ, trying to cover stuff without covering it. And uh, train wreck, what BPX would call on brand. <laughs> I don't even know where this stupid task was. Teach me a lesson. Oh, there it is. Got it. Simon students, students who want it. That's why I'm okay. Between you and me, while I'm carrying on like a pork chop and like going, why doesn't Simon care about the picture? But it wasn't him. It's the students. Of course it was because they were the ones who were pointing and stuff, right? Or well, they were listening anyway and asking questions. And they're not out, so that's because it's night time. So, probably just need to make a campfire, get some sleep, and everything will be okay. That's what happens when you use your brain. Uh, probably all the way down the bottom if we do that. There we go. What a hero. No, that's shield. Forgot the controls, pretty much. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We're on track. Cool. Alright. Set a fire. Nailed it. Okay. <laughs> Music is perfect for this. Was it like the dun, 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 dun. Oh, I hope it was, because honestly, it, need, it needs that just offbeat comedy going for it. 
by the way, I've again loved your video too. It's, it just, man, it's the honesty and the genuine refreshing, refresh, it's not the right word, schweppervescence would be what I want to say, but it's the refreshing nature of the delivery, the passion, the thought, and just the sheer honesty behind it that I just love. I just really, I really enjoy that video. And I'm down, I'm down for that. I'm down for that theory. I'm down for it. I don't, I don't necessarily have the same view, but I love having that other perspective. I feel richer to have that perspective is where I'm coming from. And in a way that that's kind of where I'm going with my theory arc at the moment, is that if you are actually able to, and we as a community are able to embrace perspectives from each other, then maybe we're actually able to look at the series law from a reality that we can't observe alone as one individual, if that makes sense. Imagine it's, it's, it's kind of like having, um, I, I'm never good at explaining things, but you know, like filming when they did the matrix and the first time they, you know, they did a scene with Neo and it does a 360 spin around him in slow motion. And everyone was like, this is a game changer because how do you do that? It's kind of where I'm kind of looking at the series lore at the moment is that it doesn't make sense with one perspective in, in lots of different ways because within our own perspectives, we have our own bias and viewpoints and it becomes challenging to, to put it together. But if you're able to look at it from the perspective of business like Nintendo who are trying to do something that is revolutionary that doesn't exist in the market at the moment because there isn't a series like Zelda that's existed like this and trying to cover future and past generations and law and you know things that have cropped up like you know the, the the timeline thing is a perfect example where people say um you know oh nintendo did a crap job with the timeline split and that and it's like you can't tell me that the fact that the american market kicked back on wind waker 2 or wind waker's art style and, and that changed direction and what type of zelda they were making that directly influenced the timelines or whatever plan they might have had that we, we as fans are directly interplaying into the storyline and the lore of the game as we interact with it. And some people take that to mean that Nintendo were just making it up and theorists are putting together the lore. It's like, well, no, no it's not theorists, but it, it's an interplay between consumer and artist or audience and, you know, it, it's that interplay that's existed in other mediums that we accept intrinsically in our lives we have done with music and and stage performances where it can be different from day to day depending on the audience and the like but for some reason with video games we struggle with it because yeah for whatever reason but nintendo are, are doing something with a franchise that it, it's hard to do because no other franchise is being presented with their problem <laughs> There's no, there's no other game series that's existed since Nintendo did the first Zelda because Nintendo with the first Zelda and the NES brought the gaming industry back to life because it was dead. <laughs> so it, it, it's, just, it's just a concept that's difficult to try and, try and explain to anyone who looks at it and just goes, yeah, but it's not the same as the Zelda that I grew up with. And it's like, well, no, of course it's not because if it was the same as Zelda we grew up with, then they wouldn't have a Zelda anymore. Like, we, if, we, if we're able to actually conceive it from a standpoint of how things change and grow as we do as individuals, and if we accept that and the different perspectives, suddenly, suddenly we don't need to question things as much that maybe don't need to be questioned, but we can drill into them if we want because we have this ability to look at things from multiple perspectives and appreciate them for what they are and what they aren't and have the dialogue and get the best out of both worlds or all worlds is just pure poetry emotion. And that's that's what it is to be a Zelda fan for me at the moment. It's to love everything about what we have as a community. There's no end in sight and that's the best part. Amen, me the bat. And you know what the best part about talking with you guys is? Is how I can dribble on to try and make a point for like an hour and then one of you guys will do a sentence and just summarize my point in a sentence. So much better than I can. 
And maybe what I need to do is just like clip that and that should be like what the stream should be. <laughs> I keep saying it, I need to get away like if you guys would talk or whatever, I don't know, but I'm bad at getting, um, that's why I script videos and, and literally I plan now to re-script, to change the script three or four times when I record it because I know I'm going to change it and cut it, try and word it better. I, uh, when we were talking about doing the videos and Oaf was like saying about maybe he, he's less, less, he kind of wanted to do a bit of a natural vibe to it. And I'm like, no, I totally get that. I used, I've tried to do that a few times. One time I did it, it was, it was two hours of recording of me babbling on and I barely got to the point because I was, I think I spent so much of it trying to explain to whatever listener that would have been on the video of, of why it was, why it would be hard to be a developer at Nintendo. <laughs> like preaching a perspective of something I don't really necessarily know, but I could put myself in the shoes of because that would be hard because everyone would potentially hate what you do or love it or, you know, and you're working so many hours on it. And I'm like, you know what? Nobody wants to hear me rant on about that for two hours. But for me, that, that was kind of an important point. And I went, that's why I shouldn't go off script. <laughs> Might just script the video and just do that. It's hilarious. Hilarious, man. Oh. Um, perfect way to describe. <laughs> yes, it, it was. Well, um, you did a perfect way of describing it. And I love that. Nintendo makes Zelda. Zelda makes inspiration. Oh, this is, yes. Inspiration makes theories. Theories, theories make theorists. Theorists make the law. Legendary law returns to Nintendo. And the cycle begins again. I like that. The only thing I would say is slightly different. My take on that, that I, I sort of push back a bit on, is the theorists make the law legendary. I don't think, I don't know if we do. And I, I, I would call, I, I call myself a theorist only from the sense of the, you're going to be labelled at something, right? But it's like, so it'd be like me saying, this guy today saying I'm a, Zel a Zelda tuber. He called me a big Zelda tuber, and honestly, I, I just about choked on my own. I just about choked on myself because I don't see myself like that at all. I see myself as a babbling old bloke who's lucky just that people listen to him, you know. And so this guy calling me a big Zelda tuber was just like, oh, dude, this, you're 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 um, a theorist more than I am. That that's the point, right? And we're all just fans, so. I mean, yes, I'm trying to make a video on YouTube. That's kind of cool, but there's n there's no, my thought process is no more valid than anybody else's. Anyone else who thinks different is fooling themselves, honestly. I mean, I might research and put a lot of effort into it, and that's fine. That's, that's my choice. And I'll put the theory out there, and, and whether people want to take it or not is up to them. But it's no more valid than a kid who's really keen and enthusiastic and looks at something and says, my take on it is this and they put some thought and love and passion behind it. We're coming from the same place. So, I don't know, that's it's the only thing is when I think about trying to, with with law and theory stuff, is trying to gatekeep it, where where it's, it starts to become a, a thing that is getting, where I think what Nintendo have done well is give space for imagination to exist. And then if we gatekeep the law what, what they're trying to do is allow the future to still have imagination for kids to be kids. And and I think that's important because I'm looking at the social media environment they're growing up in. Man, like where, where do they get to be kids, you know? Where do they get to have that imagination and creativity in the future? It's going to be in, in the digital world and in the stories we make and the, and the law is going to be important to that but we also need to allow room for dialogue and, and interpretation like just like with any art i suppose and if 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 the interpretation of those things comes down to the few who have the most views in other words a popularity contest well then we we may just end up censoring freedom of thought and then truly we are in a system of a down because We'll be in a situation there where um, 
the creative process exists within the hands of the few. That, that, that's what worries me about that. That was an overly dramatic interpretation. But I know Oaf will know what I mean by that. There was a point a while ago we said something about, uh, uh, we were talking about law, and, and don't get me wrong, by the way, there are some people who I just think are extraordinary, like, say, Tate Laruli, and I think he's just amazing at what he does, you know? Um, but, you know, I think, like, Bethesda had done something at one stage with um, El um, Elder Scrolls where they, they hired a law keeper or whatever and i get being a law keeper or whatever but a law master or something it's like you gotta be shit. if somebody was saying they're a law master or whatever no <laughs> no you can't be not with not with things that big nobody is a master it's like trying to say somebody's the gatekeeper of of knowledge about world war ii or you know there's so many different aspects to the storylines and things that it's just not possible you need you need the views of other people in things, and particularly fictional work. I think is important. What am I What am I missing with this thing? Who needed this picture? I'm just off chops. I'm just getting caught up on a tangent. But I completely agree with you, Oaf. Just just mindful of terminology in the current environment because it seems to be a hot topic. And when I say it's it's not a hot topic with Zelda, it's a hot topic with how th I'm, I'm noticing it coming into social media as somebody who's been outside of it and exists outside of it primarily that labels are very important to people and so i'm careful with i'm careful with the theorists because man i don't think i'm a theorist i think i'm a nut job who spends way too much time obsessing over minor details um but i love doing it and it's kind of my f fun hobby so <laughs> You guys let me do it, and that's nice, and so does my wife. I, I kind of feel like it's a guilty pleasure. Do you know what I mean? But if somebody else is, is using that to just put somebody's thought process down, that's the best what I'd be careful of. That's all. That's all. For sure. <laughs> uh but me the bat, there is no end in sight. Agree, hold on and cherish it. Agree, you're fine saying what we're thinking. I hope, I hope I'm saying it, and but maybe what you're thinking is like much more succinct and better. I'm hoping that's the case. <laughs> uh, Dan the man, it's been so nice to be here, but I've got to go have fun. Uh, you're good, Dan, you're good. I don't even think I've managed, I did that one task, that's it. It's been you know, the whole time. Like this has been a train wreck of the visual stream. Um, which you know i keep talking the podcast quote unquote idea that is definitely one of the things i'm working on in the background because um yeah me talking law stuff and that like while trying to do something at the same time is it's kind of i'll still keep doing it by the way but i think hilariously it's it's maybe not necessarily the best place for me to do theory stuff because i can't i just struggle trying to talk theory stuff with playing the game it's a bit i, I can do fun stuff a bit bit of a mix but yeah getting into deep theory stuff bah train wreck train wreck every day of the week Simon students didn't put me could they would believe this history lesson like what am I not doing with that is it Simon or is it them do I need to pull the camera out Oh, they're, they're talking about the lab. Wait a minute. I've just not paid attention to any of this, have I? Yeah. Ooh. I assume, what the? Do you know what? I haven't paid attention to any of this. I hope this is funny. I hope, I really hope it is, because it's, it's it's embarrassing. t Bray's house is the closest one. I haven't seen Gatekeeper, I'm talking about gatekeepers. What are the fucking odds of that, honestly? You couldn't pay me f to get the ironic reference to that. I'm talking about gatekeeping and I hadn't even read it. That's hilarious. Yeah, catch you down. Love you, bro, by the way. <laughs> oh, Dan, move on, move on. You can do better. Dan, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like as a friend you could do better. <laughs> you, could, you could get a better friend than me. I'm terrible. Tebow's dad was the gatekeeper here, but he went out with a place called Lookout Landing. So now Tebow and his mum take turns guarding the gate. Oh, my mum was talking 
about Thibaut's mum, though, what was it shed? Something that's real saying she's more interested in fashion. This has got nothing to do at all with the picture. Truth is, my identity is a general store and it's just cover. I'm really Azen, the big time hero. It's my job to protect the school, blah, blah, blah. And you've got nothing to do with taking the picture for Pyre, or the th which was Simon. But I swear I spoke to Simon, didn't care for the picture. I'm gonna try this again. Must be somewhere I can understand. I wish I knew the children's detailed. I've got the picture, what's the problem? I don't, I don't understand. Here. The camera. Oh. Hmm. Am I? Am I like? I think I must be missing something here. That's why I've been running around in a circle a little bit because I got the picture right. Didn't put that much stock in. The he thinks he could show them an elaborate picture of the screen depicting the calamity. They would believe his history lesson. The screen in question is kept in part. Maybe it's not that picture. Maybe I'm just taking it for granted, thinking it's that picture, but it's not. It's a different one. It has to be. But why has that one got the little, what does that mean, Basil? Screen depicting the calamity. Well, I'll be buggered. You'd almost think that was the picture he's looking for. How do we, how do we, how do we, can I? like kick it out some way? Is it because I'm wearing the wrong outfit? What? It's a go, Simon. Why don't you want my picture, dude? Oh, man. That's weird. I'm, I'm definitely out of practice with this game because there's obviously something I haven't triggered or done or I'm not getting, which is kind of embarrassing at this point, but you know, hopefully it's funny a little bit. Reminds me, how, reminds me of the kids at the beginning of Majora's Mask. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I could see that to, for sure. Actually, you know, the Majora's Mask references in here are just off chops. They're everywhere. Literally everywhere. That's kind of cool. That's why I had to point out one of Carrie's again when I was talking earlier because it just when, when I see those things like, here's more lore details you missed. It's like, dude, come into these chats. You've got guys pointing out lore de details all day and every day. Like that, that... It's like I said, that'd be a, a thing that would be cool to do, you know, is just have that where your thing is, is that you just, you kind of host the video, but it's basically you guys and a bunch of whoever's in like going, hey, here's what I've noticed. That's a reference to this game. And just like, just everyone gets to add in and, but because it's on the video and it's done on, with them there like they they're the ones pointing out and they get the recognition for it not the person who just takes everybody else's thing and puts it on a video and goes i just noticed this do you know what i mean like that's how it, that'd be cool to do i reckon that'd be awesome like a theory type thing i think that's kind of what i want to do like a live type theory thing but um i've i did enjoy doing a live theory thing it was wicked but i was awkward as crap trying to move the pictures and stuff in OBS probably a bit better at it now hopefully but I'll, if you look at today's example I wouldn't I wouldn't have said so this is this has not been the best example of me managing OBS on the fly but that's the aim is to get to a point you can do stuff like that a bit more a bit more collaborative and interactive be freaking that'd be so much fun be so cool uh I want my VOA outfit back, I think. And I don't, you know, again, not important right now for this particular task, but I figure I'm just doing the lame ass job of uh, achieving any kind of goal. I should have said that to BPX today when he was on the thing. I should have said, you got no problems about missing anything, mate, because uh, three hours, one task. Remember when we said uh, I was getting momentum with one task and an hour? It's been two hours since then. Nothing, haven't done a thing. Why are you guys still watching? I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, but it gets, it's, it, I love you, but I don't get it. I feel very lucky and guilty at saying, do you know what? It's, it's guilt luck. Guilt lucky and thankful. It's kind of a weird mix of emotions I feel when I stream. So it's really quite a poisonous cocktail, but I love it. There's no time to add a visual. Wait, 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 wait. Is there anything that we can do where we get the pictures put out on like 
they don't print them out somewhere. Because I've got it right. Like, does it... Ultra hand, recall, ascend. This camera, right? Wait, what's that thing? Map. Oh, do you know what? Why would you do that? I never even use that. I don't understand. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So it, it is literally the marker is right where I'm at. So it's not like it's not like I'm not going to. Do I need to just go to Kakariko? Is that the problem? Don't answer. Don't. Do you know what? I was about to say, tell me what to do, but you know what? I think this. I think I'm just going to rip this part. I'm just going to figure it out. Pies Hall and Kakariko Village. You know what? We're going to Kakariko. Screw it. I can't. I can't waste any more time on this than I have done. I mean, I can and I will. But if we're going to waste time on it and just do it tragically, terribly bad, let's just do it. So absolutely extraordinarily beautifully so bad that it'll be recorded in the annals of history as the most tragic attempt to just do one thing that has ever been done on YouTube history and you'll have been there for the moment that people will talk about for generations the guy who can't get through one simple task but then is doing Zelda theory there's a dichotomy for you. Duality, I think we're talking, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. That is a cool idea. I loved your love to. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, I, I definitely wanted to. That's where I kind of wanted to get to a little bit more, you know? Like, that. that's my ideal, is if I could basically just sort of hook it up, right? And it's like, it, someone was saying about trying to schedule stuff in like the streams, and it's like, yeah, totally, but... Um, if I could like, if I had a thing where it's just like, I could just hook it up like, it's like it's not a Zoom meeting. I know it sounds like real business like, hey, but like you just hook up, jump in and chat and kind of be just in that sense, you'd kind of maybe just have the things on the go, like the materials to show and just like have to do some of that, but also have the other people adding in their stuff and that. And it's just kind of interactive. That's kind of what I want to do. Uh, that's what I see as something that would be cool to do. And I'm not sure if it's a big thing that anyone, it's not about going viral, it's just about have, how to have fun and talk Zelda stuff with other people um, in this medium, but also in a way that's kind of open um, and kind of people can get involved a bit. And I think that would be super cool. And I want to keep working on how to do that in a way that will work. Um, because I think long term that that's a that's something that's does that's not there. Like, do you know what I mean? If you if you like Zelda theory stuff right now, there's not a lot of just jump in and do theory stuff. You can maybe jump on, maybe I don't know if someone else is live streaming or whatever. But aside from that, it's not dedicated to you or anything as much. You know, like there is a little bit of people doing that. I think Hyrule Gamer does some stuff in that, taking in some of the Zelda theory things from the community which is awesome he's, he's a nice guy um, and you know Pete, there's certain things come up and I'm not saying it doesn't happen but I'm just saying it more as an interactive kind of um, thing that you could do regularly that would be cool I think that's probably called Twitch <laughs> in fairness I haven't ever watched Twitch so it probably is <laughs> it's probably already exists and I'm it wouldn't be the first time I've tried to create something that totally already existed and then I found out about it. Because, is, it, is that what happens on Twitch, dude? Seriously? What, do people get on there and just do theory stuff? Like, interactive and they can talk? Oh, get the fuck out. Oh, sorry, I swore. Really? That's hilarious. Man, I'm doing life wrong. I'm just doing life the hard way, Oof. I'm just doing life the hard way. It's so easy to, to be honest. Yeah, no. No, not if you're an old bloke, mate, who doesn't go on Twitch much. Never really seen it. I, I, did, I did a Twitch account 
literally for like a little bit with Jordan because I was trying to get something for the guys on Discord and then I, that's it. That's all I did was do the thing so I could get... It was trying to get you guys the meme thing on Discord or whatever and Jordan was real patient helping me with it because we were having tech issues trying to do it like logins and passwords and it was just being weird with Discord coming back through trying to feed it back in as a plugin and anyway story of my life just nothing nothing was straightforward but it was quite funny um, and it was just I was like yeah that's a platform and it was, there was lots of stuff and I mean I see that people are streaming you just see that's the thing you hear about it people stream on Twitch but I thought they stream playing games but like much better than what I'm doing now but I wouldn't think they're, they're talking theory stuff putting up slideshows and bits of book stuff and that are they Uh, easier than YouTube. I was scared to start Twitch too, uh, but to be honest, it's easy. Yeah, fair go. Yep, yeah, I'll get out. So they do. So they stream anything, right? So they could be doing like. Oh man. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know how I think I've said this before, right? This is this is as honest and sincere as I can get. I, I am so embarrassed right now, but I could not be any more humbled on and off. Every time I stream, it's like I find a new way to get humbled publicly that I think, yeah, I couldn't, couldn't get any more embarrassed. Like, it's kind of like, you know, like Homer going out and get the, the, the newspaper in the morning and he's got the towel around his waist and then the wind blows and the, the towel blows away and then he's just butt naked but he's you know bending over picking up the paper and he's like eh. that's where I'm getting to the point where it's like I'm, I'm that embarrassed now I don't think it could get any worse and then I've just found out that I'm trying to think of a way of doing a thing that is interactive and stuff and it's basically what is Twitch and I just maybe hadn't taken the time to watch anything on Twitch to know I just thought it was people streaming. I've seen videos where it's like this streamer. Uh, I thought it was like people who are really good at gaming. That's what I thought it was, man. Like you. You know, you're like, oh, I do Breath of the Wild and stuff. And like, to, everything I see is like people who are good at gaming and they've, they've got pro outfits or pro like headset gear and stuff. I, like, I'm not going to be honest, dude. I, I was just like, uh, I didn't think that that would be the place for old old random bloke talks about weird Zelda theory stuff with the community. <sighs> okay, thanks Chris. And right now the, the other Simpsons meme, that would it's like I just want to disappear back into the bushes. It's like, just, just walk back, slide back. Oh my God. I just, I can't, I can't even. I know, I'm talking this, I can't even concentrate now. I'm just, I'm so... I don't know. I, I don't even know what to say. It's hilarious and embarrassing at the same time. It, it, it is really... There would be a word in some language. Chris, is there a Japanese word for shamility? Like humility, shame, and humor. What is that? Embarrassment. They'll have a word for it. It's called aiku. And it's when you feel utterly embarrassed and ashamed, but it's so hilarious that you don't know how to, whether to laugh or or disappear into a lovely rose bush of lotus flowers. Like, that's what I need right now. I need some sort of visual representation and a word that can describe something that can't be put in words by a person who's stumbling. <laughs> oh, no. I just, I can't. I can't. Is this the Kakariko Hall that I was looking I don't even know. I, th I think, I feel like I should let you guys go. But if you, you know what, you're here, you're choosing to be here. I've just got to accept it. I've just got to accept you know what you're doing. And if you guys, if anyone's watching this afterwards, I'm so sorry. Your investment of time could be better. Potentially, I will try, I will aim to do better the next one. I tell you when the next stream is going to be cracking. I'm going to do it sooner rather than later too, because that's what you've got to do, right? You've got to get back on the horse and do it better. And I will. I promise I will. I'm going to come in with some jokes or something. I'm going to come in with something, but this is a cracker. I can't believe that's what they're doing on Twitch. That's honestly, what a loser. 
Plus, Twitch deletes the VOD after streams 14 days, so everything is fresh unless you save or export it. So basically, they help wipe your shame, which is also what I'm missing because here I've just got a playlist of embarrassing videos that are up there constantly for reference. Are you shitting? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say, are you shitting me? There is a word for it. As a cashy. Oh my god. Chris. I'd said this, you're the golden ratio. That, oh my god. They, they do have a word for it. I was joking, dude. I was joking, but I, I'm not surprised either because I feel like. I feel like me talking about Japanese culture and influence is like, not even Lego, it's like a Duplo block trying to deal, it's like a Duplo block figure trying to give surgery with scalpers and, and stuff that with millimeter precision. I'm, I'm coming at a very delicate and beautiful and artistic flowy, fragile, organically a wonderful and nuanced culture and storytelling aspect with blocks of wood and stupid words and poor delivery and it's hilarious and terrible and you know what i i wonder if i ever got my stuff translated and it was you know what that's something i'm going to aim to do not not for views or anything i just knew, i would like to do that and translate some of this so someone in Japan can watch it and laugh and go, ha ha You know, I, I don't want to do this wrong, but they can go, ha ha stupid man. Do is that a bad? You know, like, but they, they would have a better way of doing it, but that would be kind of the take on it. It's just like, <laughs> quick chuckle, stupid dude, does all the bad. And it, maybe, maybe that would be funny. <laughs> This is a hole. Is it not a hole? I don't know. I, I, you know what? I think I've got to give up on trying to do a task and maybe just run around. That's fine. Is that a pirate's bar? Evidence of the calamity. Evidence of the calamity. Evidence of the calamity. Uh... Okay, I'm going to re go back to the comment. I just thought if I just quickly take space away from feeling Hazukoshi will... <laughs> Man, I can't believe it. Plus you can clip during the stream, unlike YouTube, which makes you wait until I... You can clip during the stream. What does that mean, clip during the stream? Oh, dude, you know what? I'm going to stop. I'm just not going to ask questions anymore. I don't think I want to know. It's probably something important that I don't know how to do. I kid you not, I, I, I do some really technical stuff for it for a living, honestly, outside of all this, you'd be amazed. You wouldn't believe it. But I can actually pull stuff together. It's just social media stuff, man. I just started up. I blipped out, went, no, not for me right now. I'm doing heavy metal. And then, you know, it's like somebody goes, it's basically like I, I did the whole castaway thing with Wilson, but instead of Wilson, it was my wife. Just went off on an island, no social media influence for like 20 odd years and then came back and now I'm like, Wilson. That's what I feel like. That's what I feel like. That's not evidence. <sighs> YouTube is for final products, just videos. No, dude, I'm using YouTube for just absolute caking for, you know, not 14 hours. Well, I did that once, but long, long, long videos of me streaming terribly. That's what I'm using it for. And then it's being included in my algorithm because then I try to tidy it up and then it thinks I'm doing those videos for for monetary purposes and compares it to other 20 minute videos I've done and goes, you only got 100 views there, bud. So they're, they're recommending you less. <laughs> That's how well I'm doing YouTube, my friend. That's how much effort I'm putting into it uh, and getting it right. So yeah, 
I'm not going to lie, part of the strategy I was trying to work on and build and stuff and things I was saying about in the background are how I'm doing things in YouTube in general because I'm not doing it right. <laughs> but that thing with Twitch is just, honestly, it's hilarious. Um, when you see someone else have a Hazakashi time... When you see someone else have a Hazakashi time, Taihen Des... I'm going to try and get this right. Taihen Desene, that is tough. Or well, what does that mean? Well, that sounds, that sounds, that sounds bad. Wait, tell me what to do. Help me, Pyre. Clips of those highlight one minute videos unedited from streams. Ah, gotcha. Ah, yeah. Like, I, I mean, I like the idea of doing a short thing. Ah, I don't know. One minute or less. Yeah, so it's a short type thing. Um, look, I think, I think there's a thing for the shorts and that, but if you can't tell, I, I struggle with um, I struggle with getting a, a, a word out or a full sentence in 60 seconds. So getting anything significantly important out theory-wise in six seconds, never going to happen, mate. Like, I think what I got out for the two that I've done is astounding. Like, really had to push myself hard for those two. One was based on Dan. Just, and it was, that that made sense to me because it was just like, Here's me, and I've got no idea. And then Dan's just like, "Why don't you shield surf? That's how you should play TOTK." Done. Oh wait, Titan Destiny means that is tough. Okay. Whew. Do you know what I was? I thought you meant there was like Hazakashi, like you got that embarrassed and it was funny at the same time. But then when they go Titan Destiny, you know, ooh, that's when it gets they they lean too far into the dark side of it. <laughs> they don't come back out. I was just like, oh, no, that's not cool. Oh, no, that's not me. I don't want to do that. Uh, oh, thank you, Chris. That's very lovely. I'm pretty sure I would have butchered it. Um, some, actually, I got, I got a oh, Larry. Just, just before I forget, oh, my, uh, oh, I'm getting, I'm coming back. I promise. Two funny comments, right? And these were some of the best I've got just because they made me laugh myself. So one was... Um, one was somebody said, uh, it, was something, it was just a real short thing. It was about like, it was the horror map video. And it was like, nah, did, this wasn't what it sounded like at the start or what the thing, that, or whatever. And I'm like, oh, sorry to hear that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, no, it's, it, the video is fine. Just the pronouncers, the person talking. It was kind of like what they said is the person who's talking sounds like shit. I'm like, uh, <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like i don't know what to tell you i don't have a production crew and it's it's me but i didn't i didn't even know what how to respond to it so i just kind of thumbs up it and just kind of went yeah cool i don't even know what to tell you it's, that's me i don't i know my accent i hate my own voice but i'm not sure what else to do with it i know if my audio levels are bad and stuff like i don't mix it and that the best but the general pronunciation and accent and stuff which was what they were saying the person's just i oh that's right it was it is impossible to understand was the thing you the this the thing was impossible to understand and i was like oh about theory and he's like no the voice the voiceover they thought i was a voiceover artist i might like, no. nope no, you don't get that you don't get that level of non-understandability from getting paid for it <laughs> which was just honestly it was hilarious and um the other one which I, should, I had I a very rarely do this, but I had to actually pop it on Discord. It was, um, it was amazing. Was somebody put on one of the videos? Um, was something like oh, I can't remember how they said it, but it was something like, um, uh, really good effort. I'm gonna have to give this a good good watch because it looked pretty entertaining. But to be honest, I was using it to try and get to sleep because I had real wicked hit migraine um, and, it, and it did the job. So, uh, I'll, you know, I'll give it a watch because it was pretty good before I fell asleep. So it was kind of like a thing where it was like, I put your video on and went with it because I was trying to get rid of a migraine. You put me to sleep, but it seemed pretty interesting before I went to sleep. So I'll try and give the rest of it a watch later. Good job. And I was like, you, you are now my... You're my God. You are now a God to me. 
I will worship you as a deity because that that is hilarious. It was I just responded with like two birds with one stone. I, I've achieved what I set out to do. I am quite happy to take that as as one of the best possible outcomes somebody could get in a situation if they clicked on my video. Number one, he had a headache and he got rid of it by falling asleep. Amen to that. I've said time and time again, I put myself to sleep sometimes, so we're good with that. And number two, he got rid of his migraine and he, he actually thought it was reasonably entertaining before he went to sleep. Like winner, winner, chicken dinner. Happy days. I was so happy with that. And it was funny too. So you just really couldn't lose. He thinks if he could show them an elaborate picture. This is this has just got me naffed. I just need maybe I just need to move on from it. Maybe I'm looking at it too much. Um <laughs> this is, uh, me the bat, by the way, I adore you. It's just so good to see you popping up. Just because you, you're a bit more old school like me, I just feel like I've got someone who's maybe just like, yeah, you're tragic, it's cool, dude, just keep going. I don't know, you, you all are, but me the bat, I don't know, I just feel like you, you just kind of being, being OG as you are as well. A map maker from, from days gone, you, you know the drill. Like where I'm still thinking this is amazing, even if I haven't got anything done, because I'm just getting a plate run around in a weird, awesomely beautiful world. Like, isn't that awesome? You get, you get what I'm putting down. That's pretty awesome. Yep. Yep. That, that's that's kind of like where I keep sort of recycling the same old thing, saying, this is all right. Could be worse, hey? <laughs> but yeah, shame, absolute shame. Um, dang it, I'll send it on Discord. What's that? Uh, no, you as the streamer just stream. People watching make the clips. Oh, okay, what, what? Why? What are they doing with the clips? What do they do with it? They make clips of you. And, but doesn't that defeat the purpose of your stuff getting wiped? Because people are like, no, get that out of there. Oh man, do you know what? Actually, to be fair, if they were making clips of me, it'd just be like a train wreck clip. It'd be um, fail army, isn't it? Do they still do that? Is fail army still a thing? Look at that, by the way. What's that all about? Just caught my attention. Hadn't seen that before. That's interesting. I've noticed quite a few things actually in this box thing that I hadn't seen uh, the first time I went through and I was like, oh, there's another rabbit hole to go down because there was some stuff with the um, different structures and that that looked, looked a little bit intriguing and worth pulling apart. Again, if you were, I guess, maybe doing something like that on Twitch, you could totally be doing that live and just going, hey, let's talk about this live and with people talking back. Oh my God. I can't believe they've been doing that on Twitch. That's so funny. Oh, man. Hey, me the bat. Actually, you know what? Because you do understand. Did you know that people do theory stuff on Twitch and talk about it and get interaction with community? Because I did not. I, and I know you're probably going to say you did. And, and I'm okay with that. But it, it'll kind of be funnier if you did too. Because then it will really... I'll, I'll know to what extent I'm out of the loop because it sounds pretty, sounds pretty, pretty bad. Oh, I did not. I thought, yes. I just fist pumped, man. Literal win on the board right there. Cool. Okay, cool. There is another. This is like basically you're just another Skywalker now. As far as I'm concerned, there is another. Okay, we're good. Holy crap. Oh, actually, my wife wouldn't have known either, but then again, she's... She's an anomaly like that. She can not know stuff like that, but then have kind of already figured it out in her head that that would have been the way to go anyway because she's just naturally gifted in everything she does, but totally doesn't really recognise it and just kind of like plays it off like it's not a big thing. You know, she's just got that perfect balance of being absolutely standingly great at things and not really like egotistical about anything. 
and kind of like, nah, I'm not that good at it. I keep saying to her about doing streaming stuff. I'm like, you should get on and do, people would love it. She's like, nah, I'm not that good. <laughs> She's hilarious. Every time she gets on the stream, it like gets a million times better. So, that's the thing. I don't even know what I'm doing. All right, so another way to say it is clips of shorts, short outs of context moments from a stream. So, like, I can make a clip of a previous stream you did as an example. Yeah, I get that. I was just thinking, like, hey, speaking of the day, you didn't hear what I just said, did you? Ah, yeah. oh, good. I was just saying you do all right. How are you, beautiful? Oh, it's that time already. Holy cow. That just makes this much, much worse. Much, much worse. I'm now realizing how long it has been since we've got anything done. It's quite, quite hilarious. All right. Oh, uh, it's just a little bit of a train wreck going on with me trying to actually achieve one task. Oh, no. Yeah, you know how I'm out of practice with streaming? Yeah. It's really paying off dividends. <laughs> really come to the fore. I spent, I managed to not have the connection working properly for like 25 minutes at the start. Oh, that's good. Like where I could see it, but nobody could. <laughs> And then that kind of that kind of set me a little bit off kilter, and then from there I have recovered it by flawlessly tripping over myself and down the stairs for like a couple of hours now. It's been good. Oh, and I just found out you know this whole live theory interaction thing I keep trying to work and play out. Apparently that's what Twitch you, you can do that on Twitch. People do that on Twitch. That's a thing that exists. So you know that thing I'm trying to revolutionise on YouTube. YouTube is something different. That yeah, it's called t Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. I, I'm basically just saying I feel like Homer when he like, loses the towel trying to pick up the paper. At the moment, it's like, yep, yeah, cool. Nailing it. Very good. <laughs> um, if you have some great insight... Oh, one sec. I understand. But if you have some great insight while streaming or you can put it on as a short on YouTube channel, easy views. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get that. I, I get that. I suppose, um, I suppose you could. Never really thought about it like that. I don't know. I just, yeah, I hadn't considered it like that. I suppose, I suppose it could be. Um, yeah. See, you, you can tell I'm, I'm all over the whole how to market the channel thing. Smashing it. Um, Chris said Silent Princess, and I feel like Chris is going, you're just, you're just sinking. Yeah, right now, you're in an ocean, basically. You're well down, you're up. Sore, yeah. Um, I, I get you. Um, Chris, like, you're in an ocean, you're sinking. Silent Princess, mate, that's what you need. An example of, is it? Is that what it was? Maybe? Wait, wait maybe it's not. No, Silent Princess, they were trying to cultivate it. That's evidence of the calamity. Oh, dude, yeah, you are trying to, I knew you were trying to help me somehow. You're like, you're just losing it, champ. You're so far down the water right now. Uh, they're not gonna be able to, there's no recovery. It's like trying to get the Titanic back out, but it's no longer Titanic anymore. You just, whatever you're gonna pull up, it's just gonna fall apart. It's been down there too long. They were trying to cultivate the Silent Princess. Is that what Simon, this dude was reading? No. No, that's ancient doctrine. No, you're the upheaval people. No, 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 no. Cross, cross, cross. Yeah. Maybe it's the map, this thing over here. Oh, get out and now she's standing there. No, that's the ring ruins. Well, I feel better, because that would have been obvious. Okay, silent princesses are... The diagram on the wall. The diagram on the wall. I'm gonna get there, Chris. You, you've led me all the way. I, I feel like, I feel like there shouldn't need to be much else that you need to do to point it out. But that, that's a map. Not a, that's not a diagram. Uh, okay. There will be a diagram here somewhere. I'm just not seeing it, I guess. Uh, 
Okay, you know what? I'll buy it. Where's the diagram? Because I can't even see it. Can't even see it. Don't even know where it exists. But you know what? I'm glad you pointed it out because this could have actually we could have been going for quite some time. No, I don't think they want it. No, I don't think they want that as a pick. Oh. So they just want to know that they were trying to cultivate the Silent Princess. This is the one about worries, monsters, the cuckoos. So. I'm kind of lost as to what I'm, I kind of feel like Dr. Goodrum, except you guys wouldn't know what I mean by that because she's an Australian singer, but she sings a song that I really can't believe I'm going to mention right now. She's lost without you, but I'm lost without this diagram that I don't know what it is. <laughs> right. She's going to talk about the ring ruins. Nope, nothing there. So where's the thing about Swan Princess? An elaborate picture of the screen depicting the calamity. It says an elaborate picture of the screen. I'm I'm confused with this one. Maybe I'm maybe I'm off. I don't get it. The diagram on the wall, they don't want it as a pic. They wrote the entire lore they have planned on this on pages on, but then distorted them to make it impossible to read. You're in the right. Oh, so you mean the ones with the ancient Hylian statue thing? Is that the hall? Is that Lady High Paul? Oh, that. That's a bit sucky. We're talking about old uh, in here where I was before. This spot. Oh, Captain G said. No, I haven't done bunnies yet, love, sorry. No. Huh? Yeah, yeah, a little rat. Yep. Yep. All good. Okay, so. Nothing to see here, folks. Oh, Callip, yep, no, we know about you. You're the, I'm, I'm the best thing in the world. Leave you be, pal. Nothing to do with that. So it's not like these things, is it? No, those are the ancient Highland things. So where they were trying to do the... Throw the silent princess. Hey, man. It was that thing that I was looking at up there. Right? Is that it? That would be hilarious because I was looking at it going, oh, that's interesting. Nah, I bet you it's not, though. Would have been funny. That actually kind of almost looks like the giant cuckoo from the concept art, which also would have been hilarious, but probably isn't. Uh, I did this quest and don't remember what it is needed. What does the quest ask for again? <laughs> oh, JK, I had to tell you this, but I've looked at it about five, six times, or 5,000 times, still can't seem to actually understand what it's asking for. So this is, this has gone from being funny to hilarious to not funny to kind of sad to hilarious again. I'm not sure where we're at now, but it's, either way, I think it's getting funny again. Uh, that's not that one. Here we go. Teach me a lesson number one. And man, Simon, you are teaching me a lesson. Simon's students didn't put much stock in the story of the Calamity. He thinks that if he could show them an elaborate picture of the screen depicting the Calamity, they would believe his history lesson. The screen in question is kept at Pyres Hall in Kakariko Village. So... Wait, I'm just looking at it again. Elaborate picture of the screen depicting the calamity. Uh, a pink, a pitch, a pick of canvas that is evidence of the calamity. Pick of canvas is evidence. I don't know. Like that. But, I'm, I've got nothing. Because the students are overly skeptical of the teacher. I know, right? It's hilarious. Gotta love it. Because the evidence on you as the teacher is to now prove what you're talking about. In its in and of itself hilarious. But 
Don't you have it already? Yeah, the tapestry. I do. Uh, if this is the tapestry and I had it the whole time and it's just because I didn't talk to him at the right time, I think I'll, I'm not going to cry. I'll probably laugh. But I, I'm not, I'll probably be a touch disappointed. Because, yeah, I do have that picture and that's what I was saying. Before this nightmare of a thing happened, I was like, there's the screen depicting the calamity. I was trying to talk to him, showing, but the camera doesn't do anything. But it's because you're talking to him out of class. Because you guys even, I remember going in and you guys were like, you should take a picture of that, you need it later. And so I kept it. So the minute that task came up, I tried to show it to him. And it just kept cycling the same dialogue. So I'm like, no, I must be doing something wrong. Uh, and to not, to not um, you know, waste anyone's time, which as it turns out, is exactly now how it's turned out. In and of itself, a hilarious uh, or irony. I assumed I had done something wrong or I needed to trigger something or, so that's where I was going to spit the kids in that. So it's just got to do it in class, right? Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Totally makes sense. Um, another Majora's Mask reference, indeed. Um, while we're on the topic of Majora's Mask references, does anybody have an ocarina and perhaps some sort of combination? Uh, you do, JK, actually. Some sort of combination of notes that I can use to cycle back three days and restart the stream and maybe just change the course of history slightly. I'd, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> There's another Majora's Mask reference. Or perhaps give me a mask. So when I go out in public, I won't have to replace it. I mean, hilariously, I'd be okay with that one sort of a little bit because at least you don't know what it look like. That's, that's what allows me to keep going, doing what I'm doing. Put it this way, if I was ever going to do a face reveal, it won't happen now. Because there's no come back from this one. Whew. Actually, I say that. Like, you know, let's face it. I, I think it's we've, we've already hit legendary status of some awkward, extraordinarily long endeavours to do basic things so far. This is just a... Um, this is just a classic example of it in, in flight. Um, and the trick with it at this point is now just lean into it, just love it, embrace it, bring it in for a big cuddle. Just go, come here you gorgeous train wreck. Let's go, let's, let's, let's show people how much we can entertain with so very, very little. <laughs> uh, are they in class? Excellent. Oh god, I'm oh, gonna get out. Get out. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. Um wait, 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 wait. Um I can I can I just you know what I can use I'm in I'm in Windows. I just hit oh I hit iTunes. What are you doing? Just with OBS note, cancel. Go away, iTunes. Oh, no, go away. Oh my god, train wrecks. Are we, I'm trying to clip myself, but with the snipping tool, which, uh, you know, is, is not what you Twitch people do. Uh, by the way, do you want to hear a dad joke? There's a new social media platform coming out. It's a combination of YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. It's called You Twit Face. Get it? That's, uh, I've had that joke for a while now. Love it. Um, Burr, burr, burr. be right back so what I have done is clipped done a screenshot of myself finally getting this uh, task done and I'm just gonna with that I can do a little pen thing you can't see what I'm doing by the way at the moment but what you need to know is I'm just doing a screenshot and doing this old fashioned way with a black pen and I'm just gonna write up there the time 7 38 now, I don't know if this shows timestamps or whatever, but roughly what time did Dan have to run? Because hilariously, this would be this would be kind of hilarious because Dan would know exactly what needed to be done. 
Uh, it would be about there. Okay. I'll, I'll look it up and stream later, but at least I've got this as a reference. I'll just, just because it's important for me later on to say to Dan, it took roughly X amount of time after you left for me to then figure it out. And it was only because, um, only because Chris basically had to spell it out, which is, it just makes it funnier. Um, class complete. Even misspelled it, saving the file. Perfect. Nailed it. Nailing it life right now. I'm so happy with that. What a great job. Put it in the database. Oh, database. Click that. You know what? You're, I'm going to screenshot that too. And the time. Oh, there we go. And there goes my alarm. Nailed it. That one, that one's got Bug Snack song on it. I've kept the Bug Snack song because one day I want to play that game. I was maybe going to do it on stream just because what I had heard of the song sounded hilarious. I don't even know what happens, but it sounded good. Dad uh, bass. You know what? Turning water into wine right now. That's not even what the saying is. But now, would you now what? How would you have done that without the community? Exactly. Right. Uh, JK, it was about 25 minutes I was gone and Dan hopped off not long before I did. Yeah, so about half an hour after Dan left. So that, that's the after Dan left portion. If we go back to when Dad, Dan said earlier on in the stream, and this is where this, is where this gets absolutely amazing, right? I, I just need to put this in perspective. When Dan said earlier in the stream about doing the who's going to be the mayor or something. Remember, I didn't even kick that off. And then he was like, maybe go check out the school. So I reckon I'd wasted an hour easy by that point. Because I think that was about when I got the first task done. Oh, I just cancelled it. Oh, no. Go back. Or oh, No, you can't do it. Yeah, there we go. Thank God. Okay, so he was like, maybe go check out the school. I reckon that'd be at least an hour into it. If not, I think it was about an hour and 20 or something. A bit four. So it's been about three hours. It's taken about three hours to do the one thing. Three odd hours. And we had momentum with one quest. And he was just like, go check out school. It's got some important law stuff. We did. We, we spoke and they brought up Calamity and Zelda. Which was, which was good. And then three hours. But man, we had some good chats along the way, right? Like, that's the bonus. That's what you're in for. That's what, that's the deal. It was good, but hilarious. Meanwhile, Simon's, is it just me or is he cultivating that beard a little differently than he was in Breath of the Wild? Like, is he turning it up a touch or is it just me? And I know, Chris, you've got a bit of uh, experience as a, t you know, teaching. Is that a technique to sort of get, you know, the kids like, you mean business? Like, because I, I do the full beard, but his beard looks quite well trimmed it's like I'm a teacher and I know what I'm doing look at my beard it happened about 100 I should read this actually uh, did I miss anything yeah um, Chris basically uh, I like his and water into divine pursuit it's hilarious um, Chris basically activated himself again as the golden ratio and used his ability as an irrational number of endless variability and infinite decimality to offset the chaos nature that is currently unfolding in my stream and balance it out for me to get a level equation and resolve the task. How's that? Clip that. Which is going to be, by the way, and if you should or can, clip that because if you're talking about a 60 second snap of a, of a moment, um, what I just described there, it will make more sense when I finally do get the next theory video out because again, everything for me seems to be described perfectly with Chris somehow involved in one or two steps around it and talking a little bit more in the next theory about fire and that uh, aspect of um, 
the golden ratio and what Chris has just done there again perfectly illustrates the point well we can just clip it after the stream on YouTube yep exactly exactly and you know what it'll make it'll make a lot of sense when the next series video comes out because Chris again is like a living Easter egg for me but not in a bad way like just perfect 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 um perfect solution to my chaotic nature in so many ways it's just a weird thing but yeah so so is the community basically and i think that's what me the bat was saying for me that is 100 percent the case and i actually said that in a comment back to somebody on a theory video about that whole concept with the golden ratio and went a way to consider it is is the fact that me even bringing it up in a video and people watching it and then talking about it and me responding about it and we're talking about theory is now opening up a cycle of iteration and understanding that didn't exist prior i now have a perspective that is different because of your involvement and you have a different perspective because we've had a dialogue and now we are balancing a new iteration of what would have happened because we're changing things because of the gold ratio it's good What's that? Pretty sure when I left it, it was Oh, I'm, I'm bathing, in, <laughs> bathing in the elegance of actually getting to the end of the task. It's been three hours getting here. Do you know what the funny part is? It's using the exact picture I thought was the solution at the start, but I just wasn't doing it at the right time. So I spent three hours running around, or no, it wasn't three hours in total, but at least for the last hour or so, I spent a good, tr just running around trying to figure out how to show him the picture. Yep, it's good. Did something happen? Sadly, the sacred princess was unable to awaken the holy power within her. Hold it, Ava. You've been down too long in the midnight sea. What's becoming of me? Ronnie James Day. What a guy. The divine beasts were taken over by the calamity. Those selected to pilot them lost their lives in the process. Worse still, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness was badly hurt. Uh, just when all seemed lost, the sacred princess came into her power and devoted her whole being to keeping the calamity at bay for a hundred years. Is everyone following along so far? Oh, Simon, you got no idea. Uh, after spending a hundred years dormant, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness awakened. His wounds healed. He almost looks like the place stand next year, except that's a fierce deity version. Uh, he won back the Divine Beast with the help of several allies, including some of the champion's descendants. And in the end, the hero defeated the Calamity and the Sacred Princess stopped the Evil One. Sorry, I got a little emotional there at the end. It's a true story, though. <sighs> Dude, you, you like read my mind right now about being emotional. Um, just slightly different reasons, but I kind of feel like the drawing up in the corner there the little sketch drawing but actually that's coloured in way too well um, all that we have our land our lives our civilization, we owe it to all those who fought for it through the centuries that's, that's right and also the many many people who helped them along the way wow I want to be like the ancient hero and give the next generation good lives too oh my jeez jeebus Look, this was what I was having this conversation with my daughter last night is about where Nintendo were heading. Look, you've got a generation of young kids there who also want to live like the hero and they come from all different backgrounds and genders and they want to be a part of this story and Nintendo are literally demonstrating how that's getting delivered in this video. What a serendipity bix we have right here. Oh, that's right. You should have something for all of your help. Would this do? Thank you. I, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. The Hylian rice, like, after that emotional delivery. and Maybe it's because I spent three hours running around and it just wasn't the right time to trigger the quest. Uh, what do you think I've done this one? Wow, good news, everybody. Yeah. Wait, let me Farnsworth this properly. Good news, everyone. Yeah. By the way, seriously, a, um, a real benefit for you if you get the chance to do it. Just read uh, or find a picture of Farnsworth with a dialogue box saying, 
good news everyone and in your head you hear the voice you, you can't look at it and not hear Farnsworth's voice it's it's odd but very true you should taste it for yourself link highland rice yeah you betcha speaking of rice our next subject is home economics i plan to use the occasion to talk up dishes that you ooh. well we do like a good cooking lesson i am down for that and i think i'm capable of cooking i don't want to set the expectations too high after what has been um, a fairly extensive journey through one task, but you know, we can, we can probably up the ante. Class is in session now. If you need to talk, please do it after we're finished. Um, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't be so weird about it, man. Sorry for talking during your class, but the last time I didn't talk during class, I didn't get the objective done. So forgive me, master. That's, oh my god, it's so hilarious. Just so hilarious. Wait, wait, what's going on over there? What? Oh, oh, there's movement. There's laughter. Oh, man. I thought there was another task going on. No. no nothing there. Okay, well, that was, there we go. Patino Village. Not done, but at least something in Tino's done. That's good. Uh, taking a friendship out of the inn in the outer Kakariko Kakariko okay photographing a choo choo what what did I miss Kate no no I it's just I've got I do have FOMO I've got bad FOMO photographing a choo choo if you get a look at a common choo choo says Sagi I don't have a Thing of a choo oh do i wait i think i thought i did take a picture of a choo choo a blue one a big one i did too is that a picture of a choo choo it is too <gasps> serendipity bix oh you know what on brand we're going to go from three hours to do one task to nailing another one straight after without even going to get the picture because i already had it but boom he's back this was a warm-up stream that's all it needed Oh, let me, no, I don't even need that rock. That's how tough I am. Did you try another goat? <laughs> oh, goat. Sure did. <laughs> Look at the technique. Flawless victory. It's like Mortal Kombat's back, but it's not. Is that the shield surf there? Oh, Excellent. Yes. See what happens? You just get your confidence back up, momentum's <laughs> happening. G'day, Saggy. Here we go, buddy. Backflip. <laughs> We're back. Uh, sorry, Lady Smith must be playing GS just on the mic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Pretty much. Uh, so just catching up with the comments. Tech Lab next uh, for the PurePad upgrades. Oh, good point. Wait, haven't I done PurePad upgrades? Or the die shop quest can be fun. Uh, yeah, I'm down. I'm down for any. I thought I'd done the pure pad upgrades. I, I was actually gonna. I know this sounds stupid. I was gonna just try and figure out at some stage if we had to do the cheese thing, or well, there's something to do with cheese here. I think cheese shop sounds a little cheesy. Sounds a little cheesy. Yeah, you hear the joke about the pizza? It's a little cheesy. <laughs> it's only taken me. I kid you not. It's taken me nearly four hours to get my rhythm back. Oh. It's a quick turnaround. Uh, it's, it's pretty good, yeah. I'm, I think I'm. <laughs> I think I'm starting to improve. This is why. This is why I'm not going on Twitch yet, because oh, um, the clips. The, the, I'm not sure Twitch is ready for what what's coming. If I did, that'd be too. Oh, I just pressed the back button. Nailed it. All right. What am I doing? Am I dying something here? I don't even know. Dying clothes. Yep. We're all good. I don't even know if I need to die any clothes, by the way. I'm just about to have a quick look. Uh, let's have a let's have a squeezy. While we've got momentum, let's see if we can just two uh, two birds with one piggity do. Ooh, nah, nothing there that you want to change. We've got the yellow outfit. That's still boss boss hog. 
Nothing to see here. That's looking good. Oh, I think I think all the outfits are looking pretty sensational so far. Oh, except I mean we've got the whole. We'll know the hotness. Yes, yeah, that, that that could you know what? Let's give that a change now. Considering the level of pain that you've all been through, I'm I'm moping up. You guys can pick the colour. You've earned it, and so much more. But whatever colour you want, it's on. So yeah, throw them out. Throw the colours out. We're good. Uh, what was that? Have you maybe? And I just think have the hero's path is a must. Oh, I've got the hero's path. Yeah, no. I just don't. I just forget about it and don't use it. Um, <laughs> and Jay, I love your work, man. I love your work. Because I'm like, think you, that is how I would think about it if I was playing this game properly and doing it well. Well, I would totally be using the heroes, but I just forget it. I know, like, I can't even remember where I'm going. Like, remember when uh, the Fear Stady drunk dude was running around Hatino for like 30 minutes? Yeah, that. Yellow. Me, the bat. You just laid it down. The bright or the light, not yellow. Bright or light. Pastel yellow or... Wait, yeah. I think I know you're going to say bright, right? Light beaten. I'll wait for the confirmation. Confirming. 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 Affirmative. Bright. <laughs> affirmative. <laughs> yeah, affirmative. Okay. Uh, do I use seven golden apples? No. I, I'm, not using, I'm not using those lemons because they are worth absolute gold. I love those. Oh, they are. Oh, because you use them. I use them with the bow, and just like shot, shot arrow. Oh God, I with lemon. Yeah, wait. It does work, right? I'm not. Just, I, I'm doubting everything I've ever done right now. That's a shock arrow. That's for sure. That's shocking. Um, yeah, I just sell it. Yeah, sixty. <laughs> what was that? I had sixty or something. It's. Uh, oh yeah, years. beautiful. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah. Sold. You had me at hello. Bright yellow it is, sir. Lock it in, Eddie. Uh, and then I'm just going to make sure that the lemon does shoot electricity. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, thank you. I just can't trust myself at all now. I don't trust myself either. I don't trust myself. You know what? I'm going to add one to the death counter because I died of embarrassment before. <laughs> Actually, I probably died three deaths. I feel like I should just give myself the clean hunch. But I, I, think, I actually think that's a reasonable... Uh, it sounds stupid. But I did die of embarrassment. Like, literally, I could not be any more ashamed. So, I'm doing it. Nice. One to the death counter. That's just gone up to 95. We've earned it. Celebrations all around. High fives. Thank you. Appreciate it. Didn't know I could do sound effects while I was playing, did you? True story. That happened. Okay, we're on fire, so here's the thing. Have you done your, like, the main quest in here? The main quest in here? Sure haven't, because... Oh, no, that your but point? That was my point, right? But no, I've, I mean, the point was I was in Nintendo Village. Oh. Done plenty of that, like, run around. Not done much in here, but have worked my way around the village. Made my presence felt, which I think everyone's been quite glad to see. Have you even opened up the quest? No, I don't think I have. And therein lies part of the mystique <laughs> of what it's about because... Okay. Oh, wait, a bottled cry for help. No, no. that's not the one. No, no, no. But it's near here. Karaka, look out, Lanny. Oh, okay. So basically, I haven't opened up the quest. Or, nor have I potentially approached the entire town in any way that makes sense. So maybe I'll start by just going in, chatting up with some people and seeing what happens. Yeah. Uh, between you and me, CC, yep. By the way, here's a bit of a weird thing. Is it also CC as in the one who's with the nanny name Fran? Is there a crossover perhaps? She had style, she had flair, she was there. By all means, head on in. Okay, so nothing else. Okay, just, just double checking. Just doing the, doing the check. <laughs> yes, me the bat gave a high five. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the high fives. Okay, let's have a chat. Oh, so 7.28 was when we took that, that picture of that task. And in the last half hour, basically hit straps. We've, we've got another task accomplished. We've got an outfit dyed. 
<laughs> and now I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. I I feel like that's unwarranted criticism, considering what I've just put on for you. No, fair enough, ma'am. <laughs> you stand before the very woman who changed this fusty. 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 I um, clip that. Clip that thing. Uh, what am I doing? I'm just trying to. I'm yeah, yeah, trying yeah. To, I was trying okay. to. Okay, clip it. Clip it. <laughs> Clipped. All right. Ching, ching. Mental snap. Yeah, but, yeah, exactly. Just took a mental snapshot of that. I was about to do a screenshot, but I right clicked on the OBS screen. Anyway, just 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 continue to imagine hilarity of no end on this end. Uh, you stand before the very woman. Fusty is a word that we're going to add to the dictionary. That makes no sense. Um, into the old birthplace of Navu Station as Nugu. proof. Nugu. 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 <laughs> Nugu. Remind me, remind me about that some other time. I'll tell you a funny story. Um, as proof, I present to you this. You've done it. The CC hat. The newest and most magnificent work by yours truly, CC. You can keep it. She's done it. She has done it. Look at that. <laughs> um, you can keep it. It's, it looks too beautiful to be worn by me. Um, this piece is so special that I dare not assign a price. I, I, it's priceless. It is. I agree. It is. It's not for sale. I mm. agree. I agree. Yes. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. Especially like the Sia type bangs that also come with it. Like the Sia bangs that go over there. Oh, does it actually give you bangs <laughs> like a... Oh, what a, what a, what a treat. <laughs> Sign me up. In fairness though. Uh-oh. Oh, what, what, oh, it's... Is there a... Th is, are we about to get a... Uh, what is a walk-off? Is that <laughs> what Zoolander. It, Zoolander, yeah. It's a walk-off. Yeah. See what I mean, though, about the whole thing where I was saying about doing things interactive? See how much better it is when you bounce off someone verbally as well sometimes? It just... Just brings back. Just get a bounce back. It's good. I mean, you guys are doing it totally in the chat, but... It just... Sometimes oh. it's, it's good with the vocal stuff as well. It's really nice. Uh, look who's here. What can I do for you? Oh, esteemed Mayor Reed. So th do they talk, They do audio in, in uh, Twitch as well, do they, Oaf? Because that would... Oh, they couldn't even stop him from coming in. Couldn't even stop him coming in, no. So you see, you've got to quit littering village with your weird art pieces. Mm-hmm. Always well, defiant. And he kind of... I'm not, I'm not going to lie, he's kind of got the Jesus look, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a little Jesus looking. If uh, if Soundgarden was scoring this, it'd be the Jesus Christ pose. Um, some people do audio streams, so like music, etc. Hmm. Oh yeah, no, I, I was like, can you have like a dial-in number type thing? I think that's what I want. I want a call-in talk show, but it's never going to happen. Maybe you don't realise, but plants need their sleep too. Yeah, they do. I agree. Mm. And some do art streams, tutorials. So yeah. essentially, she's cool. light polluted to Tino. Yeah, she, she's, she's, uh, so when we saw all the mushroom installments around her Tino, it's also directly attributable to yeah. CC. And he doesn't seem like a fun guy. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you just picked that up. <laughs> I don't know if you just heard that. She said, he doesn't seem like a fun guy. But boom. Clip that. All right. You know what? I have no idea how, but you can do call-ins through Discord. No, I... I didn't hurt. Yeah. I didn't hurt. Anyway. Awesome. No, I... Do you know what made the bat? This was... This, you are welcome. Yeah. You, you, she said you are welcome, by the way. This was what I... Go back to when we were doing the tips and tricks video. That was my idea. Like, I, I nailed it and I was, like, excited and we were all on board. I was going to, like, going to do that with the tips and tricks video. And I did a, like, bit of a test to pull the Discord thing and I c can do it. So I could kind of do it. And I, you're right, we can do it like that. But what I then didn't do was do it in the... T we didn't really have the... Anyway, long story short, and then I kind of forgot about it. And yeah, here we are. But you just remind me again. All right, look, we're just turning things around, one after the other. There are some people that like her, you know? 
What's that? There's some people that like her, right? You know. There's some. Oh, wait. Now, I'm now. I'm trying to keep you on track. I'm just trying to keep me on track. Yeah, but I, press I was, the button. I was trying to make a fun mushroom joke because you did, and it was yeah, funny. I know. It didn't need. It didn't need another joke. It did. It need, no. No. Okay. All right. Um, that was the. That was the final mushroom joke. That was okay. Fine. What? Look at the. Look at the Sheila behind him. She's got the puckered up face of a. Sucked on a lemon. Sucked on a lemon. <laughs> Actually, she looks a little bit like what was that? That actress in that. <laughs> What's that? Um, you know the movie we watched that time? Renee Zellweger. Renee Zellweger. Yeah, she looks a bit like Renee Zellweger. There we go. Thank you. Now, now, dear, there's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people here actually like her art, you know? I speak for yourself, pucker. Um, that was with a P, by the way, just so we're all clear. Don't fall for her line of twaddle. God, I wish I was in the translation booth when they did this one. She's got everyone in Tino wrapped around her finger already. <laughs> wrapped around her finger. The, my duty is to look after the village, and that's what I mean to... Oh, well, this has become quite the contrary. This is what I needed. This is Yiga clan level of... Yeah. Uh, of uh, humor. Conflict. Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. How do you suppose you have... Uh, what? Who do you suppose you have to thank for Tino's rejuvenation? Mm. While she's sassing with one arm around the belly and the other one delicately poised under her chin, framing her face. It didn't need rejuvenating. It didn't need rejuvenating. Catino Village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it. Do they? They let us leave the matter to people to decide. I reckon she'd sound good with like an Emperor Palpatine type voice. <laughs> My avant garde approach versus the maze quaint bygone ways. No. Oh, I pressed the button too quick, Mr. Mr. Damn. By holding a mirror lecture. Uh, no, nah, I kind of went too far with it. I saw perfect voice and I freaked out me the bat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You choked. I choked. You choked. I choked, mate. I choked. <laughs> it was like watching someone who's about to dunk it and it was like. <laughs> It's gonna dunk it, and I was like, "No, nah, I don't think I can," and just like smashed my face into the ring, and, and the backboard split, and it's now a skin carried off thing. Anyway, okay. by holding a mirror election, ah, uh, no, you're good, you're good, man, you're good. Just pick it back up by holding a mirror. Okay, okay. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. You're calling for a mirror election? Sure am. Sure, so it's me. I'll win that pretty easy. Ooh, the confidence. Oh yes, this is. Do you know what? And perfectly scored by Luke, uh, Luke Link standing there with this <laughs> with a fire suit fire on still. <laughs> <laughs> That's because he doesn't want to get burnt. Yeah. Uh, what? Wait a minute. Oh, the look, the turn. She's still puckered up like a lemon. Come on, Clavia. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. It's time we head back home. She's like, maybe you can go by yourself. She's still framing yeah. her face. She's on off that hat. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, there's no time to waste. Go. Go. Talk to her. All right, but oh, I, I'm you again? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a break soon though, it's just before we get if it's time-related mechanic goal thing. No. Uh, the answer should go without saying. Oh, what? Wait, what have I done? No. All right. Do I need to answer? Well, you could do what? I didn't even know what I said before. Um, sorry, I sang about the miss, uh, miss daughter. Sorry. Um. The answer should go without saying, but you are, of course, undecided. That's the simple, that's what you do. Just fence it. That's politics, right? Just sit on the fence. Oh, if you haven't yet thrown your hat with either candidate, then welcome to Team CC. Okay. I don't do. That settles it. It's plain for all to see that I'm a shoe in for the next. Isn't that interesting? No. Or so one would think. Yet there are stragglers in the village still supporting Reed. They need, <laughs> they need a mental. I can't get the voice back. Me the battle lost it. I really did choke. No. Choked on it bad. And so I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed supporters. Mm. What? Mushrooms are synonymous with the CC brand. Fungal fashion is CC's way. Okay. I just need to put this in perspective and this, this is, you know, well, actually I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. It's just that wording and what's happened in Western Australia of recent in the news. 
with anyway just giving people mo- just timing of it interesting uh the mushrooms i give them will paint them inside and out with fresh vibrant cc color brand although sophie and i must mind the shop where will we find someone who we can trust to carry out this vital task i'll do it for you oh it's so oh, so eager to get started on my little errand already you'll need these then Holy and shrooms times eight. Oh, that's it level up give me more what else we got uh, these shrooms are for the village, villagers reed supporters. Villagers reed supporters. Okay, it's easy to recognise them by how unstylish they. Oh, oh, it's a bit of a backhanded compliment, there, isn't it? It's like here, take a ugly mushroom. You don't get a fancy one. You just get a, a bland one. My supporters are all expert fashionistas dressed to the nines in CC. Oh, you don't want to bring out fashion smiths. Once, yeah, burn. <laughs> <laughs> Once we get fashion smiths out, you, you don't even know what fashion is, CC. You're just warming up. Uh, this should go without saying, but don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. What if you do? Oh, I feel like this is a witcher scenario where I can change the course of the outcome of the game. With them over with, <laughs> win them over with psychedelics. Yes. Well, psychedelic fashion, apparently. It's just amazingly and the bangs it's it's a package uh, there's also no need to give them to children travel well you might have just answered that question chris uh no need to give them to children travelers or any temporary residents like shika researchers they that leaves us with unless i miss my guess a total of eight reed supporters your mission is simple give a single highland stream to each of those eight misguided voters well off you go Ooh, she's a hard taskmaster, this one. Now, what? Oh, you can too. Okay. That was just, oh, randomly just trying to see if that would work or do anything. That's a very flattering shot of her, but at least should add her to the compendium because I always forget to do that. And maybe get a shot of that thing, hopefully. Oh, of course it is. Oh dear. Will that have added it to the compendium already or you got to see Simon first? I can't remember that. I, th- I don't know if you do or not. Uh, maybe I'll find out. What is it? It'd be like materials? Horses? No, not going to be horse. Equipment? That'll do. Oh wait, what about people? What about the one I took with Cece? That's a, that's a thought. No, it's equipment. Materials. Uh, monsters. Monsters. Creatures. Nothing really about people, is it, actually? So maybe maybe that's not a thing. Maybe I don't need snapshot CC for any particular reason. Now I've just taken a photo of her and look like a weirdo. Um, that seems on brand. Where are Got that picture in there, that that was good. The egg behind a cage. Uh, Link dressed like the bomb. Okay, no, by the by, I'm pretty comfortable we've got it covered. Looks good. Okay, well, let's just delete those pictures then, shall we? Because we're running out of room and we need it. Delete. Remember when I took that picture for no particular reason? Here I made activated and, ah, I'm keeping that one. I took that to get that in the compendium. Don't think it matters. Uh, stone talus luminous. Whoa. It's got the little monster thing on it, so maybe I keep it for now. Ah, oh, that was just an amazing picture. But you know what, that can go. All right, I think we've cleared up a couple. Uh, there's me hanging out with some some mates. And yep, we're looking at the goods. Fashion Smiths, back again. All right, cool. Uh, maybe just change the outfit, because, you know, maybe CC supporters won't recognize us in this outfit, because it's not stylish enough, apparently. She's a little bit of a, a particular gal. So we'll just uh, fix that up. Quick smart, tickety-boo. 
Just get back in my good gear. Actually, we might, we might rock it up a touch. Now we've got, we've just taken what we were wearing before. And we've just, just grunged it up slightly. I feel like that's paying off. Um, fashionista personnel only. Ooh, hidden room. Oh, crouching tiger, hidden fashionista. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said that. That's what just happened. All right, excellent. That was a real good shortcut. I'm glad I took that one. Paid off. Okay, so the deal is basically you've got to give it to the supporters. So it's probably a good time for me to take, just take a touch of a break. Because I need to. Um, but we've got, them, we've got it highlighted. CCR should give breed voters um, some mushrooms to open their eyes to new ways of thinking. God, it just seems a bit sus, doesn't it? The way they're putting that. Just, it's not quite on par with that. But anyway... Uh, according to her, Reed voters are identifiable by their unfashionable clothing. Travel... Oh. Ooh, I may need... Mr. Smith, uh, I, would you be prepared after the break to potentially provide some... Oh, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to lock you down for that because you've, you've got things to do today. <laughs> but... Yeah, I can help for a bit. Have you done this task? Mm -hmm. Do you know roughly what they mean by unfashionable? Yeah. This means people not wearing a mushy hat. Just people not wearing a mushy hat. Okay, I got it then. I got. I should be able to pull that together. Or like you know, like the mushroom, like or the mushroom. Yep. And it, by the way, if you like sitting on the other end watching this or whatever, and right now going, why do you need help with fashion? But trust me, I I, I do. I am pretty much still dressed in nineties grunge or heavy metal <laughs> stuff, and I'm. It's been a while. Stained reference there, by the way. It's a good band around that time. Possibly why I still dress in the clothes, but needless to say, fashion is not my uh, milieu. Right, break. Break, break it, break it down, is break. what rappers would say. We're gonna have a quick break, you're gonna have a quick break, and we are gonna have a good time. In that break, we're going to enjoy, I was gonna put the thing back up of Oaf and stuff like that, but if I'm not here with the commentary, I don't know if I should do that. So I might put BRB back up. Nothing wrong with 90s grunge. Oh, me the bat, just like my spirit animal right now. Everything I wanna be. Um, wait a minute, what if I champ, oh, sorry. I just realized I wasn't in the studio mode like I did before. I'm just gonna quickly take the B right back thing go to that on studio mode, grab the thing that says be right back, wherever the heck that is, and add it back to the other video. And do you know what? You can teach an old dog new tricks. Apparently. I've just got to figure out where that other one was with the playlist and we can stick that back up there. Technically go with that there. Okay. And I'm going to switch, transition. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to just fix up the video feed on that. Okay, nearly there, I promise. Nope. Why is that not working? Oh, 
But just give me one sec. Best laid plans. Best laid plans. Okay, nearly got it. It's going to be amazing when it comes together. You're really going to love it. Okay, hopefully that will work now. Let's try again. A lot quicker than the first time though. It's just, a, it's like the video's not playing though, isn't it? How bizarre. How bizarre, it's not playing the video. I don't know. I'm just going to have to go with the normal be right back screen then, I think, which is disappointing because we had worked it out and it is doing the video, but then it's not. It's just being strange. Um, best slow plans, like I said. Just going to just try one last thing on it. Just because we've gone this far, why not? Take that out. Like that. And take that one out. And nothing sus. Let me just add one back in. Beautiful. We are so nearly there. Okay, and that one there, perfect. Okay, and we're just gonna resize that slightly, okay. Easy as pie. Basically, flawless compared to the last time, really, in comparison. I don't know if they do it as well as I'm just doing it now on, on Twitch. I don't know if Twitch is just up to speed with the level that I am delivering this amazing ex explanation and journey into uh, what I'm doing. But there we go, we did it. We pulled it off. Right, break. Right, break. Break it down for me. Let's do it. Except you've got to start the video first and... Oh, it's not doing it again. I give up. Now it is. There we go. We're good. We got it.
tight, I admit. Yeah, it was off on our previous video about convergence. I'm sure there might be a connection to reality, the dream world, and across the dimensions. However, when it came to Ganondorf, we weren't too far off. It also seems we weren't too far off with our Loki idea, either. But in execution, we were wrong. Really wrong. Convergence happened right before us and farther back in time than we ever could have known. And it all starts with B. You. No, not you. I, I mean, wait, no, no, ah! Before we begin, my very good friend and partner in research, GameSmiths, has a video that describes the other half of what we're missing here. So check out his video so you aren't confused. It's extremely well put together, and I can't tell you guys how thankful I am that we've spent multiple hours doing research and think tanks on this topic over the past few weeks and months. So please do me a favor and go check out his stuff. The Convergence, a shift in space time where timelines reconnect. I was hoping we'd get a Convergence game, or even an event. And we did. In Tears of the Kingdom, the main focus is on getting the Master Sword, and returning Zelda back home. Zelda starts by being sent to the First Kingdom, which is way before Minish Cap, but being a few hundred, maybe thousand years after Skyward Sword and the Interloper War. So, Demise is dead. Like, long dead. The curse is in motion. Zelda appears and get. Is that Ganondorf? Is that. Is that. Is that. I'm wondering, it is mine. Well, yes. Yes, it is. This is him. The, the return of the king. The true Ganondorf. Do you guys realize how big this moment was? see not just the reincarnation of Demise thousands of years before Ocarina of Time, but to also have Twin Rova. See, th that's them, right there. The protective embrace of your kingdom. The servant faithful. A welcome appeal. I will accept your vow of fealty to the kingdom of Hyrule. This would mean that Ganondorf is far older than we could have known. For all we know, He's the real deal. This master sword speaks the darkness. The faith that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Every form from Ocarina, Twilight, Wind Waker, and the entire downfall timeline was just a puppet. As mentioned, every form of Ganondorf is a puppet. A well-crafted and expertly made imitation. Each one was so well made that it fooled the entire kingdom and us fans. How? The man was sealed underground for all of space and time until the hero of the wild could stop him. The hero, as in way, 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 way far in the future. So what that means all the timeline is... Huh. Sounds like convergence. Like an active way to fix space time before it breaks. And that's what happened. We saw a plan of action to step out of a predetermined timeline. Zelda in the past, yes, the same from Wild Tears. But the fun part is, this is the real Ganondorf, sealed under the kingdom. His power swells releasing gloom, malice, and in thus doing so, the malice becomes sentient, making phantoms and even body doubles of the true king of evil. Ganondorf in Tears of the Kingdom is the Demon King. He really is Demise reincarnated. Which then leads us to our next point. So how can Ganondorf escape his fate against space-time? It's destiny. There's always destiny and a predetermined outcome for Link to fight Ganondorf. Think of it this way. 
every single one of these events from Minish to the end of the three timelines is, yes, canon to the overall story, but also events in which Ganondorf can watch from afar on how he can win or lose, and thus in doing so, he can also see where the kingdom falls after the destruction. He can even see from his Malice Hive Mind how other demons and villains would conquer in his stead. All of these events and wars are all contained within a securely made loop. As Wikipedia puts it, as reliable as that ever will be to say, B is the 21st Greek letter of the alphabet. But as we know it, Zelda team, and Nintendo, likes to use real-world symbols, events, and people as references. So what if we take the timeline here, put the Greek letter B on it, and the double dragons. Do a little bit of cosmetic work to it, and boom, we get this. As we see, there is a loop around the timeline we already knew. The key parts of this already existing convergence are Ganondorf and Zelda. And as we saw in the game, Zelda turns into the light dragon, watching, protecting, and waiting for all of space-time. So now that we know Ganondorf is way older than we thought, each previous form was a puppet, and the timeline was already split and fixed before the game came out, where does this put us? It puts us at a point of nirvana. We broke the cycle. As stated in the Tears of the Kingdom third trailer, the future is ahead. We now have the opportunity to have any game come out and not worry about the timeline. Because now it can be classified as in loop, which means it's one of the old timelines and future, which now means anything after Tears of the Kingdom. Think of it as this, Hyrulean Renaissance, or Rebirth. A new chapter of Hyrule to prosper and live, and a new era of old school and newly made villains. I mean, if players have shown to make fully functional guns from cannons, we could see something only the great John Tron once said. I mean, what if after Super Mario World, Nintendo came out with a teaser trailer for Super Mario 64, and upon release day, you were treated with Mario City Simulator, and then you turned on the game and Shigeru Miyamoto's ghost comes out like, I'm fucking who likes the old Mario games, am I right? BRP! Make a Legend of Zelda Modern Warfare! Only time will tell. Eh? You get it, then? I want to thank you all for coming in. It truly does mean a lot. I want to give the biggest thanks again to my friend Peter Smiths. It really means a lot, my guy. Without his help, this video wouldn't have been finished, so go give him some love. Recently, things have been heavy in my personal life. Funerals, work, and everything in between. I want to apologize to everyone because I'm not as active on YouTube as I am with Twitch. So moving forward, I want to say that you can catch me at twitch.tv slash OGOGaming almost every single day. We got Zelda, we got Red Dead, we got Pokemon and more, so I'd love it if y'all came by. And in regards to my YouTube channel, there's more videos planned to come out, so just be a little bit more patient. I'm the Oak, I'll catch you next time, and thanks again for watching. The Super Nintendo, home of some of the best, or rather most super, RPGs, platformers, and adventure games ever made. It took us from 8 bits to 16, and it axed bleeps and bloops so that we could hear sweet, bit-crushed samples of actual instruments. Titles such as Earthbound, Super Mario All-Stars, and even games like The Lion King all gave us something memorable to see, hear, and play and we'll be covering all these games and more in this video. But what truly made the SNES stand out against the competition back in the day was highly polished and super fun titles, like, I don't know, Kirby Superstar, for example.
Kirby Superstar, despite being intended for an SNES release from the get-go, actually began development on the original NES. This unreleased NES prototype was used for internal purposes only, as a way of finalizing all of the ideas that would go into the end product before the team had an actual SNES development kit. This process can be seen with the NES sprites for the yo-yo and cutter abilities, which were released to the public over 20 years later in an issue of Famitsu. The sprites shown look nearly identical to their counterparts in the finished product, with the main exception being the lack of Superstar's signature ability hats. Director Masahiro Sakurai stated that this type of development style is beneficial to him, as the starting step of finalizing- Hello. Hopefully that's better, and I just need to shut the other thing down that I had up. Sorry about that, by the way. Apologies for the delay. I had a little bit of a side issue pop up that needed some help. Somebody needs some help, so. Um, serendipity picks with timing, as it always is. But hopefully it's coming through loud and clear again, and thank you for being patient. I do apologize. But here we are, we're back. And uh, ready to show what Fashion Smiths is capable of. Now, we begin by recalling the task. And the task at hand, friends, is first of all to say, with OGF's uh, comment there, be right back. Had to get that in, the poll quick check in. DLC announcement where all were up to 14 votes. It's looking spectacular. 50%. So statistically speaking, it's looking pretty strong. 14% for December. 7% for I like emojis. Love that. And 29% for no. So strong votes out there. Strong votes, people. Mm. Very good. All right. Fashion Smiths. It's on. We need to find eight individuals dressed unfashionably. And I think it starts right there. Go. With Nadra. Not looking fashionable at all. I'm joking. As quickly as you can. What's that? This is a fast one. This is a fast one. All right, time frame. Set the clock. Let's go. I'm pretty sure a farmer's one. Like, to the farm. Farmers. Farmer's market. Oh, farm. This this is not the farmer, is it? No. Or no, the, the farm. Like, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I've, right. got, I've got a little bit of assistance, by the way, in case you can't tell. Uh, a little bit of farmer's market and a little bit of assistance. No, not a market. Not market. You know how there's a usually a farmer in the field? Oh, yeah. Over there. Over there, she says. Um, back, back, back. Mrs. Smith's. Oh, yeah, that farmer over there. Gotcha. He was on the move. Oh, I don't know if he was farmer. Oh, he looks fashionable. Oh, wait. He's got a mushroom hat. No, that other dude. No, he doesn't have a mushroom hat. Is it? Oh, no. Okay. He's plain. Mm -hmm. He's plain as an arrowroot biscuit. Oh, here you go. Yep. There you go, mate. Have a have a highly a mushroom. And then that old fella too that was walking up the way. And, and then the direction, if you can't hear it, the old fella that's on the way up, no, over the way. She says, "No, you don't, that, you don't have to move closer. I'm I'm translating <laughs> for you. It's, it's like Galaxy Are Quest." Are you on mute though? What? Are you on mute? Am I on mute? I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I should double check. I was pretty sure I wasn't, but I've been pretty sure about a lot of things in my life. Nah, coming through loud and clear. Cool. Assuming the stream's working, because we've also had problems with that on and off today. So, yeah, that's a thing. But, you know what? It would be on brand if it wasn't quite working, because um, I do like to do things uh, off stream a lot, when I think they're on stream. Oh, I can't carry any more meals either. Perfectly good apple right there, going to waste. All right, yeah, I'll... All right, oh, how do you, oh shit. The missus no, on fire. She's on fire. Yes. How do you like them apples? You can't stop me. The best part of the stream. Could, it could be, we, oh. we're probably offline. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, on days like this, I tend to work. Uh, okay, we're back. Yes. It makes Is the that road, number two? It will be, but Uma likes to chat Uma. Oh. Oh. That's not a thing. Not offline. Thank you, me the bat. Okay, yeah, because I, I was trying to look to see where the light Yeah, yeah. Well, normally I would have been all over it, but mm. we had that, oh, I had a series actually of a couple of things happen in that short break, which was just hilarious. 
All right, that's number we've two. That's number, number two. two mushy. Updated. Open adventure lock. Log. Log. Ooh. Okay. Right. Okay. Now, we know it's not going to be mushy these hat. two. They're Ooh. all over it. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he is the epitome of style. There's two mushies there. Uh, they're stolen. Yeah. Yep, you're stolen. Right, what about anyone? There's no one cruising back there. No one wants to go no, back there. No, no. Uh, no need. No requirements. Ooh. Wait. Oh no, he's he's. Oh no, he's definitely. He's definitely not. But why is he also um, creeping out? Because I think he's a bit of a, a wee bit of a stalker. Oh, he's a bit stalker. He's a bit okay. stalkery. I'm just. I know this isn't what we're doing currently it. right now, but I just want to pop a little stalker mark there so I can come no. back and check. On him. <laughs> no, I just want to come back and check on him later. Just cause... talk to him. He'll give you a tough. No, but if I talk to him, won't it be like I'm giving him a mushroom? I'll just pop no, that. you can't give mushrooms to people with mushroom hats. Oh, you can't. So you can't get it wrong. No. Okay. Well, there we go. Perfect. Oh, didn't. look at burns. <laughs> Love burns like fire. Sure does. Shouldn't do. Shouldn't do. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but no. yeah, shouldn't do. Maybe get that checked out. Uh, mm. You you collect some hot-footed frogs for me. I collect. I thought I spoke to this guy, but anyway, I collect a few more for myself. And Ms. V will be swept Sorry. off her feet. JK, how many shrooms have been delivered? Two, two down, mate. Where? That, that is, that oh. is Duay. Uh, Duay. <laughs> Duex. Yeah. Or uh, Ichi Ni. Yes. Knee in Japanese. Yeah. Or. Didn't think that we were like multilingual. Multilingual, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. It's just surprising. Yeah. And and by the way, uh, wow. We come back on the stream. That's all happened within two minutes, basically. Yeah. Um, so, oh, I pressed back. Oh, I lost it. I'm so full of hurts. I'm so full of hurts. Oh, you had a big feed, didn't yeah, you, mate? Yeah. Good on you. Yeah. Uh, not here, though. Yours truly, uh, and back, by the way. I, I established that from the first message. Mm, mm. <laughs> Sorry, it was a joke, joke. I know you were there as well. That's it's it. classic. Yeah. Classic OGL. Our, our powers of deduction. I know. Look at our repartee. Oh, I know. We, we, we're working. Okay. You know what? We've got, we've got that. Uh, now. He's good. Yeah. Right, out of the way. Fashion Smiths is coming through. Hey. Oh, that's a kid. No, it's a kid. It's a kid, it's a kid. That's a, that's a surfboard. Oh. That's a mushy. That's a mushy. Oh, down there. Is he got a mushy? Hang on. That guy. That guy. That guy is a mushroom. Oh. oh I've got to get off my surfboard. Oh, no. He's, he looks like a mushroom hat. Huh? He does. He does look like it. Uh... JK, it's a good Ooh. problem to have both. Or oh, look at you. You don't have a mushroom. You look plain as an arrowroot biscuit. <laughs> you just got nothing, 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 nothing about you that says uh, bang. Oh, she does have bangs though. So is she there? I don't know. Uh, I actually just made myself a bowl of ramen with a fried egg. Thing is, I'm even a big fan of Salisbury steaks. Oh, look at this. We've got the food discussions happening. Oh, Everything's no, happening. Look at this. Welcome back to Fashion Smiths and Food Smiths. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, technically incompetent Smiths as well, from how I stream. So. You get a bit of everything mm, here. Mm. Um, it did take us about four hours to warm up. Uh, but we've got there in the end. It's going to be worth it at the end. Yeah, it's, it's paying off dividends. Tasks hey, are moving forward. And you also got a bird egg. Got oh, a bird egg. Haven't heard a word she's saying. You swept me off my feet so fast that. I gave, I gave you one, one of my prize decks. Oh, they're prized. You're that good. You're just that good. Oh, I pressed, did I press the wrong thing? Damn it, I did too. I feel like you weren't getting what I was... Oh, what oh, did he no. kill the mood? Oh, no. <laughs> I have a island shrimp. Oh, there you go. Oh, you have it's, a mushy. It's painful. Oh, there's a lot of ways you can prepare mushrooms. Oh, she's she's a bit... She's Oh, she's yeah, devil. she loves it. Oh, wait, is she devo or is she like it? But that's know. why when they're food, when you make them fashion, you lose me. Oh, yeah, no, she's, you know what, she knows what she wants in life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it wasn't so long ago that doing stuff like that was completely unheard of oh, here. Yeah. The, oh, there's a backstory. The fan families she's don't know what to make of their daughter. Can you blame them? Oh, Tamana, you're the unlikely voice of reason I need in my life. Look, it doesn't matter how handsome oh, you no, are. Oh, no, she doesn't repeat it. Or how many times yeah. you swing by to chat. Yeah. I'm not giving you any more eggs. She is an independent woman. <laughs> yeah. Just forget me. How could I ever forget? Your heart is like a cuckoo's egg. Easily given, but easy to... <gasps> oh, you just got <laughs> I need the meme right now where that, that guy drop, like, drops the mic and runs like... Yeah. yeah. 
All that tearing. Burp, burp, burp. I used to love those frozen Salisbury steaks dinners as a kid till I got extremely ill one time afterwards. Don't know if it was food or not, but I can't help connect them now. And maybe, and I've maybe had it, yeah, like three times in the past 20 years. I, I don't even know what a Salisbury but steak is. We don't is. know what Salisbury Sorry. steak is, yeah. No, we, we have, well, you know what steak is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't Salisbury steak. I'm, video, I'm not sure. I'm not yeah. sure what a Salisbury steak is, yeah. yeah. I'm going to look that up later. Yeah. Pencil that in. Yeah. In right, the meantime, I'm just getting, just recover. I should have kept the burn suit on because... Yeah, I know. Well, you should have kept your fire suit right, on. Right now. Because you were just getting rejected and yeah. burned. She's just oh. flaming me. Uh, please find it in your heart to forget what we had today. Okay, it's forgotten. I was wondering if there was a way to romanticize some eggs, but in the end, eggs are something you cook and eat for breakfast and that's it. Ooh, oh, shit. She is tough. Hamburger patty with gravy. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. Is that what a Salisbury steak Sal is? That's a Salisbury steak, eh? Is it? Hamburger patty with gravy. That's... What? Oh. That's a... That's... That's not what I expected. That, yeah. I didn't, didn't pick that. Things are pretty rough in Salisbury. <laughs> um, Salisbury steak is a dish... Did you just cut and paste that from Google? Uh, <laughs> chat GPT. Um, Salisbury steak... <laughs> Salisbury steak is a dish originating in the United States and made from a blend. Oh, no, it's good. That's how you do it. OJ is fishing. Okay, okay. A blend of ground beef and other ingredients being considered a version of Hamburg steak. Pretty much on the money. Nailed it. Smashed it, mate. Well done. Okay, so a, just... bur a, burger, a burger patty with gravy. Well, it's kind of, yeah, a version of Hamburg steak. Hamburg. I now, I now need to Google it. Yeah, she's she's on it, mate. She she can't she can't rest at that. There needs to be no, visuals. I need to see a picture. We need to. She needs to drink it in with her eyes. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. It's not really a hamburger, but yeah. You know what? You'd make a fine Aussie oaf. You've got the yeah, but no, but yeah. Mm. I don't know if you've ever heard Aussies do that. There's oh. Wait, I need to see it now too. Yeah. It's all happening here. Oh. Oh, that's that's. And this unique. is this has got this one's got mushy on it as well. Serve with mashed potato. Yeah, right, okay, with mashed potato. I could see yeah, that. I could see it. I could see it. Do you know what? Some of these I could, particularly if you added mushroom to it, I could. Uh, if I didn't know any better, that actually looks more like an English meal. It does look very English. Yeah, like yeah. what? Yeah. I don't know, but Salisbury is English, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Let's not pretend we know. I don't know. I, fashion. <laughs> Fashion Smiths now wear uh, yeah. eating around the world. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait. Yeah, we no, stopped. yeah. Look, was that number three? That. Now we're stopped. See, if I don't push you along, no, you go no, nowhere. No, but you just stand, stand in the same place. No, nah, it was number three because it's five left. It's all good. No, but we're smashing it. We're smashing it on our current ratio of. Okay, um, you can't go out of the village. No, I was just making sure there's no one down there because Nintendo they like to hide things, Easter eggs. Okay, egg reference. Nobody's down in uh, Zelda's special little spot. No. Little lover's nook down in the swamp. Oh. I would go to... Right, just make sure we cover over there. I'm just going to do a sweep. Maybe, should it be day? Should it be day? Should it be day? Do you reckon should it be day? Well, oh, that's probably a good call. Can I offer you an egg in these yeah, time yeah, times? Yeah. yeah, well, do you know what? Actually, she, she she was she was she, she absolutely cutthroat. Do you know what? Those that lady has just she knows how to deliver the burns. She's Mr. Burns's. Yeah, niece. maybe sleep. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going be, for sleep. They'll so. be out and about walking around. That's what I'm doing. Until noon. Yes. I don't do morning. Good one. Having to sleep in. Uh, homemade ones, I still love to death, just not yet. See that, that's, you've just put it in a nutshell. This is me in a nutshell. How do I get out of the nutshell? Um, frozen meals, just, oh. yeah, uh, it's, the blood moon's rising. Imagine if that, you had to restart the mushrooms again, that would suck. Um, the frozen meals are just always going to be a subpar variation of whatever it is you're trying to achieve with your, with your food. And it's nothing against the frozen meals, but they're just not. Hey. Oh, I'll worry about that, man. Well. Task. You're the contest. Uh, contest. Hey. You're the customer I saw at Ventus Clothing, aren't you? Dun, dun, dun. I've just sucked on a lemon. I know. Sorry. <laughs> 
The face. I just <laughs> clip that, clip chant that. Um, never had a homemade sales mistake, always frozen, and they suck. Oh, if he's just smashing it out. Wow. Uh, the brownies that come with those, though, are excellent. There you go. We're, we're learning a lot here today. I feel like I'm getting stronger. Uh, you know what, from what we're talking about, whether to go through with the mirror electoral or not, it's become something of a hassle. They're, They're both, both so stubborn. stubborn. Mm. Yeah, so I would see that with eggs and rice. It's loco moco, Hawaiian. Oh, you know what? Uh, that is good to know. And you know who will appreciate that? BPX. He'll appreciate that update and he, he'll probably thumbs that up, I reckon. Uh, but that's not a moot point. I love that saying. We like to call it a moot point over here. It's not a cow's opinion. It doesn't matter. cow's opinion. It doesn't matter, yeah. <laughs> A moot point is cow's pin. Doesn't, yeah, doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, that sounds good. Uh, I have something else on my mind. Is it eggs? Yeah, because there seems to be a lot of. Yeah, what's on your mind? It's Thinking hot. about eggs in this town. There's a lot of. Um, this is a bit. Tw- actually, it's a bit Majora's Mask, but it's a bit Twin Peaks. This town. It's turned from Hatino to. What the Hatino? He shuts himself in our shed every night. I don't have the faintest idea what he's up to. Uh. Do we want to know what he's up to? Anyway, but I ask you just a secret. And I can't get it. Oh, he's dressing up in mushroom gear, isn't he? I hope the idea of snooping on him. Plus, I think he'd catch me. I hope the idea of snooping on him. Plus, I think he'd catch me at it right away. Yeah, just maybe leave it be. There's some things you don't need to know. That's You, you get that in time. But I get so worried about what I think whenever... Oh, the curiosity's got the better of you. Mm. This is Schrodinger's cat again, Chris. It's happening. The golden ratio is back in play. Gosh, first, first, if I couldn't find someone to talk to about this. <laughs> oh, oh no! Don't Good burst. thing you came along. Well, I'd you're like in you strong to hands. I'd like our shed at midday when my husband isn't around and see if you can figure out what he's doing. Yes. Okay. Oh. I'll pay you for your trouble. Look. Okay. When it comes to spying on people in a weird, creepy manner, mm-hmm. no payments necessary. Mm. I'll do that for free. Mm. Uh, you you never fit through a window, but maybe you could dig a hole or something. Well, you'll figure it out. Well, well, you'll figure it out. Lucky for you. Well, I, well, 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 ascend. Is that a clue? Uh, by the way, look at the pictures. Interesting. Just, just soaking he's, some of them. He's that guy looking at a goat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's amazing. Nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, oh, that's the... Crazy flower, flower lady. Yeah. Looking in the sky. What, flower, flower blight uh, Ganon was the... Oh, excuse me. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, do it again. Look up. Wow. Come on. I know this is... Oh, oh no. We no, it. turn around. <laughs> turn I around. Think, I think he's just afraid of that sour puss. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Turn around. Every time I look, I get a little bit mad. Anyway, oh, if, she, if she did it, it would have been so good. You could have, could have clipped that. Wait, what's that one? Oh. I'm, I'm so glad I took the time to do that. Sometimes in life, you need to take time to. Hey, smell look! The I appreciated that guy looking at that goat. The guy looking at goat was amazing. Yeah. Um, her, her face though, I tend to agree with you, mate. Um, I'm not going to lie. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Skills. Wow. Um, no, it's raining. It's no. Don't be climbing and stuff. Uh, I'm good, I'm good. I reckon that's the, is that the well we need? No, finish the mushrooms. Finish, oh, oh, that was a separate task, right. Good point. And you have to do it at midday. So you would need to sleep again. So, yeah, okay. Also a good point. Yeah. So this is where I think, right? If I had someone who was just like, onto it like a carb onto it, what I would do on YouTube or whatever, or Twitch or whatever platform it is, is I would just be firing out the ideas and they would just deliver them. So like, you'd get that bit of that clip where it was like, you know. Go in there. Go in there and I'd like just have Luke going in the Death Star thing in like Star Wars and it'd be like stay on target stay on and it'd be hilarious in my mind no there's a dude in here somewhere is there food dude oh food dude 
No, no, there. Rude that dude, dude with an attitude. Got him. Wait, he looks too stylish. Yeah, look at that flicky fringe. I can't, I can't say he's not you stylish. Can't, you can't make him put a hat, a hat on that hair. Look at that, look at the... Oh, and look at his beard. I know, that's, that's, that's a five day shadow. Is it? What? Oh, I can't remember Five what's o'clock. called. Five o'clock shadow. Five day shadow. Wait, what the? Every time I show my face around there, she demands to know why I'm not wearing CC Brown clothes. Because he doesn't need them. No. No. He doesn't cover up that hair. He is the, the fashion. Uh -oh. It's a mean chin strap, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> it, is, it is a mean chin strap. I'm just going to... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have island shrimp. And, okay. All right, excellent. I'm not too late to the designs, but she's pretty pleased with them. She does look incredibly cute when she wears them too. Uh, I'm not the only one. Coin from the farm said the same thing as well. All right. Alright, um, I hate, guys, I'm so, so very sorry, and I know you guys have been really, really understanding, that's a mean chin strap, totes agree. I'm gonna just have a, I'm just gonna have to step away for just a sec, I've just had something crop up that I just need to have a quick look at, I've got someone trying to look for some help with something pretty important, so if I can just bear on your patience, just five secs, and I, I sincerely apologise, really do, but I'm gonna have to just quickly check on this thing. Won't be a sec. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. That was a nice quick one. All right, sorry about that. Like I said, but sorted. Solving problems, taking names, taking Cece's brown clothes and fashion Easter. Uh, every time I show my face around there, she demands to know why I'm not wearing the clothes. As we said, don't need it with that five o'clock shadow and that fringe. Uh, when you look as good as he does with one eye, you can patch that. No, this is, it's not coming together. I'm trying real hard. The broke my rhythm, that phone call was terrible. Um, so I'm keeping my distance till the fad dies down. And so it is, what's that? <laughs> Every now and then I get a little bit terrible. Oh, it turn around. And Zelda's never coming round. Okay, so did we give him the mushroom then? I think we did. Let's check our stocks. We've got four left. Excellent. Okay, not anyone in there, but let's not count our chickens before they've cooked and hatched. Damn it. Could have done so much better with that one. You know what, that's good, it's good. Starting to get the rhythm back and I think I just need to follow it up with another good stream sooner rather than later just to get the, just to get the rhythm back on. 
feel like Gloria Estefan would get the rhythm and it would make her dance. Yes. He's got it. No problem, we can't control here. Up we go. And done. Cool. Alright. So now that we've got that out of the way, we've got the bird's eye view. And wouldn't you know it, with the rain, probably not the environment that people are going to be out and about showing their wares and their fashion. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, that kid was close to being... Wait, isn't it, this is where the other farm is? The, the other farm, correct. Feeding dissident mushrooms. Hilarious. Dissident is... Oh, I haven't heard dissident in ages. Dissident is here. They don't look fashionable. No, and there's not one over there, is it? No. What about down? What about you? She doesn't look fashionable. No. Oh, and you're a task owner, huh? How do I fix this? I dive into the pond. There's no way that's too deep to swim. I agree. You shouldn't be diving in there. I can't even dive in there. One day we will. What's that with blank stare? Oh, you must be a customer. What have you got there? Well, have a Highland room. Thank you, milady. From Cece, huh? But I can see you mean well enough with the gift, so I'm happy to accept. Thanks. Sorry, but if you're here on farm business, you'll have to talk to my dad at the farm. Is that where you get your fashion sense from? Because we're good. I need to get my hands on the message bottle floating in the pond quick. Uh, I finally found the letter my great grandpa left, but can't reach it. Okay, so we, we yeah, okay. I've got the powers to solve that problem another time. What a hero. Oh, look, he's, he doesn't look fashionable. No, and oh, doesn't. doesn't look fashionable? Or oh, does he? No, he doesn't need any more fashion. Look at those eyebrows. It's the complete package when you look at the inner um, support he's got for his thighs. It's <laughs> He obviously does a, a bit of movement with those legs. Love to get some sun. Don't my cows look happy to be out sunbathing. They sure do. Five o'clock shadow is a big thing in the Tino. It's, it's all the rage with the guys. Just go the full beard, it's mate. It's the different colour from your hair. Yeah, exactly. Yep. You want to have the grey stubble, but completely natural yeah. coloured hair. Makes sense. I'm going to try and push for that. Uh, that'll be my new look. Buy me and my daughters... Uh, sorry, but me and my daughters, Queen and Old Man Tock. Oh, Old Man Tock is probably... No, he's too old. Don't care much about clothes. What we use in fashion, right? Still, I'm glad that you're... That's all you came for. If you told me we're here to pick up some fresh milk, I'd have been in a tight spot, make no mistake. We need milk. Don't tell me you haven't heard of my farm's fresh milk. It's the best in the Tino. The secret's in the special feet. Oh, secret sauce, eh? Uh, I make for my cows. I It gives their milk an extra little something you don't get anywhere else. Well, this sounds like the cheese solution. Except I've been having trouble getting my hands on acorns to make up much of the mix. There used to be tons of acorns all over the ground in the forest out back. Oh, look at this. We could absolutely kill it out there. No idea why they all went. Probably the squirrels started talking over and grabbing them all for themselves. Sometimes they'll drop by the acorns and carry them in the cheeks. Blah, blah, blah. I need at least three acorns. I, you know what? I've already done. There you go. Live your best life. Yep. Your dreams can come true. Look at me, baby. I'm with you. Yep. That was a reference to another song. Who did that song now? Dreams. It was a weird singer too. I can't do it. I can't do any songs really, but I like to try occasionally. For fun. Ooh. Look at him. Look at him just staring him out. I don't trust them at all. But anyway, we're going to move on. Should we check the house though? Yeah. I think it's worthwhile. Because... Crouching Tiger, hidden victim. No, not yet. No, get up there, son. You can do it. Nope, no one there. Nothing to see here. It's not. So we got three more people left. Three more. Right. Where, oh, where was Simon? Oh, what about up in their school? What That's, what, the that's school what I was just saying. Simon. Oh, he's okay. a natural. He's... he's okay. Simon is... Simon is the moment. But he's down there, isn't he? The school's down there. 
I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm just thinking of efficiency. We know Simon's a victim because, let's face it, he's, he's got it. He's got it written all over himself. There's no other farms out there. No other farms, no, but there is the ancient Hatino tech lab thing. Yeah, but that's only got rum in it. I mean, wait. Uh, but isn't there sometimes people who are around the trees or whatever? Who's that? That's a cuckoo. Hello. No, you're a Korok. But normally there's someone around trees or sitting there, or maybe I'm getting... Maybe it's my nostalgic brain kicking in with the old light the fires. There was the lady who was near the... Hey, here we go. What are you? What about you, sir? You look like an unfashionable oh, victim. You know it. Oh, you Or is he too old? No, he's not. Yes. Never too old for a highly mushroom, sir. Yeah, killing it. Killing it. Yep. Two left. Now, there was Simon. Okay, okay. yep. I'd still be returned back. 100%, mate. Couldn't agree more. You don't want to be rude. Rude dude with an attitude. Rhymes and you know it does. It's just not what you're about. It's not your brand. I love that term now. It's just use it all the time. Put it back pocket. Okay, I'm just double checking. Nothing to see there. Nothing to see there. They're not inside. Just worth double checking. Been caught out way too many times. Does Robbie count in the, No, because he's he doesn't count in the numbers. CC considers him to be quote unquote stolen. That was a little technique I like to call the push and blow. Now just keep an eye out for those trees. Charlie. In the trees. No one there, no one there. Who's that? Oh, that's a, that's a dog. That is a dog. But a we dog. didn't check We didn't check the house, though. And wouldn't you know, well, there's probably a diary there worth reading. Or did we check the house? I don't... Well, this is like the farmhouse, exactly the same. But nothing to see here, folks. Alright, move along, sir. Okay, dog. Wait, why is the dog just looking up? No, he's just been a dog. It's all right. Dogs doing what they do, you're looking at things, making you think there's something there, and then nothing to see here. Just gonna have a lay down. Dog owners know what I'm talking about, right? You know what I mean. Of course you do. Okay, oh, hello. Uma, no. Yeah. We already hit her up. Oh, did we? Yep, we spoke to her. Oh. Yep. I'll never forget that face. Says, says the man who immediately forgets most things after he's done it. Um, but what's the time? 2020. It's a bad year that one for COVID. So Simon definitely, and because it was the hotel thing, did we check inside there? There's two. The hotel thing. There's here. Yeah, ha ha. The man, you can't give him a mushroom. That's Why can't we give him mushroom? Because she, that's who she's against. Oh. He's just got... Alright, here's the cheese. Yeah. You know what, worth it. Uh, have you tried the fresh milk? Make up on the farm? So we've got the... Yes. Look, we've just kicked off the cheese mission. Everything's come together on the way through. Yeah. Off we go to see Simon. Simon says, not going to lie, I had an easier time beating the first glow up than finding all the farmers in Nintendo for this quest. It might just be me though, Lord. No fair call, mate. But you know what? If I can manage to get them all reasonably okay, I'll be wrapped because it'll I kind of feel like I'll make up a little bit from the absolute travesty of just mistiming this other mission here. Oh, where is he though? Simon is everywhere you want to be and nowhere at the same time. He's an elusive criminal, a mastermind, if you there will. You go. Yep. Is that he? No, there'll be one more. <sighs> uh, but he's not included. Mm. He's a shaker. We didn't think. I didn't think it through. I might have just oh, made a good one. Critical mistake. Now what? Well, first of all, 
just give that a bit of call out. Yes, nailed that. Cora. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Every day of the week, that one. Every day of the week. Uh, maybe, go, what if you go back in the inn now? Will there be more people because it's night time? Maybe, and I think that's the key. Is, to, is, it? is it? The key is, oh, I'll tell you my secret sauce on this one. Where's the door? Go down the stairs. Where's the stairs? Oh, there. Um, same Chris, same, oh, so, okay, this is it. No, that's what I would need to thank you guys. Perfect. This is the feedback I wanted. It was a tough time finding them. We've only got two left. I'm, I'm, I'm on target. It's going to be a sensational victory when I pull this off super quick. There isn't a chance that one of them's down the well, is there? Oh. Oh. Is there? There's a, there's always a chance. That's the thing. When you're playing knifey spoony here, or in the back, they've got little back. No, that's true. Um, they've got little back uh, doors and stuff. Some of them got little sheds, I recall. Hello, who are you? You're a kid, lucky. Lucky for you, you can, just, you can stay asleep. Uh, I'm hoping there's a parent in here somewhere because that's quite irresponsible, isn't it? There's no parent. And no adults there. Just got this big house all to yourself. Nothing's us. That's weird. Okay, aha! Uh -huh. No. Okay, well, got an egg out of that. That'll, that'll do. No, nothing there. Kid, kid, kid. Right, where are all the adults in this place going at night? Uh, no. Nope. Mushroom head. Mushroom head. Mushroom head, of course it is. The eternal enemy or bucket head. Okay, ooh, ooh who are yeah. you? Mushroom no, head. you're a mushroom. Oh, so at night time, the mushrooms come out to play. Wait Always a minute. one down the well, yeah. You've already done her. Maybe try down the well. But you could try down the well when you need to go down the well to get to do that other task. True. True, true. You're already there. Good spitballing. You're already Did we go in those houses? No, go in the houses. Aha, see? We're nailing it. Go team. Go team, Smiths. Instantly better. Yeah, like you could sleep to midday. Go down the well and then go up into the shed. Yeah, sleep to midday. Shed. Well, no, well shed. Wait, there's a stair here, wasn't there? <laughs> No Grante-esque situation of someone up at the top. Not today, sir. No one in there. No. Oh, hello, hello. Uh, Froggy. Froggy. Is that That's a kid? Wait, is it? Is it? Oh, yeah. Yes. Wait, it's a kid. Oh, that was lucky for you. Lucky, sir. All right, does the mayor take one? No. No, the mayor did. Go well. back up to the inn. The inn. Oh, to the hotel or whatever. It hotel. Is. Gotcha. And there might be one down the well. No. Should I go down the well or no? Yeah, you have to sleep all day and then go down the well. Because that would be. Because then you can go up to the shed. Yeah. Oh, there's no one in there or anything. No. Good. Oh, what about the shop? What shop? Isn't that a shop over here? Yeah. Didn't check that out. Okay. Oh. Oh. He is. Wow. <laughs> is the Elton John of fashion there, right there? Well, this is a fashion forward family. Uh, yeah. They're leading the fashion stakes. They're all over. Okay. Nothing to see there. Okay. Nothing. No hidden fashionistas there. Why is old Creepazoid? No, it's mushy head, mushy Another head. Another mushy. 
Uh, on a random side note, I'm pretty sure most of the underground vegetation is actually fungi feeding off dead stuff in the depths. I'll go in that house. That's a pretty good, pretty good idea actually. I like that. Get out. Yep, cool. Not requiring sunlight. Very good point. Oh, says the... Where is everybody? Says the math slash science teacher. Well, this was Cece's house, so that was a... Oh. Probably never going to happen, but we're, we're checking out for sure. There's no one he hiding around old uh, creepy no. juice here, no? no Beetle juice, beetle juice. He's, he's drunk the Kool-Aid. Yeah. Mm. Candy. Shrek, shrek, shrek. You hear that, the, I don't know if you heard that, the missus like, um, he's drunk the Kool-Aid, <laughs> which was quite funny. Mushrooms and fungi in general, so wacky. So yes. <laughs> no, I completely agree. Couldn't agree with you more, Chris. Very, um, very interesting organic material, but also um, interesting inclusion in, in the series here as well, which is um, really cool. No, that's the main thing. Yeah, I know, but I can just jump over like this. Amazing. Yeah, efficient. Okay. Okay, so he's now behind the counter. The drunk warrior god is handing out mushrooms at 3 a.m. Now everybody stay calm. <laughs> Nothing to see. It's Uma. Oh no. Leop. Leop. Oh. Get up. Get up. I'm just going to borrow a bed, sir. So. Oh, you're not going to let me out. It's all right. Nothing to see here, folk. Oh. Wait, can I just buy a room? Yeah. Let's do that. Um, wait a minute. When would I want to sleep till noon? Yeah, you said? But then you have to go down the well. To go down the well at noon? Yeah. Yeah. And so if I do noon and then yeah. give, yeah. That's what I was trying to, I'm being efficient. The carrot man. We need carrots too at some point, I'm sure of it. You're good, I got it, I got it. I got it. Okay, excellent. We've got this, we're smashing it out, folks. We've really nailed it. We've bought this. We've bought it back from a rough start, complete train wreck to everything coming together. It's just proof in the pudding that uh, when you're patient, you stick through it. Oh, well, that was a sight. How did you like this off bed, huh? Gee, they're quite the couple, but they're like Romeo and Juliet, really. Carrot man, quick. Where is he? Oh yeah, you're right. Oh. Um, no, maybe he's already up and about. He could be out there. Well, you don't, you don't wait for nobody when you get carrots down that quickly. Alright, go down the well. Uh, you have to go down there. Which, uh, which well is it? If it's the one close to the. Wait, I need to, to get the, carrot to man, don't I? House. Doesn't matter. We don't know where the carrot man's from. Okay. Follow instructions. All right, so the one near the house is that way. That's the water. <laughs> Okay. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Did you check, Did you check the, porch? the porch? Did you check the porch? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh the outside of the area. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, okay. Like up here? Yeah, like the... Oh, there we go. Look Isn't that? that? I thought that was hair, dude. He just oh, popped it is out. Too. Yeah. Is that the porch we mean? I think so. Or the front portico. So there should be a well back there, isn't it? Well, well, or well, well, there. well, there, uh, that there one. we go. There we go. Uh, and Carrot Man, isn't he just like literally around? Oh, wait, mark where the shed is. What? Mark where the shed is. What Because you have to go up into the shed. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So where's the shed? There. That's the shed there. So That's you need the to mark, there. Yeah, so go to the shed. And then mark where it is so that then you can go, yeah. Never give up. Never. Oh, what a classic reference. And then like stamp it. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, that's one of my favorite movies ever. We watched it recently and showed our daughter. It was just like such a great movie. Never give up. Never give, never surrender. By Balthasar's hammer, you shall be avenged. Yes. Okay. No, no. Wait. Okay. I feel like this was the one I was down that earlier. Yes. 
Oh, look at you go, Froggy. Oh, I didn't get him. Yes, got another hot footed frog, which we need that for one of the tasks. Okay. Well, now that actually makes a lot more sense as to why I was down here. I couldn't figure out, I was kind of trying to find stuff down here. And I couldn't figure out for life of me where it was meant to, didn't see, like, felt like it was going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, so this just adds context now. I think I think that's the story of today's stream has been just if the timing isn't right or the the location is not right, you can really sort of go around in circles, literally, as we found out. Now I thought Which it, color was it? it was the blue one, so I need to be going in that direction. And I must there, there's a, there's a, there's a little tree. tunnel, gotcha. Good spot. Great work, go team Smiths. I told you the missus is onto it. Basically, I was telling the guys earlier, I'm like, you just smash it at everything you do, but you're super humble and just like, nah, it's all right. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, I don't even know what I just did. I was clicking that many buttons trying to get through. There we go. Beautiful. Eyeballs are plenty. She's a smart lady. She sure is. She sure is, but what she's even better at is uh, handling just the sheer volume of craziness that comes from uh, me, basically. And just keeping it on track. And so much okay. more. Just okay, the these oh, things. Okay, they're never any fog I know, they're never any. There's another there's one. There's another one. I'll tell you what, you could farm, farm them down here, couldn't you? There we go. <laughs> I've... Wait, I'm gonna be smart. I never ever remember to, oh gosh. Never remember to do this normally, but quick solution here. What the? I said I was gonna be smart. I didn't say I was gonna be technically apt at, uh, yeah. The combination. One more, just use and abuse it. Yep, perfect. Not a problem, sir. Now. Take you. <laughs> what? Oh, I wasn't sure if I actually needed to um needed to use them to zip up later. I was trying to think ahead. Oh. Maybe I should just have double check. It kind of looked like a situation where you needed to just sort of aha. Uh -huh. No, no, yeah, it's not. Oh, you just don't want to be collected, do you? ABC always be collected. Take. Thank you. Typical link, always taking. Oh wait, there's a bubble frog. I need that. No, it's not. Oh, I, that looked like one. Didn't it? Yeah. Hey, oh, thank you. I'm glad it's not just me. It's not. Are we going the right way anymore? I've just lost. I got spun around. I've got, I'm so disoriented. Yeah, no, we're good, we're good. That's the way to go. We, we got drawn... Well, I thought we were supposed to go towards the blue. We are, but it's tricky magoogs. And it's what BPX... Oh, BPX said yeah, in the... Where's um, the stamp gone? Where's the... Where's the shed? Where... Yeah, you're right, actually. Where is the stamp? No, no, no. Where's the marker? All right, it's blue and where did it go? Oh, Jeremy. Oh dear. Wait, where was the shed? Exactly. I got it, I got it. It was over there, I'm sure it was. We must oh, did have- Did you stamp it with the man? Maybe. Did you Wait. man stamp it? Oh, I could have done. You man stamped it. No, that was the bloke who was crouching oh. tiger, hidden dragon. Markers vanish when you get near them. Of course. Oh, good one. Of course. No, of <laughs> Did, course. You weren't even... No, but let's think about this, attention. right? It was Cece's house. If I was coming... I'm about to just blow your mind. Strap in, everybody. If you were coming into the village from that way, we'd get there and that shed, that's the well. You were saying the shed and it's where that pe pink stamp is. Pink stamp. The pink... The pink panther is what we want. Do a stamp, not a marker. 100% agree. But it's the pink stamp. That's what we okay, want. Go to the All right, darn it! We were near a bubble frog. I felt it in my waters. Oh god, there's another bat. 
Yes. No, but that's what BPX was saying as well about um, getting lost under the wells in Hatino in the comment he said to someone, uh, to JK, actually it was about this exact same topic, topic was not to get caught by the, um, and basically should have been leaving a trail of uh, the light up bulbs so you don't get lost, which I didn't follow because I'm like, no, I'm going to smash this out. So there you go. Wait. It takes this long, wait. Wait. No. No. You have to go towards the pink marker. Yeah, I know, but I was just trying to collect that on the way through. Because he's a devious little fish. You didn't know my name. I'm sure I've said my name a billion times. Okay, so you can't go through that way, right? No, but there was a way that way, I think. No. No, but that's what I'm saying. It's confusing. They, they took them forever. They've all been saying it. This is... He announced it. Uh, it's still starting stream too. There you go. It's like right through there. Okay. Okay, so... Here we go. There it is. There. It's there. It is there. It felt like that's where we came through though, didn't it? It is. How is it possible? And how do we get to there? Uh, you wait and see. It's going to be... A little bit of serendipity mix over that way. No, it's not. Maybe I have to keep following it around. Wait, is there more than one well? I, I bet you the pink's not even the well. Is the pink the well? No, it wasn't a well, it was the shed. Oh, in the shed, yeah. Well, maybe it's not. I don't, now I'm doubting myself, but <laughs> no, I feel like it is. Yeah, okay. I feel like it is and I'm, I'm backing myself. Am I laying stamp? I just laid a stamp now. Why? I'm panicking. It's all happening again. There are like six wells in the Tino. No, but it, I'm sure it was the well that was near the shed. This is definitely the well near the shed. Uh, I'm just going to get out then. No, no, no. no stop. I'm, I'm getting out. Stop. What are you to keep going around? No, because if I try and just bust it around and I don't, I've learnt. I've learnt. If I do that and what go the wrong learn? way. What have I learned is that I'll go, nah, nah, I'll be all right, I'll be all right. But all the clues are saying, make sure you've got the marker right first. I'm going to do the opposite of what I would normally do on stream for once and try to go, you can't just, you can't just bash your way through it, but just out of curiosity sake, let's leave that marker there and pretend that that's what it was. And let's see if we were right or not. It doesn't matter if we're right. What matters is, is that the marker is in the right spot. This is how we do it. There's sound. I never even liked that song. Why am I saying it? It's just because it fits the moment, right? Oh, yeah, no, it wasn't it. It wasn't it, see? It was not it. It was, um, there we okay. go. Okay, so. We're now going to make sure it is the right one. Go up to the shed. I thought it was though roughly close because it was Cece's house and he went to a shed. Okay, go up the thingy. Up the thingy. The shed is the shed. There we go. Helping his life get through the lightning temple, aka me doing the temple. Oh, come on now. That's what you're telling everybody with your with Maybe your you should stamp it and put it in here. I'm going to find a way to make sure this is thoroughly marked. That's not it. That's not even where you are. No, I know. I know. I was. I got caught by the flashing light. Sorry. I was just trying to get my stamp thing out. Don't mind me. Nothing to see here. But you have to get it dead on because you have to go up into that little tiny shed. I know. So can't I still do a marker like a stamp? Yeah, do a stamp out. And it's kind of there, right? But I need to, because I can't get it on me because I'm in the way. I'm just going to put one there for now. And then I'm going to move away from the shed. Knowing exactly where it is. Oh, I keep, because I'm not used to the controls again, I keep pressing the wrong button. It's under pressure. Okay, so it it's should that be, little building. It's that little building, right? So I'm going to grab that stamp, delete it. It's overkill, I know, but trust me. Yeah. It's all gonna come together. That goes there. Now, anything that's flashing, any color on screen, it's time to die. You're gone. You're done, sir. No time for you. No time for you either, blue marker. You are also gone. Uh, all right, delete PIM. 
Grixis Archives, hello, how are you going? Good to see you, welcome, and my gosh, get strap in just for amazing gameplay. There's nothing but the best here. There's not another well nearby, is there? Have I just taken you down the wrong well? Well. Taking you down the wrong well. Well, I can't tell you. Well, get it. I see immediately. Hey, there's one down there. I bet you it's that one down there. Do you know Sorry. What? No, but it doesn't matter. That's, that's what it's all about. It's all about getting it right. <laughs> okay. And sometimes two wrongs make a right. I feel like the same well. That, you Is know it what? the same well? The guys were bang on with this. It's an absolute ludicrous nightmare of uh, arrangements. Did and you it's... take the stamp off? No, because when you're near it, it disappears. That's oh. what JK's saying. So you need to have the stamp, and if you do the colour marker, it's a, it's a tricksy situation designed to trip up the hardiest of streamers who don't know what they're doing, like me. So you head towards the pink one now. Okay. We're all over this. Three wrongs. We're going to do it now. Right. Yep. This is the same friggin' well. It's, it feels like the same well. I think they all look similar. That's again. Okay, get ready. Get ready. It's happening. It was there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just right there. Yeah. Yeah, bang. Oh, Hurry that's up. very cool, sir. Not listening. It's not even, is it even midday? You probably needed a fire. Doesn't matter. Oh! oh it was so close though. It was pretty close. You know what? Close enough to What's perfect. The time? It's two o'clock. You're gonna have to get... Oh. oh, I feel like all the worlds are connected except Zelda as well. Oh. Her special little hideaway amongst the frogs. Just, oh, yes, we've got, I pressed the right button for once. Yes. Examine, read. Note towards the new variety of pumpkin reed. I firmly believe that Hatino Village's charm is in the delicious vegetables and milk from our farms, but there's no denying that with these things, they just aren't resonating with the youth nowadays. And I've got no business being mayor if I can't fix that. So I've got, man, kids and their veggies, huh? Oh, no. oh it's all the, the, it's all the rage. Hey, guys, take note. This is, I'm gonna start making YouTube videos and veggies. It's trending. Um, the color, shape, and appearance are based on CC's brand aesthetic, which is popular with the young, <laughs> young folk. <gasps> they, they love their veggies. We've hit a snag, though. It might be a bit before we can achieve our goal of shipping the pumpkins out. Well, well, well. So that that will do, right? We now know enough. Is that? Yeah, we know. There's no need to do anything else here. Just double checking. No. Oh. Hey, wait, can I just go out the door now? Yeah. Yes, okay. Excellent. Now, did that achieve our goal of getting rid of another mushroom? Sure didn't, but we've found out information. Yeah. Now, we need carrot, man. Carrot. Oh, I saw carrots down there. Yes, perfect. It's all coming together. Got it. Carrots are on the way. No, they're, no. they're tomatoes. They're tomatoes. Carrots That's, further down, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe carrots are right there. Maybe they're hiding in plain sight. Have we got that person? Oh, I reckon that's that, up. No. It's confusing. Uma. No, We've it's Uma. Her. Oh, her and um, Carrot Man are interchangeable. They're the same person. Okay. I'm just David in the village. <laughs> Oh, where are you? Where are you, tricky little... Did we talk to Tomato Man? Did we talk to Tomato Man? Tomato Man? Did we talk to a Tomato Man? Tomato? Where's his Tomato Man? I don't know. That was Uma that was there. Yeah, but she's not Tomato Man. <laughs> <laughs> tomato Man. Okay, that was that was Burn Victim. I'm going to call General, him. Yeah, uh, okay. Because she yeah. burned. She where's, burned. The where's the carrots? Where are the carrots growing? Uh, where are the carrots? We'll find out. We'll just get. We just need to get a bit of height. Did you talk to the tomato man? <laughs> Sorry, this is funny. All right, so here's the deal. I don't actually recall seeing carrots growing around here. To be fair, so that's not a big problem. But tomato man. Oh, tomato. We did talk to my tomato man. Carrot, carrot. Aha! I've got it. It's over there. It's you. Maybe. 
No, we will just turn Wait, is around. Is there a dude in the car? No, I feel like it's this dude. Oh yeah. Yes, I got you, Leop. I just felt like a Pokemon and got a shiny. I'm gonna catch them all. Uh, that one's for you, wife. Uh, did you know that we're set to hold an election? Well, yes, we are. Thank you for your story, Leop. That's good times. Uh, is there something you need? Have a shroom, buddy. One more. One down. All right, I'm happy to vote for whatever. Yep, fantastic. All right, sir. So one down. Oh, is that? That's it. CC asked you to give the mushroom. We did it's it. done. Too easy, we did mate. It, we did it. We did it. Yeah. Have, right. a, have a wave, love. So then. So then. Uh, now oh, we. Oh. Now she's got a task. Go. What should I do? Then you have to do her task. Uh oh. She saddled me with so much work when she put me in charge of the mayoral election. It's busy work. Oh. Hello, don't I remember you from before? Oh god, she's lost her memory. Samnesia. <laughs> I'm sorry for all the commotion. It's because all these mushrooms. She can't keep sense of it all. But since we're both involved now, could you give me a little advice? Yep, take the mushroom clothes off and go get a normal outfit. You look boss hog like me. Just get your crunch on. Uh, I should have accepted that. The thing I need is your advice. It's about Cece. Lately, she's been sneaking off. Oh no. Another sneak off in the middle of the night. I don't think it's anything sinister, but the election is so soon and I don't want any, any last minute surprises to hurt her chances. So I'd like you to tell my sister, find out where she's going and what she's been up to and get back to me. Okay. Well, we've been stalking other people in the village so far. Might as well just add another one to the list. Sounds good. Yeah, you are a successful shroom dealer, actually. Yep, yep. Sneaky, so, creepy thief, shroom dealer and stalker. You are the kingpin of the... Yep, there'll be signs up in Atino Village after our short time here, everywhere, just basically going, if you see this man, just avoid like the plague. Uh, Selden. <laughs> Selden. It's like Zeldon. Um, hilarious. All right, so basically middle of the night is the deal. Uh, we need to find out about CC Secret. And when you've got the secret, uh, so we're also going to do that thing with her at the night, but in the meantime, we've just got to give her the information that we've given the shrooms across. It's multiple things, multiple answers and solutions. Okay, so, sorry about that. Uh, so our mama back in 2014 never told anyone. Oh, you full of secrets to your wife. Uh, I believe they're at the eastern entrance. Got them. We've nailed it. Yes. What did I miss? I had my attention turned for a moment. Story of my life. It's uh, all good. You didn't miss too much, but we've got the things together. We're handing them over to Cece, letting her know that uh, we've done the job. And now we've been asked to stalk her in the middle of the night. Sign of gratitude. She gives you a big hearty truffle. Well, there you go. I would have thought I would have got a mushroom from her, but very cool. It's a rare mushroom. Oh, it's a rare mushroom. There you go. Chris would have known that. Chris would have been, yeah, it's, it's a variation of fungi. I, I can feel Chris in the background going, yep, that's correct. Uh, as you're on Team CC, I expect you to eat it and fire yourself up for the mayor election coming up. Not right now, or? Oh, that's a bit weird. Uh, with you getting out my vote, I'm certain those three partisans will see the light. Excellent work, darling, be assured. I shan't forget what you've done. <sighs> Let's just drink in that moment. She's, uh, she's something special. Why do you keep leaning with your hand on your knee? Like, why? What, is that a thing? Is that a new dance? Who does that? It's so weird. Hey, there's a bit of clothing in there. We can't get in there, can we? Fashionable personnel only. Oh, you know what though, genius. Genius level. We can probably get through up, uh, well, well, except we know it's down the shop. So do we need to stamp it? Possibly not, but we'll stamp it anyway. Uh, oh, there's a bit of trick. What if we put the color marker up there for giggles and just try to get out of here and find a well? I'll just click on the wrong thing, champion. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, we're gonna follow her later. In the meantime, though, can we just nip down and just yeah. come back up? 
I'm sure we can somehow. There must be one nearby. Apparently there's a million of them. Can't miss them, they say. That's the cooking pot. I felt like there should have just been one lot right there. And you can't you can't just get the tomatoes either, can you? If you want one, go to the general store. Okay, fine. Just keep putting them out there, buddy. I'm used to harvesting things when I need them. You know me so well. Ah, oh, thanks, Chris. Do you know what? I, I think I think it's a it's a good thing getting to know you guys because it's I can channel it a little bit when it, you know it's kind of like the eighth hero, but and this is probably a bit of uh, hyperbole on my behalf. But think about it like that. You know, you don't have quite the capacity or the powers yourself, but you've got sage people around you. That's why I call them sages in the in the Discord. You've got sage people around you who you are able to channel their strengths and wonderful abilities to help you do what you need to do because technically without the good people around you you are just a bloke trying to smash it out but you're never going to get there without that little bit of guidance from people who know way more than you do and are always good for advice help and Knowledge. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So that's a that's a huge, huge shout out to everybody who just I, I get to hang out with and enjoy along the way. It's amazing. Color marker and a symbol marker. Take that phantom color marker. Fool me once. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are correct. But we are so close. We just need to be. Oh, which the direction was. Just to the right. Oh, except he turned. He's turning on us. Okay, straight ahead is almost where we want to go. It's kind of through there. Uh, I don't. I don't know if we can go this way to get in. Or can we? Which way does that kick back out? I feel like it's getting further away. Orange LED is set on low right now, but the lightning temple might turn to yellow. Ooh. That sounds cool. I'm not quite sure I'm following what that means, though, but I'm, I'm supporting. I'm down like clown. Ooh, clip them, by the way, on the way through. Nothing wrong with that. We'll take that. It's just getting further away. That's not, that's not the way to go. However, that was, I'm just going to take the opportunity because that, that was the way we were going that last time before we turned around and I can't help but feel there'd be something down here worth, worth our time. And uh, it's not going to be that. Okay. Oh, I haven't got a bow. That'll do. Um, Mrs. Oaf is getting it kinda, and funnily enough, uh, she's done more in Tears of the King compared to Breath of the Wild, so TOTK is definitely more beginner friendly. And sorry, I meant LED color is orange. LED light color is orange. Aha. Uh -huh. Color, oh, because I missed the thing from Chris. I mean, I'm trying to fight while I'm reading the chat. And so if I was just swinging at nothing, that's because I'm so confident now with my multitasking, I'm not even looking. Oh, come on. You can do it. Gotcha. Well, oh, yeah. All good. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this up soon too, because I definitely need to. So, just gonna try and make sure we deliver on this promise of at least getting it over the line. Uh, we came through that way, that makes sense. We've got another one of you. All right, just pop that in the face there. That's not a weapon. Uh, we'll just switch to that. You know what, it's taken a while to get the, get the warm up back. And it literally has been a long time since I played, but I feel like I'm starting to, if 
I can remember what the buttons are for a start, that'll, that'll help. That'll help speed things up, wouldn't it? Of course it would. Uh, nothing to see there. Ah. Good on Mrs. Oak, by the way. Getting in, and yeah, look, I think both games are beginner. Like, I mean, I think I'm probably the worst person to talk about what games are better or worse. I think they're they're all different, unique, but also there's things I like about both of them. But there's things I like about every Zelda game that's unique. I, like we were talking about before, like we say Skyward Sword, I really just can't wait to get back into that one when I can. I feel like we just went full circle. That's hilarious. Um, they definitely offer different experiences in some ways, but similar, obviously. And, and a lot of that's going to come down to you know the hardware, the console, game engine, and the fact that it's technically the same sort of um, map basis, but by the by, I think what is, I, I connected with Breath of the Wild in a different way to Tears of the Kingdom, but I can recognize a huge driver in that for me is also my personal situation, um, affects how I will connect with the game. Uh, and sometimes you, uh, if you, I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Sometimes it's not the time that that game quite clicks with you it's later on um and zelda is a classic for that i've found that um some people i've heard it a lot actually where some people have just not really clicked with the zelda game for many years and then suddenly later um they gave it a go or whatever majora's mask great example of one that became a cult classic after the fact but when it was out, I think a lot of people just like it's creepy and weird and didn't like it, you know. Now everyone's like, it's a great game. But funnily enough, for being such a great game, you don't hear as many people have actually played it. Like, I hear a lot of talk, but not as much have played it in full, if that makes sense. It's a bit, a bit unique in that sense, too. Um, but... Um, I think... I think I've heard a lot of people say like they didn't click with one or one of the games and then later on they did. And usually that, that sort of breakdown is um, is just contextual to where you are in life. That was the worst pronunciation of the word of, you'll ever hear. But that was kind of my point that I was trying to make earlier but doing it really poorly. Um, the experience I had with Breath of the Wild, for me, there was a lot of things going on in my life around that time as well. Every reason to not play it actually as well, but I, it came at the right time for the right reasons I felt. And I was glad it did. And I think it helped me to face and, and deal with certain things that I needed to. But then also I was very fortunate later after that to um, see my wife and daughter play it and experience it through their eyes and appreciate it on a complete different level. So my emotional attachment to the Breath of the Wild is through the roof. My attachment to Tears of the Kingdom is very different because um, of my experience leading up to it was a lot of... Um, it was different because of what was happening with the channel and the community and stuff. And my focus was probably... I knew the game would be special and great. I didn't need to... I wasn't worried about it. In fact... Theory wise, I was almost kind of happy for the more time I had <laughs> to not worry about it was good because I'd want to do theory stuff and that. I know Oaf was saying the same thing as well, a few people were. Um, but um, doing it on the stream and that as well has been a, a really interesting thing because it's, it's challenging, but it's, it's been scary and embarrassing, but fun and exciting. It's, it's had a whole, whole different level to it that has been really rewarding as well. But I, I can honestly say I haven't soaked it in as much, which is hilarious from a different standpoint. Like I need to, I know from trying to do the thing with the tips and tricks video that when I went back to the starting area, um, when I went back to the starting area, and did the Sky Island tutorial outside of any stream influence. 
it was a completely different game because I played it like I would play a Zelda game and it was just crazy, crazy, crazy how different it was. Like I couldn't believe, like throughout the streams I've always generally been quite poor in terms of materials and stuff. Um, and yeah, just that doing that Sky Island alone it was like I collected more in that tutorial and I flew through it. I did it in a couple of hours, a lot or like an hour or so. But when I say it took a couple of hours, it's because I collected so much stuff and there were things I didn't even know were there. I took in the story more, I noticed things more and it was just absolutely mind blowing how different the experience was just because it was a different um, interaction and, and different to streaming it versus um, I guess doing it, uh, it on your own speed or in your own way, and that was that was just a tutorial area. So across the whole game, um, for a lot of people, it would be interesting because some people will have taken themselves offline, like I know a couple of mates have, and a good example of, of one is hey, a pumpkin in there. We could probably get CC under. We should probably do that now because it's nearly the middle of the night. Hey, just thinking about that, logically. Um, this down here, is it? Or is it one down further? Nope, it'll be there for sure somewhere. Um, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, sorry. Uh, JK's hopping off. All good, buddy. I'm going to, I'm hopefully going to wrap this up soon. If I can find out where the heck. It wasn't up further, was it? Oh, there we go. Uh, CC Secret is that one. And so, read Secret, we can go back, that's fine. It's every night. Sophie's asked you to tell, it sounds like she's alert to it. Okay, so we're meant to tail her though. And she's alert to the threat. Okay, wait, just go. With um, go with that. So yeah, um, a lot of people, themselves offline and and like i think as i see me the bats popped up there saying um not having the instant online help and guide has made people sort of feel their way through it i think it's got a lot more options as well so that can be a bit overwhelming um other people have gone and smashed it you know like just straight up and were like getting through heaps of the game early days other people i know were taking their time like uh, Tiny just trying to you know really play it thoroughly and solidly um, some people I know in the circles of, of trying to I guess make content whether they were aware of it or not I feel kind of push themselves to get through the story and different things to make content which hide there she is tail her okay Oh, one sec, have we got a, just bear with me, have we got a sneaky, sneaky, dishy, dishy? Yes, we do. Stealth up. You know what, that's what we want. We'll go with that. Maximum stealth, we're as close as we can. All right, let's follow her. We're onto it. Okay, she looks sus. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I agree. The lack of online help in that, because it is so readily available, but that, as you know me about, that's very, uh, that's very very traditional for a Zelda to approach it that way. And, oh, you, and you're referring to the games like, oh, Majora's Mask, oh, for sure, man. <laughs> for sure, actually. I don't know if you were part of the... Um... Okay. Oh, that's... Well, she's gone back into her house. What's the time? It's 5 I feel like we missed it. I think I might have, that can't be right. Sorry, I'm just aware of that has not gone quite right. Bugger. Found her at the wrong side. As you go greens, it feels more appropriate for camo. That's a good point. Um, but yeah, you're 100% right with Majora's Mask. The what, the story that I always think of with that is, is for me, like with Ocarina, the thing with the fish. Um, give him Jabu Jabu the fish. It's just like, 
I get it, but at the same time, I know I can remember that as a kid, just it took me so long to figure that out. And that you had to get the, you know, you had to get the jar from the bottom of Lake Hylia and stuff. It was just, didn't feel like there was much of a clue there. Maybe I, maybe I was just not quite picking up what the game was trying to put down, but for some reason it just felt like I just ran around in circles in Ocarina for such a long time before that clicked. And then when you did, you're like, really? How is that possible? And Majora's Mask, yeah, 100% agree. It had very similar, um, very similar mysteries, but definitely hard gameplay too. Like, um, the Goron Mask is, is, is a classic. I really struggle even on a re more recent playthrough a couple of years ago. I, I got a chance and played it again for a while, and man, trying to guide the Goron Mask, Link, through the sections, particularly towards the end, you know, when you're rolling and you got to change and bounce. Oh my gosh! Actually, yeah, yeah, there's a few things in that that were pretty tough. Okay, I'm still knackered as to how you meant to get down that one spot and come back up. That's still bugging me as well. There's that well. There's two, one, two, mate. No, that's Zelda. Uh, there must must be a way through that one that I'm just missing or you come at it from that side which seems counterintuitive either way I suppose that's not the not the main dish for today what we want to do is get CC so I think what I'll do is make the sensible call which I don't normally do but for the sake of sanity might just sleep till night and then get my follow on with her so we make sure we we know that because i definitely gotta wrap this up soon um but yeah majora's mask had that mystery and just the and the the pressure as well mate remember that the whole three-day cycle thing was just chaos when you first when it was first happening like i don't know about you because you didn't know anything about it but i freaked out I freaked out. I thought I was going to... I thought the whole game... And it did, really. It did for me. Because I, I didn't get it right. Sort of type thing, you know? So it was... Uh, yeah, that was an eye-opener, that game. All right, focus. Focus up, Smiths. Stop talking. Find CC before you lose her. Oh, don't tell me I already have. Uh, let's just try and see if she's already in, in the house, girl. Oh, she's there. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, do you need something? I want a CC hat. Yep. And it shows great personal strength, luxury design. However, this piece is too special. Okay. All right. Unless until I change mine again. Okay. Yeah. Okay, should I show? All right. Cool. So she'll be ready to rock and roll, and we're ready to follow. And the other task was handing back the stuff on old, uh, I don't want to call them creepy, creepy magoozles, but. Or oh, do you reckon I'm pushing the friendship to get up there and back and not lose her? We should put a tracking marker on her, that'd be great. But no, definitely not, she's out. It's time. Get our creep on. Just. Lean against the wall like nothing's happening here. Yes. Stealth mode. Um, me the bat. Yeah, I definitely only had like six NES, SNES games. We just brute forced everything because no internet and the time in the world and limited games. Yeah, I, that was exactly riffing off um, what I was saying. Yeah, it, I can remember saving up and or you, you know, you get some money towards your birthday, save up, doing odd jobs and whatever you could as a kid and you'd maybe get one or two games a year at best, generally one main game and you'd play it till the cows come home. So yeah, getting a Zelda game was a real treat, not just because it was a great game and great story, but because it was, it was thick cake. It was content you could play for a long time. It was a, it was a game they kept on giving. It wasn't just cycling the same level, you know, high score set up so many other games did. I've already lost her. Where'd she go? 
She is a mysterious lady. She did she go up around here? What is that? Hello? Building condemned, do not enter. Oh, I think she's gone in there. Alone at last. Ooh. Yep, yeah, we've got her. She's in there. Okay, now how do we get in? Oh no. Alright. It's, it's not raining, is it? Of course it is. Of course it is. That's alright, we've got the shoot straight up. Oh, we've got it. I can't believe we've got that straight off the bat. That's awesome. Payoff. Okay, check it out. What, what, oh, what you doing? Perfect. I do not believe anybody saw. What are you doing, girl? Is she making clothes? She's got a carrot. What? I enjoy my nightly vegetables, the shine, the lust of the fragrance. Okay, there's luxury dining. And so without further ado, let us tuck in. Oh, she's just having a feed of carrots. Okay, fair enough. There's nothing to worry about, girl. It's just everybody needs to get different vitamins in. Carrots are good for you. Izzy, how are ya? Hello, you came in at a good time. It only took me like five or six hours to get my, my, <laughs> get my rhythm back a little bit. Uh, playing at the moment myself as well, doing the side mission of Gerudo. Good to see. I've got so many side missions I need to do. Gerudo is a great spot and hope you are well. Good to hear from you, my friend. Love that. Yeah, she's getting those carrots down. She's smashing them. This mission was one of my favorites. It is, it's got a good comedy about it. It feels very, I think one of my favorite missions in the game to date, or the one that really got me, aside from the seven heroines, Grudo, but definitely the Yiga. Um, the whole Yiga clan thing was just funny and refreshing to me. I, I enjoyed that, really did. So yeah, this one's got that vibe for sure, for sure. So, okay, so we've got her secret. We need to tell the sister. And we've got his... I wonder if there's a, if you do it in a different order. Is it, I don't know. You know what? Don't tell me. I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to do it. How it happens. So we can tell the sister. There she is. And try not to just transfer up with reversal, weirdly. That's awkward. Okay. Sorry about this. I know it's a tall order asking you to tell my sister, but I'm so nervous about her. Oh, that's sweet. Really, the solo across the way. Need to do the Yig Clan side missions. I saw someone use the power they gave you and I got immediately need to find it. Yeah, actually, I mean, it's cool power for sure. But look, when you do the Yig side mission, Izzy, and I'm not saying like necessarily see the thing in the stream, but you will get to a point for me personally in the, in the Yiga hideout. It's just like a bit of build up as to how the things happen, but there's particularly a diary in there and I was reading the diary and I kid you not, I was in stitches. It just it just had a vibe of, I, I don't know how they could do it with an in-game bit of text in a book that you read, but it was so, it felt like reading a Wile E. Coyote live version of events. It was just hilarious and it just uh, tickled me pink, really did. Uh, her taste is pretty plain. She loves the slow life here in Hitino Village. There you go. She probably told you she came back here because of development or whatever. Um, but the truth is she just wanted to eat the vegetables grown right here in her hometown. Well, just be yourself. Embrace it. Look, be you. Good on you, CC. You, you do you. Don't need to... Those mushrooms are looking a little off for me. So, you know, just embrace the carrot. Or a mixture of fruits or veggies, whatever you want. But, oh, Iron Shroom times 10. Actually, that's great because I haven't got a lot of them in the game so far, so that's good. Can't understand why the two of them just don't work it out. I agree, let's get them together. They can get together like peas and carrots. Or carrots and mushies. Crazy peeps. Actually, maybe we don't... Oh, you know what? I'll probably, probably overthunk the whole other room thing coming up underneath. Maybe when we sort out the thing with Cece, we'll be able to get in that room and get the fashion. See, right time, isn't it? That's what it is. Oh. Yeah, okay, I know not to bother you because it's election time. So again, wrong timing, wrong place. But once we sort out this thing with the election, I've got the funny feeling it's all gonna come together. 
and that makes this stream a, a classic example of a Zelda journey. Albeit, when I say classic, I, I don't mean like, you know, I, I'm kind of leaning real hard into it, but I had a shock and connection at the start issues. You guys hung in there, which was just phenomenal. Couldn't believe that. That was really nice. And then kind of threw, threw my balance. I was also out, out of um, practice and stuff and took me a while to sort of get anything happening in stream. Then we got got one sort of task, started yeah. building some momentum, then just a bit of circling back around like a crazy person. Be right back, Chris. Burr, burr, burr. And then suddenly we got some momentum back, getting some missions done, and now it's, it's, it's sort of come together. It's working. It's good. We've done well. And I say we because once again, it's the same thing. I feel like I say it every stream. It's, I feel like it's a game that's being played by you guys and I'm just a conduit of the controller who's doing a very inept job of what I'm doing, but it's fun doing it with you guys, that's for sure. I could have just asked CC about it directly, but I know he's too hardworking, ah. stubborn. Oh, look at this. People stubborn, too much pride. Just embarrass yourself for a while. You'll get over it. You'll have no shame left. It's all good. <laughs> that's the that's that's the only advice I can give there. Just shame yourself on streams occasionally, and you, you'll be all right. You'll get over it. Good stuff. Uh, I wasn't sure if there was some text there or anything, but okay. So that's done. That's done. And so now between the two of them, can they can they get it together? Will they become something something special? Uh, we've got the thing with the cheesy bit of the election, I assume it will be. Uh, a letter to coin. New signature food. Uh, it was the same thing we were looking at before. White bird's gone. Stone tailors, blah, 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 blah. Is there something about the election? I'm sure there will be. I'm almost certain of it. No, it's Karakar Bazaar. Greedo, like I stay we seeking out the pirate. Maybe I need to kick it off by talking with somebody. Just reading between the lines. That's a men's shelter. Okay. Not anything I can see necessarily as a direct indicator of a objective that we need to hit. And a little great grandfather and pond. We're still should not. Go oh, that's that would sounds a bit of, like could have a bit of emotion to it. So. Cook Goddard is worried about some of that's not Hatino, no, that's all right. Monstrous Collection, it's Battle Talus, no, we're good. I think, I think we're just gonna need to have a bit of a pop out here and something will come up. Possibly actually to do with that creepy stalker guy for some reason, I don't know why. Just seems like he will kick into gear. Okay. Got to get there for, oh look at the kids, they're all happy to get, oh well here we go, it's happened. What colours do I want? There goes the village. You've got to start, I can't decide what clothes to have them, have them die, I just need to figure it out. Let us, uh, listen to us, hemming and whoring over every decision, enjoys the fashion, huh? Okay, so you guys are happy, everyone's out talking, things are coming together, kids are everywhere. Tripping over him. The village has never looked more alive. And Cece's about to give me the hat. Ooh. Only you have the nerve to address the great Cece so casually. Do you need something? I want the hat. Aww. Shows you great personal growth that you can recognize the quality of my most unique, luxurious design. However, the piece, uh, yeah. the only way I part with it is someone, is to find someone meeting my personal approval. Okay, oh, you mean the stock, the clothes uh, this shop used to sell, the Royal Guard and the Highland oh. series. Yes, I disposed of all that. There's no need for the shop stock, anything doesn't matter. Okay, so there, there was the room. Unless and until I change my mind, the shop is now the flat. Okay. No. Before you go, I can see that you started to pay the barest minimum of attention to fashion. Is that Sage's hand 
I detect in your outfit, I always tell someone, when, is it a coach or die shop? So you really didn't, oh. really didn't give me anything there, Cece, as to what to do. Just, just a bit of, um, yeah, I'm, I'm all that in a bag of potato chips. Okay, fair enough. Just, nah, fashionable personnel only, okay. Fair enough. So, there must be something around here. The sister was happy. Yeah, relieved, yeah. Thanks for looking into it. It's too bad that Reed and my sister refused to be honest. If they just talked it out, I agree. But how do we get them to talk it out now? Oh, go right in. Get it? Go right in? Oh, uh, who did her voice acting? It always makes me laugh. I don't know. I don't know, but that's a good one to check into, actually. That's a good call. Ever since CC set up shop in the place across the way, Tina's made a name for itself. Before that, this was a farming community from way back. We're a self-sufficient little bird. We eat and harvest what we sell. I'll tell you what, you haven't lived until you've had it. Oh, I reckon we've got to do the cheese. We've got to get cheesy. Uh, I reckon that's going to be the key. So, you know what? Uh, we'll take everything we can get in this place because we probably need it, including arrows. Oh, I think I cancelled it. Wrong button. That's the one. Okay. Uh, we have, might as well grab some rooms too. One up. Um, OG Oaf and back. Lightning temple puzzles are too hard for Mrs. Oaf. No, they're not. She would have got it. Not too hard for Mrs. Oaf, mate. She's a champ. She'd have it. And I'm still taking my break from playing Zelda games, so I ain't playing. Oh, put your foot down, sir. It won't go down easy if it isn't shit. Izzy, Izzy, well played, well played, well played. I feel like uh, that would have got a round of applause from most most uh, in the in the stands. Who would have heard that one? That would add a track. Oh, I certainly did. Oh. Huh. Yeah, just take everything. I mean, I don't think I need any of this for cheese, but I'm finding that. At the moment, I'll just take whatever stocks I can get of anything. Because I did notice as well that... Uh, I think this harkens back to a tip from Keely about making some vegetarian-type recipes now. I did a Melania bed sleep once, and there was a thing about some sort of meal that didn't look like it had been one that I'd cooked, and I reckon... Uh, you want to have some stock of as much of these vegetable things and that as you get, like just to try and mix up whatever you're cooking to be able to do the Melania upgrades for your horses and stuff as well. Not that I'm a big one for getting around with horses, it's not my exactly my biggest cup of tea, but yeah, you know, we want to keep our horses best, don't we? One, oh no, lose up. Straight back up he goes. I don't think there was anything else in here, but it sounds like we're gonna go see old Radox. That's now the nickname I'm giving him for some reason. Get that cheese quest going. I kinda of thought we had this one in the bag, but never mind. Well, that was, that was all right. A little bit of extra stock, we'll take that. Quite interesting that there was um, highly in shrooms in there when you break it. Yeah, it was carrots that she was in there eating. It's kind of funny. What, what are we going to do to preserve traditions this play? Yeah, do you know what they're doing with this story as well, which I think is genius, is just kind of mimicking a little bit of what's happening in the community. If you're not picking up what they're putting down. This kind of resistance from... I guess uh, an older generation because it feels like the traditions are being broken, but then the younger generation kind of going, well, you know, we want, we want to do things differently or whatever. Um, and nobody's wrong. That that's kind of where I think I come from. A little bit is that it's, you can't tell somebody that how they feel is wrong. Well, you, you can, but I mean, it's inevitably, it's not really going to win you. It's not going to win you many hearts, is it? Um, how we feel, it might not necessarily always make sense to someone else, but it, 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 and it might not be a way that you want to feel or whatever, but unfortunately, 
sometimes it is the way it is and people are going through a journey or learning how to deal with things and you also are growing and learning how to look at things through their perspective so and they do it very well in Zelda games give you those kind of different perspectives that sit nicely in the shades of grey that open up your understanding uh, this is Hyrule Tino's version of gentrification <laughs> well uh, I think I think it's also I think it's just putting different per what they've done for as long as I can remember just putting different personalities out there that aren't typical you know and that that's been the case from Zelda games from way back it's not new um, and you know me the back calling it earlier Majora's Mask classic example it's just you know some wacky personalities in that game but I don't know they're identifiable too in a lot of ways and tackling some some pretty pretty solid issues that or a lot of themes but they are very um, nuanced more more so than they appear on surface level it's uh it's a game you can appreciate at different ages for that reason i think it's kind of really cool i certainly i enjoyed it as a kid i remember it feeling really scary and under pressure and then i think as me the bat said as well it's kind of i think i got over that pretty quick after i realized you you could keep going sort of thing like with the three-day cycle and then it was trying to have trying to balance that and then learn and then fail and learn so you, you kind of got that bread in but we were kind of lucky in that generation i think as well that failing in games was quite common <laughs> if you played zelda 2 that was that was that was how do you not die it was the dark souls before dark souls you know but um yeah for now coming back playing as an adult i think technically my skills aren't as good i don't feel the pressure so much of the three-day cycle and I, because I know how it works and stuff as well, I suppose. But what I do know is that, uh, do, oh, three, yep. Whoops, my bad. We're going to get the acorns. All right, and then he was talking about the forest back here. So let's just pop that there. Um, I do feel the pressure of trying to maximize what Taj can get done in that three day cycle. Not like a speedrun or anything, but you do kind of want to, um, you do kind of want to... Oh, yeah, Reed wants to make the food. It's going to be, uh, is remember the cream melty feeling. Reed thinks smelting... Smelling that aroma might... Yeah, so... Okay, yeah, that's not a problem. Which really, this is going to come back down to getting the acorns. I'm sure of it. Um, <clears throat> but it was okay to fail. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And... And it was okay to fail and you learnt and that was that was it. That was life, wasn't it? You know? And I think that's where Dark Souls really tapped into something in, in the more modern era that maybe had come out of games a little bit because I think it makes sense as well with develop so much going into development cost wise and having bigger teams and having budgets that rival and then exceed AAA movies and Hollywood. I mean, I can remember reading that uh, many years ago, actually, that it got to the point that, you know, more was getting spent on gaming than, than movies. And I remember just thinking that blew my mind. It was a, such a shift in dynamics that you didn't quite ever think would happen growing up in that generation. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay. Well, that's not happening, is it? Oh, it's because it's melting. It's melting. Okay, the ice solution wasn't the best idea. But, um, yeah. I think it makes sense when I think about developers making bigger games, and that's, that's, it was just about a lot of it from coming the bigger and better graphics and that. It makes sense. It was, it was what we wanted and what we would ask for, and then got to a point where then suddenly games are too big, and then people don't want them as big, and then because you're putting so much into development, you want people to finish the game. Makes sense as well, I suppose. Oh, sure. He hasn't been the whole time. 
Neither of them have been. The second there's acorns, he's up. Let me burn that for you. Oh, Chonky, every time. You just, you can't be trusted, bud. And sorry, Reggie, I love you too, but once again, not the time. Not the time to be burning up the materials. We need that. Love your work, but it was a bit sucky. Okay, let's try that. Did I touch that? That's hilarious. Awesome. All right, looks like we've still got two acorns there and we can go get that message in a bottle. Let's see if we can use that and then go get a fish and feed it to Jubby Jubby. I can have a chuckle. May have slightly sunk it with the extra heavy boulder for no particular reason, but yeah, say la bee. Oh, let's just stay on the thing. Can we get it? Oh, not close enough. I can't help it though, those fish are just like right there. Throwing out the temptation. Alright, uh, so Oaf says, I think we should get the concept version of A Link to the Path. I think I missed some stuff earlier, by the way, while I was rambling on. Just double checking. Uh, this is Hyrule Tanner's version of Great and Gentrificate. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think uh, I was. I always like to see what the real world things they're trying to relate to. Oh, I agree, totally, totally easy. Completely agree, and I think there's a lot in, I'm picking up a lot in this game which is tongue in cheek about, for me anyway, I can only speak from my perspective, and I've got to learn to be comfortable with that iteration, but very tongue in cheek iterating on, I think how Nintendo feel we're viewing this franchise. They're kind of holding a mirror up to us a little bit as as the fans a bit, I find. That could be, again, it's my take, but it's a bit tongue-in-cheek. And I, I actually quite appreciate it because it's um, it's not even, in some ways, it's not even subtle to me. It's it's just like having a chuckle and going, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Look at you. And that thing, like I'm saying about the villages, but they did that very much in Breath of the Wild too, as well, with the the different ages and stuff, battling it out. Okay, we just need to get you enough that you're not in the water. Yes, that'll do. Wouldn't it be cool if I could have just collected it and not been in the water when I was doing it? it would have made so much sense. But um, yeah, completely agree. Completely agree. Uh, just scroll that back down while we're trying to do that. Still cut. Yes, we got it. Cool. Ultra hand, ultra instinct. There you go. That's what you've been looking for. It's everything you've ever needed. We got the bottle. Get that going. Now, specialty with mare cheese fermentation. Can't name too early. Okay, we're examining, but come. Oh, there we go. Yep, she's good. She's good. We got it. All right. Failure is always an option. Is failure is always an option? Adam Savage. Very true. Agree. Um, and Oak was saying, "Oh, I missed that. Look at me get my juggle back." Um, I think I still think we should get the concept version of Link to the Past. Me and Moto wanted a futuristic Blade Runner style for that game. Side against it. Shame though. Concept arts were good. Yeah, I mean they've had some cool ideas for games that I reckon still could be done, but. I, I'm a firm believer that an ideas ideas are never wasted in Nintendo. They're just recycled in different ways. They're very good at that and efficient. I've found in what I've seen anyway. Again, I can speak personally, but it's, yeah, it's usually the case. Um, you just get it in a you just get it in a different package, which kind of makes sense, I suppose, when you think of software development stuff. It's what we see is the final product is is very much a, a well, very well executed uh, piece of art, interactive art. So yeah, it makes a lot of sense. If I play my cards right and start making new signature product, uh, it'll be good, not just for our farm, but for the whole village. 100% agree, mention get started. Well, this might've been the key to the cheese, more so than him, gotcha. Well, that was a good outcome. That's worked out well. 
We can't keep that bottle, can we? No, that wasn't the bottle, it's stone. Oh, this timing's not great, because I really, really am going to need to take a break soon, or I'm not going to make it. Oh, no, is he being cheesy? Oh, smashing it apart, you guys. Smashing it out. Alright, so, I don't know... Time-wise is not great. Oh, I'm just juggling. Okay, so... Let's have a think about this for one sec. Bear with me. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to call a quick break now. Um, I will try to be as quick as I can, come back and just try to wrap up this stuff in Tino. So if you guys are happy for hanging around with that, it's great. Uh, if you can't, I completely understand. Just as always, love having you guys here and, and thank you so much. But I'm just going to have a quick break before I finish off any more of this Tino stuff. Just because I'm, I'm hanging for a, a quick break, so to speak. Uh, and I am trying to not push myself to the point where I was earlier. And... Uh, I've also just got to make sure I check on something else that had come up earlier and make sure that's still on track as well. So, uh, thank you for being patient with that. I will be back as soon as I can. Ba -ba -ba -ba.
Well, that's nice music when you get to hear it. Oh, it's okay. I'm just back on stream. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, it's... Sorry, guys. <laughs> My wife thinks I'm talking to her, but she's got headphones on. She's doing some stuff at the moment as well, trying to sort some stuff out. So sorry. Okay, excellent. Good to be back. Okay, and another another problem solved. I know that was probably not great timing for the rest of you, and I apologise, but um, uh, something good happening for somebody uh, just with a couple of bits and pieces uh, quickly organised today, haphazardly in amongst today's stream. A good deed was done, and you didn't didn't know what it was or how it went, but your patience today has been very, very much appreciated by myself because it's definitely made a difference for somebody uh, and something in a situation that they need today. Pretty urgent, so that's a really good thing. So thank you for being patient, I appreciate it. And I'm sure they would 100% say the same thing. Um, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> uh, had a nice hiatus. Uh, no, that was not a hiatus, mate. That was me. Uh, that was me just running uh, and trying to sort out something else quickly, doing the juggle, getting the juggle done. But you know what? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, not to get through the fineries of it, but somebody's had a bit of an issue pop up. Somebody has uh, essentially it's the current world we live in as well. A bit of an online. Uh, issue where they've had somebody doing some very untoward things uh, with their, you know. But uh, I'd summarise by saying, you know, you always try to keep your yourself protected as much with your online identity, and there's some unscrupulous people out there, and and they can cause some real issues for people, real, and that has real life consequences, you know, because it can, it can cause all sorts of troubles. Example of somebody, you know, hacks into your accounts and stuff, or you've got to cancel credit cards, you've got payments, it's a, it's a real nightmare. So just not a good time. Not a good time at all for people. So aside from that, it, take those sorts of situations and uh, things need to be done very quickly uh, and urgently because they can make a big difference on what happens on the other end. Just as an example, that's not the situation I'm referring to specifically, but always a good example of some of the things that can come up that you just gotta, gotta jump on quickly because unfortunately not everyone has the knowledge of that particular thing and what to do. Again, me just labouring what should be a simple conversation to get to the point. But we're back now. I just hypothetically have seen Adrian just, I don't know, for whatever reason, drawn to just sort of head in that direction. But if I was thinking about it, we wanted to crack out the rest of the Tino thing, so I should get onto that. Like a carbon, no, nah, I would say that. But as we're actually back together now, come on, Link, you can do it, son. Just, I don't know why. I've got a feeling there's something at the top of this tree. Probably isn't, but it was worth it. Totes worth it. Glad we made the run. Um, feel better for it, to be honest. 
Okay. So, what did I miss in the chat? Because that's what I'm looking forward to. All right. So, oh, there was a lot. There's a lot happening. Well, this is good stuff. Okay. So, uh, the worst for me was when I was defeating a construct and Toolan blew all the material. Oh, Toolan does it. it. It's either Toolan blowing the materials or it's Chunky, Chunky lighting it up. Um, and I kind of got to a point where I kind of have a giggle, but at the same time I blame myself because I know that I'm pretty sure it's the way I control it or spin the camera, but I've done it so many times that I should be aware of it enough to not let it happen, but I keep doing it and it's just like, man, I'm, I'm gonna learn one day. And uh, it's, it's sort of funny, but not funny at the same time. I think you'd agree. Nope. When you lose your materials and that, you're like, dude, stop burning everything. I know, particularly if it's something you're trying to get as well. Um, and like I say, I guess playing on the stream and stuff, I, I'm a little bit more sensitive to materials. Like I've, I've seen it come up a lot. People are like, why don't you just, surely you've got that to build that or to make that. And it's like, nope, nope, I don't have it. Like when I went to do the Ganon thing was a classic. I just had nothing. I had nothing, nothing in the stocks. Went in, went in like, yeah, I'll be right. But was not right. Not prepared. And not, and... Literally the antithesis of what I set out to do when I started with the idea of doing the stream was like I'm just going to take my time, do things slowly, play the game, collect and show you how I normally do a Zelda game which is make sure you're stocked to the teeth and bucket load of food and materials and RPG classic sort of approach where you just chock full of uh, all the upgrades you need to get through the game. Instead I didn't do that at all. Paid the price. Hilarious. Um... What kind of gun would the master gun be? Oh, JK was there for long. He's a good, good man, JK. Love you, mate. Uh, I'm sure people have done it, looked through. Oh, what was that? Sorry, I did miss more. We love, we have a love-hate relationship. Yes, I'd agree there. The worst, yeah, well, that was the thing. It ain't easy being cheap. We've got that. It's the blaster of it. <laughs> nicely done, the master gun. I'm sure people have done it, looked through the code, but how cool... Would a paraglider or something be for befriending all the dogs in Hyrule? Yeah, that's, yeah. There's, there's... I don't know how I'm going to do this particular thing, but there was a funny thing I would organise for a podcast, and I don't know if I'm going to do that thing now, how I was going to do it, but I need, I need to put it out somewhere or something. And it actually relates to that very topic, funnily enough. And again, not to be overly cryptic about it, but it's funny you should mention that. Because, uh... Yeah, it was very topical on something I've been looking at over the weekend where I had the opportunity. A very interesting thing. I feel like there should be more up here on my just off chops with that. Maybe I already collected whatever was here. I just thought there would have been something a little bit more. Well, there you go. Expectations effectually subverted. Get on with the job, they say. So... Uh, back to the chat, what do we got? Uh, I'm sure people, yep, that's what Jaco's saying. Gear for long haul, it's top chat. And what kind of gun would the master gun be? A shotgun. It'd be, it, oh, you know, it'd be, it'd be like a shotgun with, it'd be Zelda cool, right? It'd be a shotgun with a crossbow underneath it. Just so you can something like that it's, I reckon I could do better than that but yeah something something of that calibre oh I didn't even mean the pun but it just happened sometimes it's just meant to be oh is that a cave and I just completely ignored it uh I did have I been in here before uh, apparently I have because I can see a tip so you should be alright maybe I'll leave, give that a miss don't need to do that then I haven't got a Oh, there you go. I even got a thing here. That's how much I'm up to date with what I'm doing. What a champ. Have I got enough thing to give him... Yeah, he wanted three acorns, so... I think I should have that in the bag now. Any luck? Acorns. When you search by type... What am I on? I can't see because the overlay type. There we go. You would have thought acorns would be in the food section. The food variety. There we go. Acorns, three. 
Do you know what is surprising is how I didn't have three acorns? Because normally I've got tons. Oh, but I was probably cooking them up to use, get them out of the inventory. I'm surprised I didn't. I've normally got tons of them. But I think I think I'd made a lot of sauteed nuts. Actually, test that hypothesis. And click the wrong button. Champion effort. No, no evidence of the sauteed nuts, but I do remember making some, so that's hilarious. Good value there. What a waste of the master sword, but keeping things moving. Okay. Um Zelda music is so relaxing. Oh man. I actually I really want to do a Zelda playlist myself, just with some some music in the background. I've, I've had a few that I've got, I've done for like us privately, but not one I've put them like with the sweeping visual camera stuff and that that I like to do when I do video. I just get King Collector. He's done it. He's made it happen. Um, but I'd like to put one out on the channel, but I feel like it'll probably tick people off because it'd be like, oh, that's not a theory. But I'd love to put a couple of the playlists out there, just not for, not so much for the view perspective, just for the music to listen to type thing. So, I totally get that. Actually, the guys on the Discord have been sharing some Zelda playlists that have been pretty good too, so. If you're on there, well, well worth checking out if you're not sure. But I know Dan had a couple as well. Always good value those things. Worth worth your time. There's just some great mu there's just some great music in the Zelda community. Period. I know on the weekend the missus and I were we had a big day of a lot of things to do, and we started off just warming up with a bit of classic Zelda stuff. But then we got we ripped into the genre of heavy metal Zelda. Zelda and it was awesome because heavy metal heavy metal zelda crosses like about i reckon 10 different categories at least like from prog rock to just thrash and that's insane just insane i'm not gonna read that now we'll do that later nothing of essence there essence wetness didn't necessarily need to do this but while we're up might as well well, that was a big shadow going across there, but it might just be... Is there that, eh? It's not a dragon, though. I assume it's just the clouds. How bizarre. Pretty cool. Love this game. So, completes agree with the Zelda music. Absolute joy to listen to. The rain. Just, you know what? The visuals in this thing, like, and just having the environment and the music is just... It's an absolute treat. Treat for the senses gorgeous and I don't get enough of it in my life I really need I think that's why I was so stoked to get it back into a stream because this as I've said to you guys before and I, I, you know, I'm not lying about it it is literally this is my this is my downtime of gaming when I'm on this stream and I love it I just never have a bad day playing Zelda games that's for sure hey mind you you can't embarrass the crap out of yourself by completely failing on all sorts of levels but yeah, that's still a pretty good day to have. Um, uh, had a, Chris had to help daughter to sleep. Oh, good on you. Good on you, mate. That's a good thing to do. I have been trying to make a very avid effort to spend as much time as I can with my daughter where, I, where she could or where she needs it at the moment as well this weekend because with work, I, I, sometimes I'm not there as much as I'd like to be. And they grow up so quick. So it's good on you for taking the time and getting in there, mate. It's one of life's true joys. Absolute magic. Um, JK. Uh, yeah, right there with you. Though I still had to press up on the D-pad to change abilities, so I don't expect much to change. Yep. Come to think of it, Hyrule has fun powder since there are cannons on top. Come to think of it, Hyrule has fun powder. Fun powder since you, since there are cannons on top of a car. Oh, of a I didn't read the next bit. Or gunpowder. Yeah, yeah. There'd have to be some variation of it or how that would work. Doesn't the guy in Kakariko in Twilight Princess have barrels in his store? 100% the bomb guy. Um, 
You have exactly three acorns. We're on track. Cool. And I've caught up on the chat reasonably well. If I've missed anyone or anything, I'm really sorry. I hope I've got most of it. Oh, uh, as he said, uh, play Le Legend of Zelda Lo-Fi. People love it. Good stuff, mate. Oh, that's awesome. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, such a such an eclectic um, mix of music, but seems to always appeal to people. Um, and I think that's just a real tribute to, and, and I think it's part of the, you know, again, talking from the, the I've got to stop saying theory, I guess just talking from the, the game aspect of Zelda. When people sort of say that to me, and, and again, this, I can only say it's my perspective. When people say that Nintendo don't care, or they're just bashing it out, and they don't, you know, don't care about this or whatever, I'm kind of like, if you're looking at what's happening just with the music alone in it, in each game, um, the amount of care and diligence that goes into um, the music and the little nuances on how tracks are referenced or subtle things like fees theme you know would pop up in something can you know that that's referencing her role in that particular aspect of the game um even down to oh i noticed one the other day um oh in that short thing i had there was oh that's right when i did the hatino house um i picked up that it's the sort of in the house music or like um home music for a typical Zelda game, but it was slowed down a lot. But it, you could pick it up, it was the exact same sort of uh, melody line. And it was it was just magic. And I, I pointed out to them this, I'm like, oh my God, it's the, it's the same song, you can hear it. And I was sort of trying to point it out because it's just, just such a pleasure. Um, because that that was one of that's on one of my Zelda playlists and and we both like that track. And like, oh, this is that song and we would listen to it like not that long before, so it was really cool, really cool. And I dare say some of those connections with the music go a lot deeper than that too. In fact, there is one of the theories that I'm working on at the moment involves something to do with a piece of Zelda music in particular and uh, some other things that are happening. <laughs> And it's, it's in, I put that in the, in the take that with the pinch of salt pole because I have to do a lot more behind that to actually establish if what I think is there is anything. Um, but it, it, it certainly has the appearance at the moment of looking like something really intriguing to look into. And, you know, theory-wise or whatever you want to call it, for me, I love looking into that stuff when I get the time just because it's quite rewarding. Sometimes it's rewarding if you find nothing, but at least you've sort of validated it for yourself, if that makes sense. It's always really cool. I've carried a lot of it through the game. Yeah, or through the games, exactly, exactly. For sure. They've, they, there's been a lot of consistent callbacks and references, um, even if they weren't, uh, if they were a rearrangement of a classic tune, but for a different scenario is just been so brilliantly done i completely agree with you completely agree it's just i find it hard to see that and then not not think that they it's not saying that people are wrong you know if they say oh they don't care you know you can have your opinion that's fine and how you feel is valid just as mine is but for me i i can't help but feel that that shows a lot of passion and care in what you're doing if you're you go to the lengths to sort of weave that artistry throughout. I think Chris is much better at saying this kind of stuff for me. It's that, it's that elegance and beauty I'm finding in, in the Japanese culture um, and what, what I'm picking up in terms of how uh, the storytelling aspects of the game are being handled. It's just absolutely just on a whole nother level of immersion that a lot of it's so subtle uh, you could easily miss it. I think my issue here is I need to give the guy the acorns and I'm still sitting on the wrong thing. And I'm just realising that uh, that would be a huge part of my problem. Where's acorn dude? Where are the wells? Uh, you know what, I know where he was, he was at the farm. 
so I don't know why I've actually managed to get on the wrong thing. Probably because I'm yabbering along. Romanticizing Zelda again. Romancing the Zelda, so to speak. This, this, uh, Hatino track's just classic. It fits in the rotation very nicely. Um, and, oh gosh, there's still so many songs in, in a lot of the games that I don't think a lot of people maybe have heard, depending on what games they've played, which is always exciting when they hear it and they're like, oh, I like that song, what is it? And you get to share that, it's really, really cool. Okay, so I think we need to get up towards the farm, but I feel like we're kind of in the bear. Should be that one there. That should be our... Yep, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, now where is my friend? There you go. Hello, pal. Night had seen no theme is hands down my fave in TOTK. Yeah, it, there's so many, so many bangers, isn't there? Um, there's a couple which so far in the game, because again, I, I can't say I've experienced a lot of it, and a lot of it I kind of missed, I think, just pushing through. It's nice to hear Cass's tunes too. Yes, that's another, another nuanced reference. The dragon themes, pretty much. Look at it, yeah, just... I, I, I know that there's been at least a couple that are, I'm sure, are different to what I've heard. Like, they sound like a newer kind of melody or line, and I've, I've just sort of, I haven't noted anything down, but I've just been aware of, like, I need to play whatever part of the game that was where that happened, because it, it was a new track or it was a new piece, and I haven't heard it, so I was just have have been mindful of that as I've been yeah. playing the game. But down in the Spirit Temple, there was a couple, I think, that really stuck out as well. Did I not? I thought I had three acorns. Uh, what? Did I do something wrong? You said you've got exactly three acorns. I thought I had three acorns. Did I just yammer on like a pork chop and make a... I must have done something wrong. I've got nothing in my inventory. That's weird. Oh, I'm so sorry. What have I... I wonder if I can... I, don't... I wouldn't normally do this, but surely... Have I got a save game? I mean, I can go get more. That's not a problem, but... I feel like I somehow just lost a bunch of acorns for no particular reason. I didn't eat them, I wasn't aware of that. That's so weird. Now that shrine, I had a break. 10.40, okay, do you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go there. I know it's crazy, but I'm not gonna mess around. Did you eat? No, I didn't think I did, but it's pot, look it. Chris, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I am, uh, I'm having a run of late of just really bizarre technical or weird things happening, which, you know, that by the by, I think that's life. That's how it goes, but that's not really a surprise. There's always an explanation for things, but just really left field, like what? Well, there was one yesterday that was, um, my mo got me talking about stuff, so all good, buddy. No, I, I had one yesterday and I kid you not, without going in and outs. It was with a piece of software and it was trying to just put exactly what we're talking about with music and it was trying to put a piece of music on repeat. <laughs> Do you think I'd be getting any visitors this rain if it isn't an acorn boy? Around this farm, you're a VIP as I'm concerned. Here, here are some acorns. Well, there we go. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that that task is done. The acorn task. Okay, maybe maybe I did hand it to him and he just gave me the milk and I just clicked through it. I must have. It wouldn't surprise me. I was too busy yammering away. My, I'd definitely blame myself there. Um, right, so we've got the creamy, melty mouthfeed. Rethink smelling that aroma again might help. Now, that had something to do with we did the letter. Yeah, I should come to the house. Okay, 
check. Let's just get in the sequence. Do the cows eat food? I don't know if anyone's really getting into feeding cows or anything, but I'm a bit of a feeder. Probably a bad thing to do, but you hungry? You're so close to looking. Oh, come on. You hungry, little man? No. What, what would you eat? What a cow. cow or cows eat grass, don't they, really? Oh, cork leaf. Okay, off topic. Getting distracted, but there you go. Get some of that into you. Oh, you know what? Disdain. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, we tried. Can only try, mate. Can only try. I wonder what they do eat. That's uh, something for me to figure out. He's a little doggy. There you go. Eat up. Oh, I picked it up. Sorry. My bad. Get in there. Grab a feed. You too. Can't be sitting out here in the cold rain not getting any food. There you go, buddy. Good doggy. Any more? No. There right. Okay, cool. Back to the house and give her the recipe. Ooh, it's the it's the mushroom crew. Okay. Good evening, traveler. That's an outfit, hey. That's, sorry, but can this wait? Um, they, these are my best clothes, so I really need to get them somewhat dry. Oh, you go for it. Sorry, I thought you were part of the task or something, mate. Sitting there quite, sp oh, that personal space link. Just, just get out of her face. That's a bit too close. Maybe the bat, lol. <laughs> I call it Hatina G's, yes. All right, cool. The message that my great grandpa left behind had the recipe. It's springy on the outside, but melty on the inside, and so delicious you think you're dreaming. Aww. It ain't easy if you're cheesy. Oh, wait, it goes down. I, I ruined it. Ruined it immediately. Sorry, guys. But back to the reason I called you here. It's well, you know. Anyway, consider this my thanks. Go and take it. Excellent. Fuse power of one. I wonder what happens to that with the. Uh, Fusion, it probably does absolutely nothing, but they, it wouldn't surprise me if I had some weird sort of application. Uh, a cheese made from Hatino's cow, Hatino cow's milk. Add it to warm to a warm dish and enjoy its rich flavor and melty texture. Yeah. As I understand it, great grandpa worked with the mayor back then on this Hatino cheese to put our village on the map. How interesting. Now that's a bit of lore that, you know, would be cool to look into as well just for fun but it was ahead of its time the villagers rejected it oh he was a david bowie of the food world having eaten this i think they're nuts and now it's time for tina cheese to make a splash in the culinary culinary world i completely agree i'm sick of fashion getting all the attention lately it's really calling uh it's really eating into our business what if you threw cheese in a boca camp and stunk the place up i wonder if the boca would eat it I mean, honestly, I, I could have fun with so many of the things in this game just randomly out of my own curiosity. That would be one of them, seeing who eats cheese and who doesn't. It would be really cool, actually. And like I said, the fusion stuff, like what, what would the fusion be like? Next step is to get those folks over at the general store to start stocking it. Agree. That reminds me, you won't get this offer anywhere else, but around here I'll give you some for fresh milk instead of rupees. I'll make the dream my great grandpa gave up on come true, and then this farm will be busier than ever in the bargain. So you'll come and visit me again, right? Excellent. Cool. What if uh, when cheese was added to this game, I was hit with the nostalgia of Yedo, Yedo the Yeti? <laughs> yeah, I'd watch that. Uh, uh, this is good. Sounds like a good idea for sure. Yeah. You know what? We go, is it is it worth I have a go of time actually just let me I've, I've got to keep my eye on the ball on something else because technically I'm sort of juggling some work stuff as well just in case but I made sure to smash that out beforehand because get the job done first all right so yep we're good she's good I reckon it's worth a go we'll give it a crack and look it doesn't have to be for sure just for us to have fun see what it looks like this might sound like a out of the blue, but do you want some Matino cheese? Yes, we'd love some. We want as much as we can get. 
And don't worry uh, if you can't afford it, I'll accept fresh milk as a trade. Well, I've been buying milk up everywhere I can go. Uh, so let's roll. Uh, can I do it in bulk? Uh, it's only a one woman cheese making operate. Oh, fair cop, fair cop. But as long as you like and uh, buy to your heart's content, okay. Ah. I have things to sell, that's cool. Um, but can I get more? Ah. Okay, oh, so you can do the, I wonder how long I can do. Ah. Ooh, okay. I don't even know how many bottles of milk I've got, but. Let's go. Cheese it up. Let's get cheesy. That's not something I thought I was going to say today. Good choice. Presenting a chunk of thick, rich, thick, rich, highly nutritious and absolutely unbeatable Tino cheese. She loves it. I love the cheese too. It's great. Let's get it gum. Get as much of it as we can. Sounds like we may need it for a bit of experimentation as well. So. Yep. Cool. Go for it. They should have put one milkable cow down as, as well for funsies. Yes. Actually, how do we know there isn't? <gasps> I missed opportunity. Ah. The bottle. The bottle, Chris. You know, when we got the letter out, it was right there. <laughs> the opportunity was right there, I think. Well, except with the cutscene did it disappear after. I didn't see it. But maybe there was an opportunity there. I, w I wouldn't be shocked. No, think about it. Remember we, we for her, we fished out the bottle with the, the note in it. It was the very ocarina of time. And it was like I was saying, the thing to get the letter where you meant to get it, it's meant to be done by. Um, oh, God. Uh, you know, the princess and that was, and you did that, but the bottle... Uh, you get the note and then you show that to the Zora King, but at the same time, that would give you a bottle that you could then milk the cow with. And this is the lady who we're trading milk for. Like, it seems it's either a really cool reference and that's it, or it's something and it could be done. Either way, though, I think I may have missed the boat because I don't know, though. I don't know if the thing just disappeared. I mean... Again, rabbit hole for no particular reason, but it's interesting to me. I'd be down to find out. I just don't know how to find out, but it'd be pretty interesting, I think. I, I swear though, I'm pretty sure that bottle was gone after I did it. I felt like it was. I think I'm out of milk. That's all right, we're good. We don't have... I don't have anything, wait. I've got warm milk there too. If you're in the markets, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, we're leaving already, okay. So, I swear there was no bottle out there, but, I don't know, look. To be fair, I think it's more of a reference and I'm probably reading into it and I've kind of strung you guys along with way too much stuff already, but this is kind of intriguing. The, again, this is, this would be a prime example. Ooh, 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 ooh. Recipe, check. Oh, wrong button, honestly. I'm just getting excited. It's like a kid in a candy shop. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it's tomato. Uh, that's wheat, I assume, and cheese. Tomato, wheat, and cheese. It's like a pizza type thing. Cool. What other little hidden references we got here? Uh, well, there is Lon Lon Ranch Ruins. There is, my friend. And they should put a well beneath Lon Lon. Maybe there is. Maybe there's a hidden one. But I don't know. How do I not know? What? Pizza? How do I not know? Well, we do now. We're about to make it, mate. It's about to happen. Wait, what was that? Talk. Oh. <laughs> Talk. I'm getting all excited. Oh, so you trade him more acorns. Oh, okay. The, the cycle. It's the Ouroboros of the pizza world. We've done it. 
We've done it again. Okay, I'm just, I know it's stupid, right? But I'm just making sure there's nothing in this place we can't, like, you know, move or shift, because that would be, that would be so cool. Like, just a weird little, weird little, um, inflection. Oh, so they're just flowers. Oh, that's cute. Cute drawn flowers. Okay, cheese. There, it's got ancient Hylian. There's a cheese logo. Um, wait, if pizza is tomato, cheese, and wheat, could you add more toppings like like mush and meat? I believe you. I believe we will be able to. Yes, we can experiment and find out immediately. Except I don't want to light these poor chooks on fire, but this could work out badly. I'm generally not the most accurate with a fire weapon, but there we go. That'll do. Please tell me I've got wheat. No, no wheat. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. This is revolutionary. Mushrooms. Uh, try salmon, cheese, and pumpkin. Wait, okay, we've got a lot, we've got a lot on. Uh, me the bait, you're saying mushrooms. Um, like mushroom meat, mushrooms. I believe that's what you're referencing, but. I need to get wheat. Now, I bought everything that that trader had to offer here. Wheat. I swear there's no wheat in the other blah, blah, blah. It'll be Rito. Oh, got excited. Rito will have wheat. Oh, I'm onto it. So it's so easy onto it too. Yeah, I knew Rito would have wheat because that's where generally you're going to be making. Um, oh, I just know it just traditionally had wheat. It was one where I would get it for too. And there's somewhere else I think you can get it. Interesting. Salmon, cheese, and pumpkin. Interesting. Okay, well, we've got a few things to try here. So let's just step it out. And by the way, hilariously, we've gone completely off track again with the task at hand. But, you know, sometimes you just got to be in it to win it. Or not in it to win it. Is that more the... You got to be out of it. You got to be out of the zone to be in the zone. Oh, can we just get a cheeky little... Come on, you can do it. Yeah, come on. Ah, oh, there's a sweet spot there. Got it. It's way harder to get wheat from cutting grass. Yes, it is. I've found, yes, I completely agree. Completely agree. Oh, and sugar cane too. We need that. We need all of it. We need all your foods. All your food bases are mine. Cane sugar, yes, please. We'll take the butter. Same here, I agree with that. I came back into us making a pizza. It sounds like a delicious sidetrack. Oh, we've got more than that coming on. We're gonna make some pizza. We're also gonna see if, we're gonna see what happens if we try to lure some bokoblins with some cheese. Or not lure them, but just see if they, they'll go for it. Cause I reckon they'll eat it. I reckon they'll smash it. The question is, is what won't smash cheese? Hey, some people create vehicles. We can make food. Exactly, exactly. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a Zonai builder. I'm a food maker. <laughs> I'm a distraction, I'm a distraction king. I, I don't know how to do, I don't know how to do things properly, but I know how to do them not properly. Really badly. Actually, what's this recipe stuff? Hot buttered apple, nut cake, fish pie. Yeah. This is gross, but okay. Actually, we should probably take note of some of those recipes, but I'm too excited. Can we, it doesn't like put it into your thing, does it? Okay, you know what? We're gonna let you be. We'll come back about, we'll come back to that for another day. We've got some recipes to make. Yawn, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Tight, okay. Now, just hypothetically, 
Let's get serious. I got cheese. Hey, just randomly. Oh look, there's cheese. No interested? No. Cree doesn't want it. Okay. No, it makes complete sense to me. Cree, you're not, you're not a cheese lover. I get it. Not everyone can have the taste that us cheesy people do. Okay, so it was cheese, wheat, and tomato was the first recipe they gave us. Cook. Right, checkmate. Get into it. Boom. Pizza. Highly in tomato pizza. A pizza made, oh, look at that. That's all right. Pizza made with fresh highly in tomato, slices of melty Atino cheese make it irresistible. Check, check, checkity check. Okay, so uh, it also took me, wait, wait, I missed stuff in there. Uh, okay, I do love track that have made that collect the wheat as you drive around and cut. Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't know that. Literally in the kitchen right now making smoke good, thanks to Zelda. That's hilarious. It also took me forever to realize you can check recipes you made with what uh, items you need. I actually found it on accident. Yeah, I, I completely forget about it. I have seen it, but I forget about it as well. Smoked Gouda is amazing. Cheesecake. Ooh, okay. So, yes, cheesecake is... I'm going for it. Just because that's, that's random enough to work. So, if I was making monster cake, it would be wheat. I don't have... You don't need milk, do you? Wheat, egg, cane sugar, butter, and it would be monster, but we're going to do cheese. Okay. Cook. Oh, I can't carry any more meals. Hilarious. <laughs> As I've got monster cake. Um, right. Wait. Wait, wait. Calm your farm. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Just think this through. Don't just be crazy. Nah, be crazy. Be super crazy. Get rid of those meals. We haven't got time for this. Nobody got time for that. Okay, uh, you can go. Yep, that'll do. There's at least two meals. Right, back to the cooking. Cheese. Wheat. Butter. Yep, sugar cane. That's five. Five out of five. We're in. Cheesecake. Make it rain. Oh, look at him. He knows it's about to happen. Egg tart. Oh, that's that's a that's a ten four no no. That's not going to work. But it was a great idea. I thought it, I thought it was a winner. Okay. So, what was the one that will go at least one more? Uh, there was one that. Uh, came up earlier I heard try salmon cheese and pumpkin Ooh. I mean not personally for my taste but I'm down to give it a shot okay cheese salmon do I have one no I don't but I can go get one and pumpkin do I have a pumpkin uh, they say yes cool all right let me go get let me go get a salmon Uh, wrong way, wrong way. Go get the salmon. Uh, just get the chat back as well. Okay, I'd like to see a series of Chef Journey and Hyrule. Do you know what? I could, I could absolutely, hey baby, I could absolutely, I could honestly just stream this game all day, bro every day talking about it and do all sort of games and just talk about it and get excited about it. A hundred percent. Could do it all day, every day. Love it. Do you know, I, I think, again, I've said this story so many times, I think before, so apologies, but the one where they're saying about with, with the development, and it, it always gets me where they let um, Shigzy have a run with it in game and they like, Put some, put some rupees up the top of trees so he could like climb up and discover them and that. And they expected him to do all this other stuff, but he just kept climbing trees. Is 100% me. That is me through and through. I've spent so much time in this game. I, I can't even tell you how many times 
I've just spent climbing trees or blowing up trees or just watching stuff move. It's probably a little bit OTT, but not a moment wasted. So much fun. Okay, stamina cat. No, that's not what we wanted. The, I think I went the wrong spot. Sorry, I am letting you down, buddy. I thought it was one of the, it's one of the ponds. Maybe it's a bit further down. Uh, over there, perhaps. There's a bit of water, um, by the looks of it, is it? Or am I just miraging? I feel like I miraged that. I thought that was definitely the hardy salmon here somewhere. Must be losing it. Uh, okay, um, what was that? Uh, oh, I missed stuff. Me the bat, yes. Smoke. What was that? Cheesecake. Did I miss something there? Me the bat, yes. Chris, gonna have to try that bat. Yes, put some on my sem Oh, amazing as sauce. Oh, so that was the, oh, gotcha. Yes, I see. Um, very nicely played. I wonder if it's an Easter egg. Ah, uh, nice. Salmon used to be there, but now bass, that's weird. Yeah, but I think there is still salmon there. I'm sure there was. I must be off. I must be off my rocker. Maybe I didn't do it right. I know that you had to get salmon still, surely. There was there was a recipe, I'm sure there was. I must have missed it. It's not that spot. I think it's just a similar spot, but different. Like, it's like everything to the kingdom. It's slightly similar, but not quite the same. Salmon are in the flight range waters in this game. Okay. All right. Well, we can definitely hammer that. I just, yeah, I thought I had noticed some up here too, but apparently not. All right, flight range it is. No skin off our nose. We'll make it rain. Okay, flight range is over there. Yep. There's no immediate fast travel. I mean, take that, just fly it down from there. That'll do it. Let's make it range. Let me make it range. Okay. Just keep an eye on something else there. Cool. All right, so uh, we got one recipe out of the cheese. Another one didn't work, but I guarantee there'll be other recipes for sure. Um, I'm just thinking of what I still, I st and you know what, we've actually gone a, a little bit off track, but I still reckon there's something to do with that thing with the, um, oh, tree branch, loser. I think there's something to do with that whole finding the note and the glass bottle and the cows there. I can almost guarantee there'd be something interesting with the cows there. Which is hilarious because I was trying to feed it the the um, the core up front beforehand, just randomly, not because I was thinking ahead or anything, just because I'm like I like to feed the animals. I'd be surprised a lot of them do ha have a nibble at something, but or will come up around it. It looks like there's some sort of mechanical response to it, which is cool, um, but. Those cows are definitely quite unique, so in the game, so you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me if there's a little Easter egg in there somewhere to be found. It'd be a bit fun. All right, but I've got to try and just keep eye on the prize. So at the flight range, eh? Down in the waters, I assume is what you're talking about there, Mr. Oaf. Add other toppings to the pizza, of course. Me the bat, of course. Simplicity itself. Oh, okay. Get down there. I'm not the best at navigating the old freezing water, so I'm just trying to get an indication. Maybe, maybe just play the odds touch. Oh. Got myself, fair cop, bound to happen. Didn't even hit the water, what a legend. Uh, 
Oh, finding him though, hey? I don't think that highlights him anyway. Oh, come on now. Aha! Win a winner? Win a winner chicken dinner. We got one. We only need one, right? One will do. I'm good with that. We've got some other things to try. In Japan, I had a tuna corn and mayo topped pizza. Anyone have a stranger combo? Not my life, mate. But I'm going to be... I'm going to... Oh, I shouldn't do it, though. I'm going to step out of... My usual... Uh... Uh, secrecy about certain things and say that with the sheer amount of things that have been going on and volume of work and that, that I've had there's been a bit of uh, discussion around having a holiday because I haven't had one in uh, it was discussed in circles the other day of over six years I think <laughs> and I don't really take much time off with work either over shutdowns and stuff so um, they're talking about maybe doing a holiday and we're talking about uh, what we could do and Japan is something I've put very much on the table as something to go to not for a long one but hopefully because it would just be amazing to go and so yes uh, needless to say Mr Chris um, I wanted to flag that with you as um, I might hit you up for some tips or tricks or you know I can't guarantee what I'll be doing or where I'll be going but as always, uh, you know, I know you, I value your opinion and input. So, yeah, haven't had a holiday vacation since 2009. No, fair enough, mate. That's, that's a long time. Long time. That's much longer than me then. Uh, Chris could be, <laughs> you know, I, I don't think you'd want that, but I, you know, just obviously, um, you know, you'd know that the, uh, it, it's going to be, it won't be anything OTT. I'm not, it's not, I'm not a person who gets out that much. So she, any, any time I've usually been on holiday somewhere, it's a bit of a, a blur in terms of just try to fit in as much as you can in a little bit of time. Um, but always a lot of fun and stinking milk, milk, milk was back. Actually, we'll just head back here because we know we can get more milk there too. Uh, there wasn't necessarily any other recipe that we were thinking of. I think we're good. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that that sounds good. Okay, so yeah. Um, and with the other toppings, we were talking mushroom and... Uh, well, we'll try the same one first. And it was mushy or, like, or meat or something like that. Which is totally doable. I reckon we'll try and play it safe with one first. See if we can get that. I, I wouldn't mind betting if you added in, if you do like a golden apple or something too. I reckon you probably get something a bit specky perhaps. Who knows? Who knows what we've got off our sleeves? It's exciting. All right, maybe get ourselves out of there. Sorry, bud. Yep. None of that. Okey dokes. Ooh, hey. Never want to miss an opportunity for something weird. Hey, Jaren. What if, what if... happens if you pop it down in front of this guy? Oh, it's not right. Oh, no. Sorry, this is totally not even important. Bear with me one more go. Okay. Oh, you went straight over it. That's so cool. Either way, I'm happy with the outcome. Alright. Oh. Talk to you about cooking. Uh, the guy who tried to cooking went horrible and never came back. Thanks to him, I'm here on 5G. Oh. Horror castle means something dangerous like chasm. 
Harold's dining hall. Some super special recipe. So he left just like that. Oh, super special recipe. Still, he's sure taking his time to come back. I'm a little bit worried. Okay, I wonder what there must. That might be one of the past two. Super cool. All right, so that one. Oh, we only got one more. Wait. Okay, I gotta make it rain. So that was that. The and it was a tomato. And we're gonna add in a mushy. We we'll just go a bog standard one. Do we push it with something else? I don't know. Do you risk it for the biscuit? Let's go. Let's just see if it works. Come on. Oh, it's making the noise. Boom. We've got a winner. Tomato mushroom stew. Nailed it. Except nobody didn't. It's not mentioning cheese. But it's is that? A, it's not even a new recipe, is it? Oh, I got all excited. I'm like, we nailed it. <laughs> Oh, I'm just nailing it life. That's hilarious. Okay, so cheese definitely does with something. Ah, cool. I wonder what else. All right, let's go with a... I'm going to go out there. What happens if we do two cheese? The ob Oh, no meals. Wait, no. Just... We got this sorted. We got it sorted. Veggie rice balls, I've got to keep that because I feel like that's a Melania recipe in, in the making right there. Hey, get rid of that. Let's get some haste, why not? Let's get hasty. I know it's silly, but it just seems obvious. Just do the cheese on its own, what happens? Should get cheese. Oh no, it's, it's, it's no. Jimmy's food. What about one? I know it's probably wasteful, but come on. Surely you can cook one. Or does it just... Oh, because it would just stick, right? <laughs> I just looked up those pieces and down really want. Oh, Kyoto's cultural harp. Tokyo's paved paradise with every weird thing you can imagine. Uh, you could say super cheap in hostels. There was a nice one. To say. Um, well, I'll be going with the fam, so I, I don't know if I'll go, like, hostel type thing with, with them. Like, daughter and the missus. They'll probably not be, not be loving me sick. Uh, all right, one more. Pumpkin, cheese... Use the wheat. Uh, tomato cheese milk makes cheesy tomato, I think. Tomato cheese milk. I don't have any milk either, but that's all right. We'll get some. Come on, it. Let's have a look. I was going to give the pumpkin a roll, but that sounds like if we've got a winner, let's give it a go. Give it a go. Um. Cheese fish, no. I, I feel like it's crime. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <gasps> Pumpkin salmon cheese, lol. Yeah. <gasps> There's cheese there. There's more cheese. Oh no. Oh, oh god. Come on. Get, oh, get it together, son. Just slow down. Home. Oh. <laughs> I feel, this is like The Simpsons. Eh? Breathe and get this stuff inside your house. Just way too excited for something so silly. You know what? That's 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 fandom for me. That's just like we, let's make cheese recipes and see what we can do. Oh, you know, just craziness. Wait, but I think I did miss something here because that's now taken the place of the milk. Oh no! So we didn't have milk. No more milk. Uh oh, wait, there's somewhere else we can get milk. Milk, milk, milk. Well, you can get off that guy, right? You need acorns. Do we have acorns? Oh, this has now become a thing. Guys, I'm, I'm so sorry, but it's now a thing. It's all right, I know what to do. I know what needs to be done. We go back to Tino, we make the acorns happen. <clears throat> Flotsam Jetsam, we're on our way. A Tino General Store has milk. It did, it did indeed. I thought if we maybe um, grab some acorns and, and hit up the trader just in case, because I wasn't sure because she said that now that we could do the thing that it would sell it through the store. I wouldn't mind betting, and again, this will be something to check, now that we've got cheese, because cheese has just taken the place of where the milk used to be in... Um, 
in the town we just in oh god i can't even talk in the twin towers town what am i what am i i don't even know what i'm trying to say just absolutely off chops what would robbie do with <gasps> what we could potentially do with cheese here just there's no end to it oh i just had a great idea we've got to try this one first sorry dan would shoot me if i didn't do this okay he's probably already done it though because it's dan and he's a genius and this oh it's just the revival i sort of like it's maybe can i get that again this uh, can i get it again you know what i want to do right oh, i've got to do it you can you can fuse it with cheese it happened it's the master sword plus cheese the sword that seals the darkness its corruption was healed by it's oh, okay but it's got one plus cheese it's imbued with the power of cheese cheese blade the ultimate cheese knife you know what it just got real we've done it for everything that's not worked out or gone right today for that one moment it just came together I'm not sure that was the wisest investment of cheese or I've just, I don't know what blade I just used. I feel like it was a very good one that I potentially can't replace easy. Hopefully I can, but it was worth it. It was worth every second because we've now got a cheese imbued master sword. Uh, actually, I need to, I need to get a photo of that somehow. Or Dan needs to be able to see that. That's, that's gonna, he's, he's probably gonna cry a little bit inside, but I think you'll appreciate that it was done. The master sword imbued with cheese. Done. Sometimes you need a convenient post-battle snack. Sometimes you just, when you're taking out your enemies, you just need to be a bit cheesy. I was just wondering if some of these animals would go for the cheese so anyway one thing at a time okay what am i doing it's the, it's the brie of people's pain <laughs> nicely put so okay uh nuts nuts is what we're looking for nuts okay oh the haste potion's coming to come into play cool. look at him zap like there's no busy business I don't know why I just suddenly felt like that was a good idea to do, that somehow that would produce acorns, but... Oh, I probably didn't, I probably burnt him. Not the best idea. Did you get it? Yeah, I've got salmon. I did. Uh, but I, had, I didn't get wheat. I didn't have enough wheat, so we were going for the wheat, and then we realised we needed milk. It, it's been quite the... It's kind of like the... Um, it's a bit like the Ocarina of Time training kind of quest at the moment, where we've got to get one thing to get another thing. But we've got a salmon, yes. We, did we try it? We didn't try the salmon though, did we? I don't think. No, we've still got salmon. Salmon's still in play. I can't believe I can't see a nut like normally I'd see me and I'm hilarious. A normal shopping day. Yep. For sure. I can see everything. Okay, he did say it was in this forest, but maybe it's meant to be a bit closer. That's a pine cone. <gasps> pine cone, no. No good. Not what we're after. These are not the droids we're looking for. He did say it was in the forest right behind him. I'm sure he did. He's like, oh, there's, pine there's nuts everywhere. Acorns, plenty. Squirrels are fighting over him. Maybe up a tree or something? No. Yeah, you're just getting desperate, Smiths. Get it together, son. Have some pride. Oh my god, look, look at the sword. I kid you not, look. Look, it's got cheese on it. Oh my gosh, this is like so cool. Okay, I know totally. I um, dude, I should build be gone too. I don't know what. 
I don't know what we're doing. I don't know how this has happened, but it's now happened. I'm so sorry. But thank you so much for hanging out. It's been awesome. And I'll catch you later. And take care. Love to you, brother. And all the best. And we, we will do it. We'll catch up uh, again soon. I will, I will try to organise the stream again soon. So, um, just because I know it was a bit of a rough one. Today, so I'll try and pop one in again in the next day or two, hopefully. Have a good one, buddy. I am gonna try to do something with the boat, get some milk or whatever, and at least make one more recipe, and then we'll do the bacopolin thing, and then hopefully that, that'll do the job. Okay, we'll not get one acorn out of the whole thing. I felt like I saw something drop. No, must be seeing stuff. Too excited for milk. I can't believe I made A4 meals. What a loser. An absolute loser. I reckon there'd be some in that forest that... You know, the apple forest. Near Satori Mountain. I reckon that'd be prime territory. Sorry cow, I just had to check you out buddy. There's a lot of cows here. I mean, I know it's a milk thing and there's cheese, but there's, all right, there's gotta be something that you could do here, a little bit of something fun. Surely. It, it also kind of has a bit of a, uh, remember uh, Ordana? Was it, um, Twilight Princess? You know what I'm trying to say, right? Like with the at start, and you had to herd the goats or whatever. I'm, I'm too excited, I can't even put it into words, right? You know where I'm coming from, though, right? It's got a bit of that vibe to it as well. Can't help but pick it up. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm taking the time to take it in. It's feeling. It's got a feeling about it. It's pretty cool. Did I even get a picture of you, pal? Tino cow. No, obviously not. Added to compendium. Did he make it yet? <laughs> no, not yet, buddy. I haven't made it yet. Um, I was still trying to get more milk. Because for some reason, now acorns are the hardest thing in the world to find. The thing that you normally have plenty of and don't ever seem to run out of, now are hard to get. Um... Try to no. Okay, so you're not going to get nothing without no acorns. He, he doesn't do business with cash. He trades not in any other material, so acorns are the way to go. So we'll check out the store, but I am almost certain it will now be cheese. But never say never. Never say never again. Acorns. Just getting, getting dreamy now. Wishful thinking. Link has a side hustle. Go herd. I forgot about that. Yeah. I totally did. I totally did. But it also makes sense, right? Milk. Goat's milk. He did say that it, their milk was a bit different. It was special. With what he fed them. Oh, we should take some more note of that now. I think it was warm. Oh, it's the warmer. Oh, it feed him warm, the warm milk. That's <gasps> warm milk. Is that it? Is that a good idea? Because I've got warm milk. You know, anyway, maybe it'll work. I don't know. Just getting, getting thinking about it. That's an opportunity, perhaps, that that could trigger something. Worth looking into. <gasps> no, nothing. Come on. Acorns. Who to thank it, eh? But, hey, you guys have seen probably a lot more videos out there than me because I avoid them like plague for obvious reasons. Question. Is anyone doing tips and tricks out there where it's like, don't sell your acorns because you'll need them? Because you need acorns for milk? Because honestly, that's a tip I really think would be worthwhile. Worthwhile taking note of. 
Okay. I'll come back to you later, Creepo. No, nothing. Yeah. nothing. I can't believe it, honestly. It reminds me of when I needed Sunder Lines. Oh, no, it's still milk. You're right. You're right. I've tipped my hat, mate. I should have gone this straight out. I thought that it'd just be replaced with cheese, but we're all good. Oh, might as well get butter and pumpkin while we're here too. Take a lot. Take it all. Oh, no. Okay. Wrong button. Slow it down. Slow it down. Put the sensor on the acre. Oh, genius me, the bat. Sometimes you just need another, another brain, basically. It's also, I'm trying to move things along because I need to get onto some other stuff and in this stream, not that I don't want to, but I have other things I need to get moving as well. But I kind of wanted to see if we can make it something a little bit special as well that we don't expect, that would be cool. Cool way to wrap it up. So, that'll do. All right, cool. Um, but we've got milk. we've got enough milk now to have a go at something. So, what what's the go? What's the what's the one we're going for? Uh, you're talking about salmon, the milk. Wait, there's no recipe up there, is it? Nothing to do with cheese. No, we're all good. Salmon, something like that. Go in, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Do I get wheat? No. Rito Village would have more again, or am I pushing my friendship with them? Who else would have wheat? Cheesy back fish. Yeah, good call. Sounds delicious, by the way. Who else would have wheat? As a call back to Yido Soup from Twilight Princess. Yeah, that's a good idea. What? So what ingredients specifically are we putting in? Because it seems to be, it's got to be with the right it's got to be the right um, combination. One sec. <laughs> one sec guys, one sec. I just need to respond to something else quickly. Hmm. Interesting. God, some people out in the world are very evil people, aren't they, with things that they do. The situation I referenced earlier has had now another thread come off it, which is interesting. And somebody is trying to leverage that in a terrible way, which is just hideous. But, unfortunately, all right, so going back to the point at hand, so salmon, cheese, and pumpkin. Okay, cool. I can't believe that this person is trying to, the person who has done the wrong thing or is involved in it is then trying to leverage something and then try and come back and uh oh wow that's about to just play out badly once i get off this and go sort that out because that's not very nice not very nice okay get up there son just gotta move oh, i'm really gonna have to go soon i need to sort this situation out okay we've got wait cool take it all Oh boy, right, so, uh, I've got no idea if milk or anything would add an effect or not. That's cool, we'll give we'll give what we've got a shot. Uh, we've got a couple. I did want to at least throw one in a Bokoblin camp though, so I don't know how we'll go, but we'll give it, give it our best. Okay, butter. <laughs> got butter. Okay, that'll do. Let's get back up the cooking thing. Sorry. No, one more. I'm learning so much. You and me both, pal. You and me both. All right, let's see what we can do. Um, righty ho. So, cheese. 
salmon, cheese, and pumpkin. Okay. Keep it simple. I reckon that's the way to go for the first attempt anyway. Keep it simple. Winner, winner. Okay, looking good. Cheesy bag fish. Winner, winner. Well done. Good job, Oaf. Fresh seafood, delightly, delightfully accented with generous serving of Atino cheese. Take that to the bank. All right. Uh, cheesy meat bowl. Highland rice. Cheesy meat, cheese, and salt. Cheesy meat. <laughs> uh, I meant raw meat. <laughs> it's cheesy meat. That's hilarious. Some folk complain. Uh, some tier two complaints I have. No underwater, no trifles, no potatoes. And okay, not bad. Didn't expect that. That's cool. Stars. <laughs> Wait, as in put stars in? Or were you just kind of doing a, a good stars reference? Because that's awesome. Um, all right. Uh, so let's go with this one. So, all right. Uh, rice. Uh, get, the, get the thing off there. No, you got lucky stars on the last. Oh, I thought you were, I was like doing um, Resident Evil stars. What was that? Um, that do the East Coast Nemesis or whatever his name was. Uh, so cheese, rice. Where are you? Where are you? Cheese, rice, meat, salt. Okay. Uh, we're going. We're going to go primo meat on this. Oh, we'll go that one. Um. Ooh, and bread. Wait, melted cheese. Oh, that's a different one altogether. Okay. So wait. I uh, wonder if oil and bird thigh would make fry. Yeah, well, we could try that at some point, sure. All right, so I've got the four. Do I do I risk it for the biscuit and throw anything else in? I reckon if you add a gore and spice, some you have something else as well. But you know what? Let's just go with that for now. That seems like a go. I've never cooked stars. <laughs> Actually, that's a good point. Oh, look at us. It's become a prime cheesy meat. Wow. Kicking goals, guys, kicking goals. So, okay, uh, what was the other one there? Um, milk, cheesy bread, wheat, oil, and cheese. Okay, um, I'm down for a shot, all right. Wheat, oil, and cheese. Meals. Didn't think this would be a problem where I'm like, oh, silly meals getting in the way. I should sell them too. Oh. Okay, back on. Uh, oil. Wheat. And cheese. Go. I've cooked the, the star fragments that add effects like drown parts. Yeah, that makes sense. I think, I think, what if you cook it on its own though? What would happen? Probably dubious food, but melty cheesy bread. Wow. That's awesome. That's, is there anything better than a simple slice of bread baked with Tatino cheese on top? That is cool. All right. So there's definitely some, some ideas there. Uh, but got to be precise with it. Yeah, you definitely got to be precise with the recipe. That's for sure. There would be something with Goron spice and that, but uh, it's something that was carried from Breath of the Wild. Yeah, with the dragon parts and stuff for sure. Cheese, wheat and sugar. Cheesecake. If that's going to make cheesecake... Would you need butter as well or no? That would probably going off track. Let's just go with that for now. Like I said, we're in. Cheesecake. Done. Wow. Okay, I've got two cheese left. I want to use at least one with the bacoblin. Honey cheese, no. Um, 
truffle. Better look, there would be some other recipes for sure. For sure. Yay, cheesecake. Yeah. I kind of thought if you did like the monster cake but with cheese, it would have done it. But there you go. Live and learn. I still reckon it'd be something with monster essence though. For sure. Uh, Oaf mentioned before as well about with the bird thigh. Would it make fried chicken? Let's have a quick look. Nachos. Oh gosh. We could try a lot. Deep fried thigh. There you go. Oaf, you were on it. Rice, cheese, corn, spice. Yep. All right. That's the last one then. We've got one for a Bacobbin camp. Rice, cheese, goron spice. Uh, rice, cheese, goron spice. God, I want to throw something else in there, but it's, yeah, we'll go with that. Keep it simple. <laughs> Cheese curry. Curry with plenty of patino cheese. Wow, there must be a lot of dishes you can make with the cheese as well. Golly. Well done, guys. Look at that. Cheese dishes out the wazoo. Look at this. Oh, the oh, the dubious food. Oh, well, let's uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, so we've got melty cheesy bread, cheesecake, deep fried thigh, cheese curry, we did a pizza. Uh, uh, I'm sure we did. Oh, there's another cheesy one there. Prime cheesy meatball. Do an apple and sugar. Okay, well, yeah, I've got to, got to move along soon, buddy. I'm under the pump or something else, but yeah, I'll give it a shot. Uh, okay, but this is totally. We can totally set this up for the next one. Oh no, he turned around. He heard us singing earlier. Turn around. Ah, where's the sugar cane? Oh, <laughs> yay! Simon fruit. Ah, oh. <laughs> that should have done better than that. I'll tell you what, if we're, I'll have one go. Uh, do an apple with sugar again, lol. Um, Cheesy carrot. Uh, yo. I don't, I think, feel like I missed something. Dang, I thought that was the caramel apple recipe. I reckon it would be honey, sugar, and what were you saying was the other one? Apple. Maybe not that, actually, maybe not. But what about wheat? What about those three? Oh, meals. Every time. Oh, bright eyes. Yep, gotcha. Thank you. Thanks for clarification. Uh, get rid of something. That'll do. Oh, did I get rid of it? I don't even think I did. Loser. Um, sugar. Honey, yeah. Oh, no. I just cancelled it. Idiot. Sorry. Uh, sugar, okay, so you've got sugar and honey, and then you go apple? No. No, 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 no. Think about it, think about it. Drumstick, uh, butter? What if you did oil and then. That's just crazy. that with the oil as well i reckon we've got something come on energized honey apple well i've already got the recipe but oh, i thought that would have done better okay uh drumstick oil deep fried chicken deep fried drumstick oil deep fried drumstick yes we, we got that one that one worked um not bad truffle shovel <laughs> oh geez honestly Golden apple gives a special effect. And then, all right, last roll of the dot, and I need that, I can't use cheese. Um, let's go with 
golden apple, sugar cane, butter. I've got two more. I want monster parts and I want wheat. What do we got? Monster something. Oh, it was monster. Oh, you loser. It basically just did the monster cake recipe. What a loser. Honey and apple. Okay. Uh, last one then. Okay, come on. I don't just go straight past the honey, or uh, did I use the last one? Uh oh. I think I used the last one, Chris. Uh, yeah. I haven't got any honey le left, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I did. I did. I did. Um, no go. No dice. No dice, unfortunately. Baked golden apple. Worth a shot. Two children. Loser. Come on. Smiths, get it together, son. Okay. That's gonna be some sweet apple. Simmer fruit. Bow -bow. I love it. But you know what? That's cool. Alright, so we've got the one last thing I've got because I really gotta run like real bad, real, real bad, but I did say we try and lure a bacoblin or something. We've got to make it rain. So let's go with it doesn't matter what the time of day is. We need some bocos and we need I need bocos but I need don't want them firing or anything like that. I guess we need to put it by the fire for roast. Oh, well that's true. Okay, one more time. That's a good point. That's a very good point actually. Not lighting up, is it? I wonder if it's because that one's covered or that's it. Oh, rabbit holes. Nah, doesn't. It's not going up. Interesting. 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 I need another fire to confirm. Um, right, think about this logically, and let's not be logical. Let's just go central oil and see what happens. Apple wheat, butter, sugar, apple pie. Oh, for sure. Yeah, know that one. I, I definitely know. Definitely know that one. That's a good recipe, that. Um, you do the same thing with the, or if you did the cake recipe, but instead of monster cake, you do the nuts. You get nut cake. Um, there's, some, there's some really cool ones to do, for sure. There's a couple of variations over the different foods that are in there now, and certainly having cheese on the on the menu is a, is a bit of a different one because it's kind of can go it's a bit like the it's a bit like some of the things in terms of oh, wait a minute wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's him yeah that's all right um it can sort of go both ways in terms of with the sweet or the savory dishes depending which is a bit of a game changer which is kind of cool that's a bit more of an open fire. I can quickly just throw another golden apple just to confirm that theory. Another one of the rank, so to speak. Oh, no, this one, oh, it felt like it did sizzle and then it stopped. He's like, we got it. Golden apple and done. You're right. Baked golden apple. Nailed it, Chris. Nailed it. Luxurious snack of golden apple roasted directly. Holy cow. I didn't know that. Peckle balance between acidity and sweetness gives it an otherworldly delicious flavor. The baked golden apple. Oh, can't go. No. No, 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 no. Quick. Oh, got it. Nearly lost it. 
Fun fact, the American localization team is the only reason you can eat the crab in Breath of the Wild prior to the... Yes, I actually have heard that one, funnily enough. They asked for it specifically to be included because it was like, no, it needs to be needs to be eaten, which is hilarious, right? It's absolutely hilarious. Oh, I didn't have that on. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, right. Just focus and get this stuff in your house. Oh, except there's old uh wait. Oh, I need I need to see him too. You know what? We'll leave that for the next one, maybe. Um think about this logically. Bocos. Bocos, bocos. Not necessarily here, perhaps. Maybe this wasn't the best location to zip to for a quick boco camp. In fact, definitely doesn't appear to be just, you know, popping out of nowhere. Uh, however, if you went to somewhere like up here, perhaps is a good. And David's Ruins, they're all classics. And with your cheese sword as well, I oh, yeah, good point, totally good point. The East Parish ones. Because there's some, I thought there was some just like outside of Lookout Landing and stuff too. Cheese blood, I mean. Yeah, no, totally agree. Totally agree. The, okay, think, think, think. That's stable, that's get stable. Forest spirits, I feel like it's just the way to go. I know my gut's telling me there, I keep trying to look around, but it just keeps telling me to go Great Plateau and go the forest spirits. I feel like uh, it's a, it's it's our only hope. <laughs> it is not, but it just feels like the right way to go. Monster Camp 1 is by Minchie Woods. Yeah, that is a good thing to know as a backup in case this is wrong. Uh, might be the way to go. Might be the way. Oh, that's right. This doesn't just farm. Oh no! Get out of the thing. Silly boy. Might be the way to go. Actually, I'll just try to farm it through this quick. Oh, every time they have uncanny accuracy when you're trying to do shortcut through here. But that'll do. How are you still alive? Uh, low down. Oh, gee. It's, oh, I haven't gone over time. Um, I shouldn't be, Dan. Not for, because I don't want, oh no, get out, get out, Dan. You need to see, look. Oh, wait, it's not doing it. Dan, look. Oh no. It's lost it, it's lost it. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna have to, oh, I can't though, I've only got one. Oh, Dan, you know what, I, I, I need to do it. Watch this, Dan. Uh, by the way, look, uh, pizza, cheesy bread, cheesecake, fried chicken, uh, cheesy curry, baked golden apple. Uh, yeah, there's, there was a couple others as well. But this one, I think, I don't know if anyone's been silly enough to do this and this is going to kill me because I'd saved one for doing something else but I'll make sure I can get another one quickly watch this the cheesy master sword it's real I, I don't know what I've done with my sword a lot I feel like I may have may have made a huge error in doing it but it was it needed to be tested and it worked if you use a pizza tool boomerang I'm pretty sure you could Pretty sure it's doable. So yeah, there you go, Dan. There's a couple of uh, game changers, basically. That we were like, oh my God. And it was like, amazing. And don't worry if you have to go, because uh, I, I need to wrap up and go too. I was actually trying to get cheese so I could try and feed something, and then I've just done it for the blade, and now I have no cheese. Oh, uh, okay. 
Ah, uh, Hateno, 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 Hateno. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Stop. Where, no, it was back in. They were selling it here now too. Uh, go. Yep. Tower, tower. Let's go. Uh, Lucky Boko is getting some cheese to the face. 100%. Got to be off my back. It's all good, Dan. You, you do what you got to do. I, I got to run myself as well. I literally have urgent things to do. And I'm just trying to do this one thing I said I would do a while ago. But we've come up with so many good ideas. It's been great. <laughs> because GS keeps making food. Hey, you guys keep coming up with good, good ideas. What, what is, what's a bloke supposed to do? You just say no. That's, that's rude. They like to be rude. Yep. 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 Can't go wrong. Yeah, that's it. Slide it through. Yes, we've got more cheese. Excellent. Ah. Buy them all. Got to catch them all. They just didn't have the bean bokeh's like to stir in here, does it? Oh, that's that's not going to work, is it? No way, no way, no way, no stop. <laughs> that's classic. Uh, okay. One ten in the morning. Hey, reckon I can get a start. And I know I'm saying about being busy and got to go, but wins a win. Hasty apple pie. Let's roll. I reckon there's no way. That looks way too far off and that's not as fast as I was hoping for. Fly, Big B. How far off is that, you reckon? But the stars are pretty helpful. Probably not going to get help, but I'm sitting things. Oh, it's not even cheese anymore. You suck. Maybe you lose it when you fast travel. Cheese doesn't travel well. <gasps> There's a theory right there too. Put that down. Oh, that's a well I haven't got. Mark up. That marker, there's a well there somewhere. Well, 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 well. All right, I'm just gonna put something there. Let's uh, put a star. Go back for a well. My mind up. Now, where was that star? It's over there, go. Any rocks to ride up faster? Good point. Not that I can see. Yeah, but I'm not looking probably well enough. I reckon we can still make it to 2.10 a.m. It's over there. We, oh, we've got it, in, got it in spades, mate. Every day of the week, sort of. Guaranteed, not, low. Yeah, we got this. Come on, go. Why did I just slash? That was the wrong button. Come on. Just managing the stamina like a, it's like a throttle on a motorbike. Don't have time for you, sir. Get out of my way. Thank you. I said I don't have time. Thank you. And I meant it. Oh, suck. Somebody right now would be like, if you get some Zono devices, you could, and I might not. If I get some Zono devices right now, I try and build something. No, just get it done. Get her done. 3.05. What time? It's 5 a.m. isn't it? I'm pretty sure they disappear. Oh, we should have this in the bag. Yes, there we go. Ha ha. The master sword with the star fragment. Boom. Okay, Link, Ultra Instinct, yeah, well, I, was, I kind of felt like it should have been flashier than that, but you, you get my point, it was pretty cool, it looked cool, it was all glowy and lighty. Okay, Ooh. oh, <laughs> oh. That was kind of, it kind of deserved that a little bit.
scaring the horse, poor bugger. Oh, gee. Well, we got that star. That was another little win there. I felt bad for that horse. I'm so sorry. Oh, God, I would get that one too. It's full black. I don't normally ride horses, but that thing looks amazing. Uh, okay, this is where it comes together. Now, random as random does. Quick check on what could be a game changer. What is the effect of cheese on Korok? No. Okay, well. Never say never. What is the effect of cheese on Impa? You know, these are the questions nobody's asking out there and for quite frankly, I need to be asked. That's a rock. Imagine if there was a dirt pile over there, I could be, could be all over. I feel like this is the widest expanse of Hyrule I've ever been in without an enemy. Which is quite hilarious, but go down here, guarantee we'll get one. Oil and cheese, cheese curds. Ooh. Oh, I wonder if you get um, fried cheese. I reckon you would. I feel like that, that's, uh, that's a good chance of that one, mate. It's probably a good one to try next time. Also, don't forget about 12 hours. Yeah. True, true, Jan Oh, yeah. yeah. You're right. Plus, I also really, 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 really need to get back to work. Like, really. I've got a thing I need to sort out. I now, I, oh, I need to, I need to do it subtle, not, not that he coming attack. It wasn't really well thought out. Kind of rushed it. What I was going to do, Dan, is just see if I can. What would happen if Boko had a cheese? If it would go for it, like it does with the meat and stuff, because I reckon it will. I mean, it's almost a guarantee, right? Or is it? That's that's the thing. Nobody knows. Well, I don't know. And I'm not watching videos or anything to find out, but maybe it's already been picked. Don't know, but I'm kind of interested. Oh, that looks like a camp. That's a good. That's a good place. Oh, silver one over there too. You know what? That's that's the way to do it. Okay. We've got sneaky sneaks. Yes, we do. We've got one there. Probably put on... Oh, you know what? We'll be right. Let's go around the back. Now. Seem to be real subtle. Okay, all right. Hmm, think this through. No, nah, he spotted me. That's all right. One down. Or not. I don't know. No, damn it. Just out of giggles, let's see what happens anyway. Oh no. Well, oh, the accuracy is astounding. Thank you, Tolan. Appreciate that. This is the worst um, attempt at trying to see if this will work or not, by the way. Couldn't be done any worse, but give it a go. They, okay, they're down there. I need to get the, need to get the heebies off me. Must sort of run out of energy. Okay, cool. That's fine. Just, ah. Oh. Come on, dude. Try harder, be better. Oh, 
Oh, no. Of course not. Ah! Suck fast. Oh no, sorry. I'm just trying to do this. Oh, I honestly, dude. Just defeating the whole purpose. But, I wonder if Chunky here would go for it anyway. If we could get out of it and not not have the aggro, that's all. Oh, let's keep go. Yes, that'll do. Now we just need to not have the aggro for a sec. That's all we need. A little bit of non-aggro. And totally always be collecting. Ooh, cool. They can't carry weapons anyway, cool. Feel good. No big spoils. Have I still got any in stock? Yes I do, cool. I wonder if I can just... I did not work. Don't come up here. Everyone, be cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, one went down. They're looking at it. They're curious. What are they doing? I can't say. Oh, no, you did. No. Oh, knuckle. Did he go? I didn't even see if he went for it. I reckon he would have done. He would have loved it. You're a loser, pal. Yeah. <sighs> My life. There's a little, there's a little creepy hole. Okay, wait. Uh, we can do it. This is gonna happen. Okay, get the cheese. Maybe if you attach cheese to an arrow next time. Play oh, genius! Bloody genius! All right. You know what? If it doesn't work this time, we're just gonna take the win. Sneak, sneak. Get out of there. Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, he went to sleep. He went to sleep. Are you kidding? He didn't even say it. He's not interested. Oh no, I'm Devo. Attach it to the arrow, hey? Alright, so we've got one left in the inventory. Let's try and get it closer to him. I don't know if it works. Ah, aggro. Of course. Alright. Needless to say, it's not quite gone to plan with, with uh, Chunky there. But. You know, some thorough testing needs to be done on the concept before we can rule it out as an option. I still think there's so much potential here. Egg face. Egg right on your face, pal. Oh. 
I'm just gonna take him out at this point because he's done most of the work anyway. Oh, right, he's gonna take us out either way. Spider mushroom shear? Why not? Right, it wasn't even enough to do that much. Simple thing. Well, I mean, drops are good. Hmm. Okay, well. I think there more needs to be done in the research of will cheese attract a problem or not, but I still reckon, really, really think it would work. And I reckon the, um, I reckon the plateau. I know, I just had a feeling. The feeling in my waters. But who knows? I may have to call it. All oh, except in a weird kind of way, there's um, an Aracuda over there, which would be hilarious if, if it weren't for it, but probably not. That just would be quite random. It would be so fun to set mob traps to see if they can smell the cheese. Yeah. Oh, wait. On an arrow, right? Okay, there's a cobbler over there. Okay. It's raining, so you shouldn't hear me. Okay. He's curious. He's investigating. Oh, he's bloody... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Pardon my French, but honestly. Alright. I think I'm going to have to accept that it's not happening. And I'm basically just going to end up getting really frustrated soon because I'm pushing the friendship with a few things at the moment and this is a great idea random but it's like I can't possibly do it without aggroing enemies and I think it's because I'm rushing it so it's kind of on me to try and do something on a short time period I don't think it's I don't think it's going to happen if you're rushing it you need to plan something like this out to execute it flawlessly the universe will reward you if you do it properly, not if you do it half fast. So that's on me. The milky bars. Um, Whiz robe? Nah, he wouldn't be. He wouldn't be up for cheese. Oh, the potential though. The potential's there. It would have been great to have that, have that confirmed or not before we wrapped it up. But kind of cool. Oh, there's moblins and everything. Just on the odd thing, up here, there's the tent, there's that. The little core up guy thing. And that moblin over there. Is there any way I can like just ditch it without, no, I'm just gonna set him off, aren't I? Uh, it was fun, tried to feed cheese. Oh yeah, I just, look at that, aggroed him, just not even trying to do anything. Joker. Yeah, just trying to feed cheese for thing. <laughs> just, just nothing tip. Just typical. Oh, this would have been the spot. This would have been brilliant. Wait. I feel like that would have been a good idea somewhere around here because you've got the walls. You can hide. Oh, it was kind of like it was meant to be. Is it going to be a miracle on 34th Street? That's a Christmas movie. Nothing to do with this situation. However, I've got the feeling that anyone's gonna know. Oh yes, Moblin. He's just gotta get the cheese over. Oh, okay. No, you didn't see it. Damn. Okay, up, up she goes. What's that? What is it, boy? It's cheese. He's hungry. No. Yeah, no, I'm here. Shh. Well, he's not going for it. I didn't, he didn't take the bait. 
but will he see it when he wanders? Okay, last. This is last roll of dice for this one. Feel like the problem was the better hope. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. I get it. I've, I've got to run too. Ooh, wait. He just did the curious thing. The curious George. He's walking. This is it. Last chance. Last roll of dice. He's, he's still curious. He doesn't. Oh, he's, nah. It's not happening. Sometimes you got to know when to roll them. That's not even the same. Anyway, guys, it's been real. It's been awesome. Cheese trap may have to be for another day, but we can dream. And that that's, you know, at the end of the day, that's the story of Tears of the Kingdom and, and Zelda. What what can we do? What can we not do? We can dream. We can dream about a world where we use cheese traps on enemy encampments. And I think, you know, we're all richer for the experience. I couldn't have thought of a better way to spend the last moments with you all today. It's been awesome. Love you guys so much. Thank you for joining in. Thanks for being patient with everything that's going on. More stuff coming. Be good. Love yourselves. And yeah, I'll speak when I do. Um, keep being amazing.